What's up? What's up, guys? How we doing? This is the first stream I'm doing on OBS. And I can already say I like it a lot better. I'm not late. Who the fuck is late? Not me. I'm not the one that's late. Maybe you're the one that's late. You ever thought about that? You ever thought about that? You ever thought about that? How we doing? Oh shit, I just realized chat looks really crunched. That's okay. We'll figure it out. That's alright. I, I see what y'all mean now by calling it an ant chat. All right, I, uh, I'm going to be working on the green screen tomorrow. Uh, I set everything up on OBS and uh, because I was going to do the green screen on OBS. So we're going to have that set up tomorrow. And, or, well, I'm going to set it up tomorrow. That way we'll have it for the next tea day, Thursday, hopefully. Crunch it up. Lean chat. <laughs> Ever thought of soup and a bowl of bread? I think I've had pasta in a bowl of bread. It's kind of odd. It gets all soggy. I'm spitting Confucius facts. Dropping frames. Oh, jeez. It's choppy. I could be having a. I, I may have too high of an FPS out output. Yes, translator's note, T-Day means Tay day That's correct. Is Ty your boyfriend now? No. <laughs> he was hitting on my mom! <laughs> soup and bread is great. I don't think to eat soup with bread for some reason. I've always wanted onion soup. I've never had onion soup. You're surviving. I get that. I have a hangnail. Oh lord. Did this actually happen? Oh, we got a. Oh, good lord. We got a damn. Oh, good lord. We're already at it, guys. We're already at it. We're already at it. It's already going. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Ty needs to be caged. <laughs> Someone Red Bull Tay? A poem. God has given us approaching summer in the dry dusty desert. The Mormons are leaving, no more soaking for me. Okay. Alright bro. Whatever floats your boat I guess. You like a good slop? Oh lord. Let's see. Let's see. All right. All right. Here we go. Pulling up to the fucking imager link. Oh, we got a little gif action. Have you thought about making bleach shirts? Low labor and high margin with lots of artistic flexibility. $30 for a three layer stencil shirt. You know what's funny is I recently was learning how to bleach shirts with my friend uh, last weekend. So. And I was even telling her like that she was kind of putting me on to something there because I've never bleached shirts before, but I would definitely like to, at some point. Oh lord, is the stalker here? Oh lord. Oh well. It's bound to happen. Oh. What? It says a uh, imager is temporarily over capacity. Can someone, can someone explain? What does this mean? What does this mean? I'm confused. Well, it doesn't matter. The, uh, looks like that link isn't working, buddy. Sorry. I'll pull up the fucking voicemail, though, because I know, I know, you guys want to, you guys want to hear me listen to a voicemail. 
I don't, I'm not hating on you guys, though. I think it's funny. I think it's funny. But, you know, I'd rather, like, I wish I was able to, like, pre-check this before I just play it. You know? <laughs> we'll see. China got me? Oh, lord. Reload the page? Wait a minute. I could be fucking... Let's see, capture method, no. Oh wait, it's... Oh, no. Let me see if I can turn my uh, frame rate down. That might help. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay. Oh lord. Alright, I'm worried. Let's see what this voicemail entails. I know it's a voicemail. Let's see. Hold on. I'm turning off the desktop audio in case, you know, I don't want to get in trouble here. Really don't feel like getting in trouble. But, uh, let's see. Oh, hey, Neb. Nebby is here, guys. Uh. Oh, shit. Thoughts on getting a clipper to make shorts and stream highlights? Should improve metrics a lot. Um. I would like to do that somehow. Um. I do need to make stream highlights. I definitely wanted to, after this digest, I wanted to start editing... Uh, all of the digests into, like, one compilation. Or having, you know, each week as a video. Uh, making shorts from it and everything like that. Um, but yeah. I, uh, I would like to look into that. Alright. Here we go, guys. Let's see what's happening here. I'm, I'm, I'm... Let's see. Let, let's just see. I had to hate it. Just met Taylor at the show. She smells nice. She said hi, Ben. I was too shy to hit him. Okay, actually, I'm going to play this out loud. I'm I'm I think I'm going to play this one out loud. I was afraid it was going to be like, you know, really degenerate. But, you know, I can appreciate the creative uh, you know, the creative input that it took to do this. I had to hate it. Just met Taylor at the show. She smells nice. She said hi, Ben. I was too shy to hit on her, so I hope she does see it. Tay, I'm the mixed guy. I think you're mad cute. If you feel similar, come up to me after the show. Hope she was bubbly and really nice to me. Taylor, my dad owns an amazing barbecue joint a few minutes away from the venue. I would love to take you and Melinda out to dinner at the very least. Can we get a pick after? I can't believe I forgot to ask. Also, Taylor, if you get me mixed up with someone else, I'm the guy. Wait, I need the imager before the vocaro, Roo? Vocaroo? Whatever. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, Ikaj, thank you for the two. Refresh the imager you need before the vocaro. Um, and Bake Bukowski, 112, thank you for the 199. Dude, why won't you just get a fracking internet already? You need it for your job, dum dum. Also, I have the bad poopies, so please pray for me. Zero. I'm I'm sorry you have the bad poopies. Um, look, I'm looking into getting a router that's like an extended router so I can have one in here with me and there be one in there. I'm trying, okay? I'm gonna try. And then I'll have an Ethernet hooked into the router connected to me directly. We'll get it. We'll get it. Don't worry. Don't worry. But hell yeah, thank you, Baked Bukowski112 for the 199. This stream's gonna be popping. Greg is here too. Hell yeah, Greg it up. Greg it up. Alright. I, I I know that the uh I, I know what this is referencing. I've seen the pictures, cause y'all tweeted it at me. And who said hey cat, not that fat mixed guy? Hey cat, hey cat, hey cat. What the fuck is wrong with calling hey cat? I'm starting to realize why her chat hates y'all. And I didn't take that picture. I'm not a and creep she can't attest to that back to enjoying the show now 
What? Well, yeah, of course it's AI. You know what? Fuck it. Let's listen to it again. That was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. I had to hate it. Just met Haley at the show. She smells nice. She said hi, bad. I was too shy to hit on her, so I hope she does see it. Hey, I'm the mixed guy. I think you're mad cute. If you feel similar, come up to me after the show. Hope she was bubbly and really nice to me. Haley, my dad owns an amazing barbecue joint a few minutes away from the venue. I would love to take you and Melinda out to dinner. At the very least, can we get a pig after? I can't believe I forgot to ask. Also, Taylor, if you get me mixed up with someone else, I'm the guy who said, Hey, cat, not that fat mixed guy. Hey, cat, hey, cat, hey, cat. What the fuck is wrong with calling Tay hey, Cat? I'm starting to realize why her chat hates y'all. And I didn't take that picture. I'm not a fucking creep. She can't attest to that. Back to enjoying the show now. Why does that song feel so much longer than it is? Also, um,. I act I actually genuinely am curious. I'm genuinely curious. And it could be because of the hat. But why why do you guys call me a cat? Why what is the where did that come from? Is it because of the hat? Is it because of the cat ear beanie? Did I see the imager? It's uh, I'm assuming it's of the of the uh you know, the text post of that. And that's probably not even the right term to use for a 4chan post, but, you know, that goes to show and prove that I don't, I don't fucking understand 4chan. I don't understand that shit to save my life. Also, accidentally pulled my hangnail, and I'm, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding right now live on stream. I'm oozing blood. I'm losing blood on stream, and I'm still getting... The same, it could be because I'm on an incognito tab. Let me go to a regular tab and see. Nope, it's just not working. It's just not, it's just not working, guys. It's really not working. This is funny, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it. It's so funny. That, that, that song was hilarious. I just want to know, like, where the cat thing came from. Like, I mean, yeah, I can understand you guys calling me a cat lady. But. I act like a cat? How? How do I act like a cat? What do I do that acts, that, like, what? I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at it, but, like, I'm curious. Show cat. <clears throat> Show cat. Cat here. Hi, Nabby. She's laid on my lap. She doesn't want to move. Oh, you know, I haven't addressed it yet. And I feel like it's kind of obvious. It's like the elephant in the room right now. But I did get uh, some fan mail. Um, you guys want... Uh, I, I will open that in a second. But, uh... Sorry, Nib. I'm trying to, trying to scoot up without disturbing Nibby. But my chair likes to get caught. <laughs> Bleeding for entertainment. That's facts. Like the stream. That's right. Get Jimbo in here. I, I was going to call Jimmy once I had watched a few of the digests. I might watch a few by myself first and then uh, have him come on. Um, did that guy run into me at the comedy show? I literally only talked to like two people that knew who I was. They're, like Everybody else had no idea who I was really. Wait, then why am I not laughing? I mean, it's just a weird thing to, like, out loud laugh at, but it is funny. I'm not- I don't- what the fuck? <laughs> Plus, I had- I was expecting a lot worse, so it kinda, you know, I don't know. I was- I was- I'm on edge about it. <laughs> the cat thing is from the picture of you with the cat ears. What picture- I have a picture- there's a picture of me with cat ears? Is it from the- the headband, or...? Tay get a Poe Ethernet adapter first. See if that fixes your Wi-Fi issues. Second get Starlink. Only Royal Internet solution. Okay. I- I- I'm afraid of trusting your opinion because your name is Bad Ideas, but... 
I'll I'll look into something. How did your hair grow back so fast? From drinking Zip. It's the side effect of Zip. I look like a bird. See, there's the- that's- that's more what I expect. Just like in, uh, It's Always Sunny. I look like a bird. The lag is really insane today. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Alright. Let me see if I can... Hmm... I want to possibly maybe change the output, but I don't know how to do that without fucking everything up. Why are you not confirming or denying that this story actually happened? Huh? Why am I not confirm? Let me pull it up. <laughs> Jamie, pull that up. Jamie, pull that up. Meaning me. <laughs> I'm Jamie now, I guess. I know, if I'm gonna stream, I need Ethernet. I know, I have an Ethernet cable in my closet, right there, okay? I have the cable. Need the router. But the router's on the other side of the house. So I'm gonna buy the Netgear, like, two- It's like a- a, a It's like where there's two routers for one house, and it's like you put it on each end of the house. I'm gonna get that, okay? That's- that, That's my next, uh... St set go- Don't know goal for Starlink. I don't... How the fuck do you even know? How do, how the fuck do you even get Starlink? Do you just go on their website and sign up? I'm assuming that's... How, how does that even work? Headband and yellow outfit day. D's a bird. Me gaslighting myself into thinking my internet's fine as peak content. <laughs> I mean, w w what do you mean? Is it not? Oh, nice. Taylor, you look like Amanda Bynes post-mental breakdown. Well, you did see that, that picture of Shinji and I that I posted, right? Didn't you see that? Don't you know what we went through? Don't you know? We worked on a Dan Schneider's show, you know. I I know what she, I know what she went through. It's horrible. Turn off the VPN. I'm not torrenting anything. I'm trying to- I'm trying to fucking- Look, guys, I'm trying, okay? I'm trying my best. Oh, shit. Well, Jimmy- I think Jimmy thinks I'm talking to him right now. Is Jimmy streaming right now? Does anybody know? Can y'all go to Jimmy's chat and tell him I'm gonna call him in a little bit? I don't feel like texting him about it. Alright. I'm pulling up the- Oh. Cool. The other, uh- Link that was sent to me also isn't pulling up. So. I don't know. Hey, Tay Tay, what's your star sign? I am a Leo. But that- I just don't believe in that shit, okay? I don't believe in it. Sorry if you do, but I don't believe in it, so. I'm frozen. Tay, you have to plug in the ethernet cable for it to work. Do you have a cable connection in your room? Get your own ether internet, you perfect little- Perfect little what? I'm censored. You perfect little... Oh, wait, hold on. You perfect little retard. Oof. Your network dropping is due to Wi-Fi. A router may help, but Poe Ethernet adapter is the real fix. Starlink will fix any ISP side buffering issues. What the fuck I is... literally work in IT lol. What the fuck is a PoE Ethernet adapter? 
Drill hole and router? Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Uh, well, yeah. Okay, that's fine. But, like, the adapter and everything's cool, but I... I... Okay. The issue is that... The issue is that I... That it's on the opposite side of the house. What? <laughs> I was assaulted by Dan Schneider years ago, but I loved every second of it. Huh? Hey, turn off Bonsai Buddy and Napster. Turn off Bonsai Buddy and Napster? What? <laughs> Just go to your replies and pull it up. It's that pic. Oh, of the damn... Of the... Oh, yeah, of the post. Yeah, hold on. I'll pull it up. Might as well. But no, none of that happened, by the way. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, fuck! All right, here we go. Um, MC 900 foot Jesus, thank you for the five. What's up, Tay? Glad to see you're in high spirits and doing good. I don't have a dope-ass song I wrote for you, but was fun supporting you on Fish Tank. My TTS all said Nate Higgers. <laughs> but for real, add me on Snap. <laughs> Much love, stay up. Uh, thank you. Damn, I can't believe that's you, Nate. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna pull up that pick real quick, because I need to... Let me see. I'm too zoomer to know Napster. I've heard the name. I just don't. I, come on, guys. Greg, don't don't ever call me a zoomer again, Greg. <laughs> Paying my taxes. Oh shit! We got the Red Bull chug. It's time to chug some Red Bull, guys. I just realized it's been filled up for a good minute, and I didn't realize that. Sorry. I didn't- I just now realized. Alright, here we go, guys. I have the image pulled up. Here it is. And you're asking me if this really happened. So, I'm going to read it um, and see here. All right. Um, just met Taylee at the show. She smells nice. Said hi to Bant. I was too shy to hit on her, so I hope she does see it. Tay, I'm, I'm the mixed guy. I think you're mad cute. If you feel similar, come up to me after the show. Cope. She was bubbly and really nice to me. Taylee, my dad owns an amazing barbecue joint a few minutes away from the venue. I would love to take you out, you and Melinda, out to dinner. At the very least, can we get a pic after? I can't believe I forgot to ask. Also, Taylee, if you get me mixed up with someone else, I'm the guy who said, Hey, cat. Not that fat mixed guy. What the fuck is wrong with calling Tay Cat? I'm starting to realize why her chat hates y'all. And I didn't take that picture. I'm not a fucking creep. She can attest to that. Back to enjoying the show now. Now, I am... Ba just based on the way this is typed... I know who this is. So... I know for a fact this didn't happen. Um, I absolutely know for a fact that this did not happen. So, just to uh, confirm to you guys, it did not happen. I did see that y'all were thinking I was going to get pulled up on stage during Alex's uh, set, or that I was going to do some kind of stand-up on stage with him. Uh, I did not. He did pull me on stage, but I didn't do any kind of stand-up or anything.
Is Tay, is your net worth over or under 80k? Fuck if I know. I don't know. Definitely under. Oh lord. Is stand-up part of your future plans? Not really, no. No, not really. Gonna be on G- <laughs> I'm gonna be on the Joe Rogan experience soon. Yeah. We're gonna have a Germa collab soon as well. I, I reached out to uh, Jeremy. And, uh... You know, I, I told him that we, we need to collab and that, you know, I have no idea who he is, but, you know, it'd be cool if we collabed. And he, he said, yeah. So. Germa collab coming in soon. Coming soon. Based on what? How do you know them? Know who? Can't wait for the Tay Netflix special. <laughs> Cobra JFS collab win. Y'all wanna y'all wanna call him ha tell him happy birthday? Isn't today his birthday? Did you like the green lines meme I made on Twitter? Yeah, yeah, I thought that was really funny. And the funniest part is that like Alex and I, I at least that from what I think in that picture we had like we looked really tall, and like. We got scoliosis or some shit. Who typed those posts? I'm sure you know. German should go on fish tank? Well, I think from what I've seen... He, he seems to try to keep his content as, like, TOS as possible. Or within TOS as possible. Am I a Dallas Stars fan? No. I don't really watch hockey. Do you not like being called cat? No, I'm okay with it. I'm just genuinely curious how it came to be, you know? Meg is queuing on. <laughs> Cat Williams. Well, at least now we know that that did not happen, guys. So, y'all don't have to worry. It didn't happen. Nothing to be worried about. Hello, Taylor, you rock. Would you react to my video please day 37 Grungeons and Dragons on YouTube Cryo Keen? Uh, yeah, sure. One moment. Let me get my Red Bull to chug. Nibby, I'm sorry. I gotta get up. Nibby, I gotta get up. She won't let me get up. I'm sorry, Nibby. Oh. You big baby. She's just a big baby. Be honest, how terrible was Ty? Did anyone laugh even once? Cobra's single now. It's your chance, Tay. I'm rooting for you. I thought Ty's stand-up was pretty funny, honestly. I thought he was really funny. Alright, I got the Red Bull. I got the Red Bull. Here it is. Now let me, uh... Let me pull up this, uh... This video. To react to. Let me, uh... Shit. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, there it is. Okay, alright. 
Now, what did he say it was? Am I chugging on an empty stomach tonight? Yeah. I forgot. I forgot to eat. But, at least, to be fair, I do, uh, I did, uh, yesterday, on the way home, I, I stopped at Bucky's. So I have some Bucky snacks that I, uh, will, you know, eat on stream for you guys. So, uh, number one snack here is ghost pepper beef jerky. I got some ghost pepper beef jerky. Sounded pretty good. Um, and then I got some of the cashews. I got some of those. I had to, you know, I had to do it. I had to restore the big god reward that was burned. And that will see get burned possibly in the digest tonight. This was burned with my purse. I had to restore it. The big god reward. And then we got some trail mix. Some Southwest trail mix. Uh, Julius Evola, thank you for the tin. You look more like a possum skunk or some nasty wide animal like that. Overall, you may be a cat because you have a face of someone who just sit around and lick its own parts. Okay. All right. Last TTS. Router isn't going to fix shit. Powerline Ethernet adapter will. Don't start streams with your VPN on. Okay. But, uh, yeah, we got, uh, we got some of that. Now let me get this, uh, let me get this guy's video pulled up. What do you say, like, Grungeons and Dragons or something? During S2 in the slash DV slash thread, someone would say post this cat with a picture of you. It caught on from there. You need to block bad ideas ASAP. He wants to send you a BDSM kit and literally stalk Josie in real life. He's moved on to you now. I'm sure you've seen. Even Nebby's disappointed in you, bro. Bad ideas? You're just trying to figure out where my fucking address is. That's why you want me to turn my VPN off. You think I'm stupid? Nebby, this guy thinks we're stupid. Nebby, can you believe that? This guy thinks we're stupid. Now, come on. Alright, bad ideas. Thanks for the support and all, man, but I, I, you know. I'm not gonna listen to what you say. Alright, what, Day 37, Grungeons and Dragons on YouTube by Cryokeen? Okay, uh, Grun... Jins and Dragons Day 37 Cryo Keen. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see if I can find it. Jerdermit Day, I'm ordering you those darn boosts. Now I'm sick of you not eating, and I'm gonna tell your mom I was gonna get you berserk, but now you only get milkshakes for old people. Way to go, you scum. Oh, I'm scum. Jesus. Uh, which one is it? Uh. Cryokeen, the sci fi artist. Which, which, which one is this? Is it. Wait a minute, aren't you the guy that. Wait a minute. Aren't you the guy that Betty called a creep? I'm confused. Where's day? Where the fuck is it? Day 37. I don't see day 37.
We got stalker only chat tonight? Jesus. Wait, ABE for real? Well, I'll be damned. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I don't know about that one, bud. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, bud. You kind of look like H3H3. <laughs> Is your name like Kenny Klein or something? You know, like are you do, are you related to are you related to H three H three by any chance? Do you go by G four by any chance? G four G four or G two G two? Hmm. People call you H3H3 H3 sometimes. Nice. Well, on that note, I'm gonna open these, uh, I'm gonna open these boxes for you guys. But, before we open the boxes, we got the chug. So, here we go. Are you ready, Nebby? You wanna take a smell test? Okay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. H3 Israeli. Damn, Tay. You look really fucking good and healthy. Your wig looks pretty. You really pull it off. Don't ever let any of these people get you down. Dot. Just keep yeah. doing your thing. Enjoy yourself uh, and life. And always use VP and your friend Nate Higgers. Uh, well, thank you, Nate Higgers. That was a bad one, guys. Uh, sorry, guys. Adam's apple confirm. Dude, come on. Look. Look. There is nothing there. I have a skinny neck, okay? I have a skinny neck. It looks all bony. Because my neck is skinny. Look. It's my esophagus. Esophagus. There's a bump. Look. Oh, what do you know? It moves when I swallow... Need a Tay Belch? <clears throat> there you go. How to grab. Man, come on. We need a DNA test to confirm you're female. Okay. Alright. Y'all want me to sign up to uh, fucking Jerry Springer? Wait, Jerry Springer died. Didn't Jerry Springer die? Never mind. <laughs> um. Guys, make sure to take screenshots of Tay drinking Red Bulls and tweet them at Red Bull. Yes. If you get any gift wrapped items, please read the note before unwrapping. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, Tay, where's your dad stationed in Bosnia? I'm from Tuz uh, Tuzla, and we had a shit ton of U.S. and Canadian peacekeepers slash special ops on the airfield. Um, I believe he was stationed in Sarajevo. I believe. I could be wrong. Hell yeah, thank you, Crack Aperture. Crack the fishies. Crack gang, for real. Crack gang for fucking real, man. 
Unibomber's alive? He probably is. Did y'all think that- Dude, that shit with the bridge was insane. That shit with the bridge was scary. That was very scary. And, um, honestly, pretty obvious that- I mean, come on. Come on. How does that just happen? How does that just happen? And why is that- I mean, I get it, like, structurally, if you build a bridge, if you hit one of the pillars, it's probably all gonna go down. But wouldn't you think they would try to at least fix it to where it wouldn't just- you wouldn't just, like, fall the fuck apart after one boat just going bloop? Come on. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to get the boxes, guys. First, I'm going to put this hangnail off, though. Okay, I clipped the hangnail. Let's get the boxes, guys. Here we go. Alright, we got them. Bridge looks like a piece of shit, just like everything else in Baltimore. <laughs> oh god. What? I didn't call my mom a bitch. What? If only a barge could destroy all of Baltimore. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, like the stream and subscribe, Brofist, for real. Yeah, I've never been to Baltimore either. Alright. We got our first package. Our first package, guys. Here we go. Please do the needful and delete bridge, sir. Please come to India. I'm so glad you have big fans despite being a mom cussing scum. Okay, I'll shut up now. Come on, Nib, you want to get my lap, or you want to sit here and... <laughs> she likes packages. Alright, here we go. We got a money shot. Or, you know, that whole thing. Here we go. No- Oh, shit. I know what this is. Oh, wait. Where's the little- paper is. I gotta find the little paper. Guys. 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 Yo fucking ho. Here we go, guys. Yo ho. Arg. Here we go, guys. Let me try to find the- it came with two of them! It came with two of them, too! Nib, you want a little pirate hat? Nib! Let me put the pirate hat on. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Thank you! Hell yeah! We got the pirate hat! Oh, there it is. Nice. Thank you, Mitch Sorenstein, for the pirate hats. Arg, matey. <laughs> Hell yeah. Arg. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Alright. Second package. Here we go. We so back, me mateys.
All right. Oh. <laughs> Yarg! We got more hats! <laughs> we be getting more hats, matey! More hats! No, I'm not close to doxing because I've put tape on all my addresses. I'm not that fucking stupid. Don't worry. We got more hats, matey! Hell yeah! We got more hats! And thank you, Eric A. Johnson, for the gift! Thank you! Enjoy your gift, arg! Thank you! Hell yeah! Yar! Yar! Ahoy! Oh! I forgot they came with eye patches! Oh shit! Fuck, I forgot they came with eye patches. Ahoy. Ahoy, matey. Hold up. Didn't cover shipping number. All right. Mateys. We've got the patch. Arg. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Arg. <laughs> oh fuck. Arg. <laughs> Ahoy, matey. We need to sail the ship. Matey. Where's the next box? We got the next box. What is the chat saying? Blind beard. Arg. <laughs> uh, I'm not reading that. Uh. <laughs> Arg, sodomize the deckhands, matey! <laughs> Put on all that. How? <laughs> oh, shit. What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? <laughs> Ahoy! Ow. Ah. Okay. Here it is. Okay. Yarg! Yarg! <laughs> Ahoy, mateys! Hell yeah. So, we got the next package. What'd you think of that, Nibby? Hold on, I got an I got a I got a good one, hold on. Fuck this is hard to do one eyed. <laughs> Avast mateys! Head Wonder to the ship straight for the bridge! Hats, eater of oysters, gusser of mothers. Literal scum. To the bridge! Send him straight to the bridge! 
Sail for the bridge, matey! Can I yell the one piece? The one piece. The one piece! The one piece is real! <laughs> Nibby, I'm sorry. Straight for the bar the bridge! Yarg! Ahoy! All right. Now I'm I, I'm done for right now. Jesus Christ! Okay. Here we go. Oh, here it is. The next package, guys. Here we go. I read the writer still doesn't know what the One Piece will be. Yeah, of course he doesn't, dude. He fucking- he, he wrote One Piece after one dream he had one night. Alright, guys. Next package. Snudbeard. Here we go. Oh, oh shit. Oh, it's a- uh, It's gift wrapped. Oh man. We got gift wrap package, guys. Here we go. Oh, nice. I got a mess. I got a I I got a gift from Ted Kaczynski, guys. I got a gift from Ted. I can't believe it. I got a gift from Uncle Ted. This gift is really the bomb. It's sure to blow you away. You would think I'm Israeli with the gifts I'm sending to, to where I am. Your eyes will really light up when you open it. That's for sure. From Ted Kaczynski. Straight from the Ted shed. You know, I'm happy to, I'm happy to see what Uncle Ted has to send me. Thank you, Uncle Ted. Nebby, watch out, okay? Ah! 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 Oh. 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 Oh, it's okay. I didn't get... Alright. Nice. I'm go I didn't get... I didn't get blown up. Oh, shit. Guys. Guys. Sorry, guys. I got anthrax for a minute. We got wireless mics. We got wireless clip-on mics, guys. Hell yeah, dude. Straight from Uncle Ted. Let me see. Let me get... open so I can think who sent it. Nice. Oh, oh, it was from Ted Kaczynski. It was from Ted Kaczynski himself. Ted Kaczynski mailed me these microphones to, to share with you guys. Thank you, Ted Kaczynski. Hey, can we all get a Ted it up in chat, please? Ted it up in chat? We get... Gifts from Ted Kaczynski. Thank you, Uncle Ted. Be sure to thank Uncle Ted in the in the chat, guys. He didn't die. Ted it up, guys. Alright, we got our next package. Let me get these out of the way. All right, here we go. Ted it up. Ted was a good movie. Really. All right. 
Here we go. Nice. And this one is from Uncle Bendrick. Hell yeah. Thank you, Uncle Bendrick. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. I haven't made it all the way through it yet, but I've I've enjoyed what I've read of it. I'm sure you will too. I've heard it del it delves deeper than the movie. Good day, Tay Tay from Uncle Bendrick. Thank you, Uncle Bendrick. Thank you. I wonder if this is a Akira maybe. All right, guys, here we go. It's American Psycho! Wow! Oh my god! I've been wanting to read this for so long! Oh man! Oh my god! Thank you so much, Uncle Vendrick! Thank you! Thank you! I appreciate it! Thank you! <laughs> oh my god, look at the lettering. <laughs> Thank you so much. What's in the jar? Oh, well, you'll find out soon. Thank you so much, Uncle Bendrick, for that. Thank you. I read when I when I have time, I try to. Yes. Here is. Make sure it's. Yeah. Thank you. By the way, guys, I always keep everybody's little gift receipts with the notes on them. I always keep those. I like to keep up with that kind of stuff. Yeah, I've heard that too. Liquid Tay. Y'all want liquid Tay? Is that what y'all want? You don't want liquid tay to come out? Don't worry guys, I got you. I got you guys. No need to fear. Liquid tay is about to be here. Alright. Let's see the print. Wait, what? Um, watching you get gifts makes me happy as fuck. Can we get a $500 tattoo goal next? Stop cussing your mom out your mom, squirt. I didn't cuss at my mom, guys. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> um, why did y'all think I cussed at my mom? What the fuck? Um, $500 tattoo goal. I, I really don't want any more tattoos right now. Yeah, I, d I don't really want any more tattoos right now. I don't know what the tat like what the goal would be for because I don't, you know. I haven't been looking for a tattoo really in a while. Sorry guys, you gotta hit F5. I'm sorry. All right, guys, we got Liquid Tay. We got Liquid Tay coming. Liquid Tay will be here soon. Don't worry. No need to worry, guys. No need to worry. Property of Tatriot Nation on my forehead? Bro. Bro. I don't think I could do that. Face tat goal? Absolutely not. Don't know goal to take my nose ring out forever. No. 
I'm, I went through hell th with this, like, when I first got it pierced, I almost passed out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna savor this as long as I want to, and then I'll take it out maybe when I get a little older. But right now, I want to keep them in. Get the Mike Tyson. Hell no. Green Day face tap. No. All right. Package number uh, four. Five. Five. We're on package number five now. So now we got this. Tattoo goal, then tattoo removal goal. Well, shit. All right, here we go. Here we go. If I can get it open, guys. I don't, yeah, I'm not a fan of the septum. I personally don't think I would ever get, the, get that tattooed. I mean, get that pierced tattooed. The hell? Oh, fuck. I'm trying, guys. Sorry. Taste dots good, tramp stamp? No. Welcome to part two? Yeah, they tapped. <laughs> All my bros tapped too, they sipped him. Yes, because that's totally how you get. how, how that works. Absolutely. Maybe a cake fart golide seems funny and silly dee he I don't like cake farts or anything lol no way. No. But guys. Guys. Man. Thank you so much. What the hell is the note? Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh. Uh, thank you, Brocklanders. I got you, homie. In case you want a friend, don't get mad. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. Thank you, man. Oh my god. Give Nebby a hug. Sharif don't like it. Yep. That's on Combat Rock. This one has... One that I think would be known. To most people. Hate and more. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. White Riot. Yep. I'm so bored with the USA. I mean, all, I mean... I'm trying to think of ones that are really popular seeming. No, Guns of Brixton is on London Calling. Um, career Opportunities is a really good one. Protex Blue. Thank you so much. Is that the US or UK version? I think it's the US version. Uh, stay freeze on give him enough rope. Yeah, yeah. Stay freeze on uh, give him enough rope. It's the second album. This is their first one. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Tattoo W's on each butt cheek. So when you spread them, it says, wow. No. I think I'm gonna have to pass on that one, bud. That's funny though, but no. All right, on to our next package, guys. Our next package. Yep, 
Yeah, for World of Warcraft. <laughs> Get a sonin rad on your abdomen? What is that? Nice loot crates. All right, here we go. Let me get that out. I'll read it after. All right. Nice. What? Get a B and B on each butt cheek. Bob wasn't a butt man though. Bob was a foot man. Bob was a man of the dogs. He wasn't a fan of the apple bottom. A uh, test from Anonymous. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Let's see what we got here. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Rest in peace, Bob. Alright. Oh! Oh! Oh, nice! Nice! We got the Zippo, Wick, and Flints! Awesome! Thank you so much, Anonymous! Thank you, man! Hell yeah! Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you! Now we need the, uh, the fluid next. The fluid is the next thing I need. I'm looking at getting some. Learn a trick tonight real quick. I don't have any fluid in mine. Mine doesn't have any fluid. Our next package. Alright. Our next package. We need the zip water. Yes, we do. Alright, I'm not gonna pour this one, it's a little blue- oh, wait, actually I will. Except for this, it might break. We got some fucking Vegemite! We got Vegemite! He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. So does that mean I have to eat it as a sandwich? That's how I'm gonna eat it, because of that song. That's how I am assuming- you eat Vegemite. Okay. Oh, shit. We got the freeze-dried durian. Oh, man. Nice. We got freeze-dried dragon fruit. Uh, Johnson2207, thank you for the five. Can't get fluid through Amazon. They won't send it. Maybe hazmat? Hmm. Sandwich bros. You put Vegemite on raw pork? It's better on toast? Put it all together. Isn't it just molasses? Sp spread thinly on toast. Trust. Hmm. Would it be good on a croissant? My mom made some croissants that I could easily go grab and bring back in here and try it. How is it with the croissant? It has yeast in it? Vegemite has yeast in it? Interesting. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it literally says yeast extract. Silly me. Good lord. Interesting. Um. There's a note there. Oh. Uh, this is for you to eat so I don't have to. Enjoy your gift. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize it said it in this gift note until I, after I said it. Um, 
It says, it sa I said, do you speak of my language? He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. Get bonus points for finding the song with these lines. Thank you, Eric A. Johnson. And that song is obviously Land Down Eat Under Vegemite, by Minute Disgusting work. scum, kitty, titty, boing, coin, coin, call so tiny apple tat on the top of your booty cheek. Eat the yeast. What the fuck? <laughs> huh? Would it be good on... Would it be good on a croissant that's buttered, though? Like a buttered croissant. Is it good? D did you just say Diddy do didn't do anything wrong? His name is literally P. Diddy. Sounds like he diddles peas. He diddles pee peas. He's a pee pee diddler. Uh, hey, nice to see you. Looks like you're happy, which makes me happy. Thank you. Um, it would be fine. Yeah, I might, I might go try that then. Oh, yeah, I am on military time, guys. What's up with that, huh? Is there a reason? Is there a reason? Is there something wrong with that? Yeah, P. Diddleridi. Yep. PP diddler itty. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I'll I'll be trying these in a minute, guys. Don't worry. Don't don't you worry. I'll be trying these. Don't you guys worry. I'm gonna put them here actually, so they don't keep falling. All right, our next package. Here we go, guys. I just realized I haven't- I don't have my scissors over here, so I've just kind of been trying to rip everything open. Oh boy, this one's- this one is wrapped, guys. Ooh, sorry about that. It's wrapped! Vegemite mukbang when? Soon. Alright. Thank you so much, Nuclea Soup. Thank you. I'm sorry to say, but the swamp magic has gotten to your cats. AI turned them into plushies. May they forever keep your streams cozy. From Nuclea Soup. Thank you. Oh, man. Oh, boy. A basket of cheeseburgers. Use Vegemite as camo paint. Oh, good one. Yeah, that totally totally be okay to do. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, this is so cute! Nebula! Neb, you gotta come look! Guys! How cute! Nebby! Where are you, Nebby? Where is Nebby? <laughs> Neb! Guys, it's a... It's a mini Nebby! It's a little Nebby! As close as it can get! Cause, you know, she's a unique looking cat! We got her! How cute! It's so precious! Thank you so much, Nuclea Soup! Thank you! Did I hear that Jet Neptune got busted for CP? Was he distributing Chris points again? Thank you so much, Nuclea Soup, for that. Thank you. Second one got delayed, sadly. Oh man. That's alright. Thank you, though. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Nebby merch. We're gonna try to get some Nebby merch. We're gonna try to get some Nebby merch, guys. Don't you worry. Alright. Our next package. Jet found with an abundance of crisp points. High conversion on those. Yeah, he was probably stockpiling them. 
Oh man, guys, we got another gift bag. Oh god, okay. All right. Oh, this one doesn't have a name on it. I think I dropped it. I'll open this first. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, wait! Oh, my God! Oh, it's a Grayman! It's Grayman! Oh, my God! Oh, man. Oh, thank you. Nuclear Soup! It came in! Thank you so much, Nuclear Soup. Thank you. It's a little Grayman, guys. It's a little Grayman. Can you believe it? We got a little Grayman. Grayman. That's so cute. Oh man. How much do I love my cats? Enough to get plushies that re resemble them. That's, you know. At least I'm not making TikToks, you know? Delayed by three minutes. Let's go. Alright. And we got our last package of the night, guys. Our last box of the night. This one is taped the best as well. And I don't have my scissors, so... There we go. All right, we got this. I think YouTube ads are causing the stream issues tonight, by the way. Missed A. Ooh, 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 gray man it up. Thanks, Nuke. I wonder what's up with the ads. I hope it's okay. Bogus minted? Lag talks. Good God. Oh! Okay, guys. Here we go. Let's see how I can do this with no scissors in my hand. No scissors. Here we go. Alright, alright. Oh, oh, oh! We're getting somewhere. Uh, Whitney LC Rex, thank you for the four ninety nine. Can you say hi to Sam, please? Thank you. Hi, Sam. The wig goes backwards. <laughs> it's a box in a box, guys. I still can't- I still can't get it open. I think I'm just gonna grab my scissors. Should I just, like, keep trying to open this without scissors? <laughs> nah. Fuck it. Let's just open it with scissors. Okay. Here we go. Still not open. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Hello Kitty, but you know, the Karomi people, you know. 
It's so cute. Thank you. Thank you too. Uh, thank you to Maximu Kuan. I know I say that wrong every time. I'm so sorry. Uh, hey, why the heck is this guy so grumpy? Can you try to cheer him up? He's bringing the vibes down. Also, give him a cute name, please. Not some lame shit like George or Brock. Hee hee hee. Anyways, enjoy. Thank you. Um, his name is... His name is Batsmaru. That's his name. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Max. Thank you, man. Thank you to everyone who has sent gifts. This is very appreciated. I, I love them. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is the, yeah, this is the real Ted Kaczynski package right here. Thank you. All right. Let's get these plushies over here. Maybe we'll keep a pirate hat on. Fuck, this is hard to do. Okay, here we go. We got a pirate hat on, guys. Are we ready to digest? Are we ready to finally digest? Just now? That was, you know... This was just... This was the meal. You know. You get the appetizer. Then you get the entree. Then you get a dessert. And then you digest. And this right here... This is how you digest. Okay. We're gonna digest. But! I have to be an achy pisser first. So, I, uh. I'm gonna go be an achy pisser real quick, guys. So, I'll leave you here with some tunes. And I'll be right back, okay? Don't worry.
All right. We're back. We're back, guys. We're back. The stream delay is like three minutes. That's fat. Uh, that's fucked up. I'm sorry, guys. I did not know it was being like that. I had to go be an icky pisser. Sorry, guys. Please do something to fix the lag. I'll I'll try. All right. Now, I think it's time. We all need to take a minute and just digest. You know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna do? We're gonna um. I'm gonna watch like one or two by myself and then uh, I'm gonna call Jimmy on discord and have him come in and kind of be like how it was last time but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah did something happen oh I thought something happened okay Oh yeah, them portable mics will come and clutch it for moments like this. Yes, indeed. That way I can be an icky pisser and, you know, yeah. <laughs> but, it's time to digest, guys. It's time to digest, I think. Personally. It's time. So here we go. We're gonna digest. <coughs> Maybe eat some snacks while we watch. Fatty starts the day plotting revenge against whoever locked him into the crawl space. He enlists TJ to make mud, and TJ fucks it up and earns a Ben lecture. TJ confides that Taylor locked him into the crawl space. While Chris is waking everyone with muddy hugs, he stops to lecture her. He tries to say she's not taking the competition seriously enough and isn't wary enough of her competitors. Taylor reminds him that he's only mad at her in the first place because she fucked with him last night and that he's the one who should be feeling unsafe. Last night, Greg was awoken by Chris seething and called him cringe. Greg wakes and greets the audience, as has been his habit each morning. Please come to India Tay also can you show lower bitrate in OBS Plaza we have hard time tonight very lag Plaza come to India. Um... I'm not entirely sure how I can lower my bitrate while I'm live right now. I'm going to have to do it, like, off the air. And I will have to do that for next stream. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I did think that, uh... You know, when Chris woke me up that morning and was like... You look me in there. And he, like, uh, said he had cow shit all over him. He said he had cow shit all over him. And I was like, dude, no you don't. It's gonna lag more. That's why I'm not messing with it. I'm not messing with it, guys. Don't worry. I'm not messing with it. Restart stream. Please, Tay. Not watchable? Fuck. Okay, hold up. Let me see how I can do this. Let me see how I can, uh... Output timer? No. Fuck. Okay, I'm on reset, reset, everybody saying stop and restart. Fuck. Is it helping at all? Is anything happening? 
Let's see. Video. Ah. I see. Video output is currently active. Please turn off any outputs to change video settings. Alright, let's see if I can do it while I'm still live. Let's see if I can do it while I'm still live. I'm just gonna have to, like, remove my camera for a minute, so don't mind me. Remove. I'm gonna disappear for a second. I've disappeared. Don't worry, though, I'm still here. So don't think I'm gone. Don't start talking shit about me, because I'm right here. Alright, now let's see. Video. Oh, it still says it's active. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Damn, I don't want to have to... I really don't want to have to restart the whole stream. Restart the stream? Really? Should I restart the stream? Is it that bad? Man, fuck. Um, can you, you can lower bit rates while live? Well, where the fuck do I lower my bit rates at? That's the thing. That's where I'm trying to figure that out, that one out. Um, out. Oh, oh. I'm cutting every other word. Oh lord. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, I lost connection because I fucking... God damn it. Why did I do that? Wait. No, I didn't. We're good, I think. I think we're good. Yeah. We're good? We're good? No way. We're fixed? Are we good? Holy shit. Are we back? Are we back, guys? Are we back? Are we good? I'm gonna put my screen back up if, if we're good. Fixed? Nice. Sorry guys, I'm new to OBS. Alright, I gotta re-add my uh, webcam. Sorry guys, I'm editing my uh, screen real quick. Gotta fix my resolution. Okay. You guys can probably see me do this right now, which is hilarious. Can you guys see me doing this? <laughs> Yarg! <laughs> Yarg! Ahoy, matey! Avast! Oh, fuck. Oh. I thought I clicked something. Okay. Jesus. Okay, now I gotta do this one. Hold up. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe this is happening! Alright, alright, alright. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good, guys. No need to fear. We're fixed. Hell yeah. We're fixed, guys. We got the shit fixed. Nice. I got pretty eyes. Thanks. Look at them turd marbles. <laughs> All 
All right. Now. Now are we ready to digest, guys? We can see that the wig is actually real. No, I'm just joking. You got an A24 ad? Oh god, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry you got a I got an ad for Israel. Oof. Oof. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, tonight we complete the digestion process. That is very true. We are completing our digestion tonight, guys. We're never gonna have indigestion again because tonight we're finishing our digestion. That's just how it is, you know. All right, now here we go, guys. Time, it's time, it's time to begin. I need to eat while I digest. All right, I'll be sure to do that, or, or at least I'll try to. <laughs> We blowing out the plumbing with this one, that's right. Fatty starts the day plotting revenge against whoever locked him into the crawl space. He enlists TJ to make mud, and TJ fucks it up and earns a Ben lecture. TJ confides that Taylee locked him into the crawl space. While Chris is waking everyone with muddy hugs, he stops to lecture her. He tries to say she's not taking the competition seriously enough and isn't wary enough of her competitors. Taylee reminds him that he's only mad at her in the first place because she fucked with him last night and that he's the one who should be feeling unsafe. Last night... Greg yeah, so that was when he was trying to say he had cow shit all over him. And I was like, dude, what the fuck? I knew that shit wasn't cow shit. It was mud, because you couldn't smell it. So... Fatty is in the scat. Oh god. It was just his feces? No, I know it wasn't. Yeah, like he didn't smell abnormally, you know, he didn't smell like cow shit more than he usually does, so I knew it wasn't cow shit, you know? Like, as if I didn't have, you know, I, I used to have fucking cows in my backyard. I knew what, I knew what cow shit smells like. He's like trying to say all that. Like that was so funny. And by Chris seething and called him cringe. Greg wakes and greets the audience as has been his habit each morning. Fatty starts to shout his cannabis podcast from the living room, drowning Greg out. A TTS tells Fatty, Chris, have you ever thought of asking Greg to be your mentor? You could learn a lot from him if you shut the fuck up. And Fatty goes to sleep. Greg comments that he wishes the finalists could make it through the end of the show without conflict. Once the other fish get up for the day, Oliver starts a sentence with, Do you guys feel like doing a prank call? Him? Yes. I was thinking like, <laughs> just water and then grits. Shinji, Taylee, and Oliver assemble a bucket of water, <laughs> dish soap, oil, grits, mussels, and blue paint. This, okay, so I guess AB didn't catch when Fatty did this, but he left like, he, like, made me a meal and then froze it and put it in the freezer. And then he, like, left notes all over the house trying to, like, apologize to me. Right before this? Right before we did this to him? Um. I thought he, like, you know, I wasn't gonna eat something he made, you know? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that, you know, on my own free will. So, I, uh, added the food that he made me into the mixture of this liquid that we throw on him. Um, it wasn't meat salad, but it was like, it was like fucking, like we had frozen hamburger patties. So we like, he made like two frozen hamburger patties and then made like the chicken and rice in the can and like put the chicken and rice in, you know, in the Tupperware and then put like the 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 beef patties on top and uh it was just weird oh okay ab i get that i didn't know like i i do wonder like what he what he was how he put that up because i was thinking he was trying to fuck with me so i was like i'm not eating that um 
and he pissed me off, because he, like, pretty much, like, laid on top of me after I told him to not fucking touch me when he had all that mud and shit on him. So I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna just put that damn food in the mixture and throw it on him. Yeah, he felt bad and cooked something for you, but it was crazy that he thought you'd actually eat it. Yeah, right? Right? But, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I just uh, threw it into this mixture. And Taylor dumps it on Chris. <laughs> oh, damn it! Oh, damn it! <laughs> the way they're just watching. <sighs> Hold on, I gotta run that one back. Shinji, Taylor, and Oliver assemble a bucket of water, dish soap, oil, grits, mussels, and blue paint, and Taylor dumps it on Chris. The splash of it. just over it at this point, Greg. In an attempt to chase Chris from the show for good, Taylor dumps protein powder on him as he steps out of the shower. He announces he wants to leave because he believes they splashed him with urine. The fish fear he will not seriously leave, so they create fake urine using yellow liquid and fart spray. After Oliver secretly tells Shinji to use the fake piss against Taylor, in a bold experimental strategic move, I knew that was gonna Taylor happen. gives Shinji the jar and instructs him on how she wants him to use it. He almost pours it on her. They delay and mill around until they notice Chris is crying. I know why. I know why he didn't pour it on him. Now I, I, I you know, he he was so hesitant on pouring it on him. But I did get the thing of uh, fart spray because he put it somewhere, and I took the fart spray and I hid it inside of a. Uh, one of these cushions right here where my cursor is, uh, I, I unzipped the cushion and put the fart spray inside of it. Because I was sleeping right here. So I was like hiding all my shit inside of these cushions. Like unzipping the cushions and putting them inside of here. Um, my shirt, my fish tank shirt was inside of this and they threw it out on accident. And my yarn bag, uh, my crochet hooks and stuff that I found that Brittany or Trish had uh, stolen and hid. I found I found that in bedroom two, and I moved it into this these cushions. But yeah. Shinji returns to TJ and complains that Taylor is roping him into schemes he feels bad about. Taylor enters later and says she is conflicted because she pities him, but Chris is an obstacle. She later pours the fake piss down the drain. Miscellanea of the afternoon. Oliver is enlisted to round up all the loose cigarettes in the house. So I had, um, I poured that piss down the drain because I knew that was going to happen. I knew he was, I knew it was going to be tried to use against me. So that was why I hid it. Uh, happy go rucky Randy. Thank you for the eleven ninety nine. Good job. Thank you. Uh, what did I hide in the orange chair cushion in the living room? I don't think I hid anything in that one, but... I was stashing stuff like a rat, yeah. House. Fatty, I mean, I guess he's mostly coping, but Fatty returns from a basement visit to congratulate Tay on going viral, then tells Greg to be more active for the fans and complains that he has been cast as a dickhead this season. Greg receives his first Pay Greg fish toy, where viewers can send him $100 with production taking no cut. TJ continues to paint. His goal is to convert the initiative group logo into something that represents love and life. He talks about how he hasn't done the workouts he was assigned because of a rib injury. He first mentioned his ribs after the fight with Jimmy. The prevailing theory is that Jimmy exacerbated an existing injury, or else it was caused when the judge landed on the fighters. He says the pain is seriously bothering him. It hurts him to bend, and later, to breathe. TJ worries that someone will mess up his art and enlists Shinji to guard it for him. Trish warns him that Tay has received a TTS suggesting she destroy the painting, and he asserts oh, that he yeah. will simply paint it again because she is a force of destruction and he is a force of love. 
Scott arrives, and production sets up a beach in the living room. Uh... Wait, what? By the way, Tay, it costs like $200 to give Greg $100. Wait, what? What the fuck? Greg will be the lifeguard to enforce rules like no swearing and no roughhousing. And Chris must be his subordinate enforcer. The others are instructed to break Greg's rules in a funny way. The fish play volleyball, while TJ calls Jed aside and says he now has a great deal of pain in his rib. Jed agrees to bring a medic to check him out and takes TJ to the basement. The TTS begins to let the fish know that the website is indicating TJ has been eliminated. It's true, but you got it. You're welcome for doing the blood fingies. Are those toes? No! No! Those aren't toes. Fuck, you can't see it. Uh, those aren't toes. Don't look at that. Don't, uh, uh. RPTJ, back to our Uh, way. don't look at that. Alice, can we get a moment of silence for a fallen American hero? A trap. I took my time. I was extra careful. Everything was fine. Hey, well, free tea and cheese. It was nice. I got the blend rolls and sorted bowls. No diamonds or anything, but it was definitely worth my time to me. The fish quit the beach larp, wondering what happened to TJ, and received shirts branded with their faces. Shinji is a <laughs> Too late, I came. Jimmy's face on the back for some reason. Uh, I think it's pretty damn good. The sliding door is opened for the first time. And I'm wobbling it all. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit off. Fuck. The outside world. Oh. LOL, she thinks I'm looking at her toes and not Oliver's. <laughs> but this is that a mystery that? package. Oh. You know, when all of this happened, I was really, really confused. And this is why I don't react much here. I was not celebrating or anything like that when... I heard about TJ in that situation. I was mainly thinking, oh my god, is it, you know, like, are we down to this now? Like, is it already us two? Like, that's fucking crazy. Like, there's no way it can be this easy. And then when they brought him back in, I was like, okay, and, and then obviously he comes out. I, I had a feeling he was in there, obviously. But when, you know, when he was finally back, I was thinking, oh, did he, you know... Is he like a freeloader now? I, I didn't know. I was so confused. And it was a very short amount of time. So. You know. It was really confusing. Like, I didn't know how to feel during all this. It was so confusing. Oh. I remember the event. <laughs> Undertaker vibes. Oh, Chris, no! Chris, no! Chris, there's a person in there. Is there? Uh, I've got a cracked rib. Jeez, it hurts a lot. It's being on uh, drugs to uh, make it not pain. Not pain. TJ will be on ibuprofen and needs to avoid physical activity. Oliver is appointed as TJ's second to compete in all physical competitions, including eliminations, on TJ's behalf. TJ agrees to pay him $1,000 a day for this. The fish return to the beach to compete in challenges, including sea turtle straw collecting. Greg gets impressively drunk and is asked to lay down the law on the fish who are breaking the beach. Greg, rules. this is your moment. Faye only agrees to wear her sunglasses if Greg stops drinking. Oliver says Greg broke his glasses, takes Greg's glasses, and tells him to punish himself. 
He was doing some real, real genius to me. I gave him away to Oliver. Oliver, where are your glasses? This is your moment, Where's Greg. Where's your glasses at? I gave them to you. Put them on. I gave them to you. Put on your glasses. Put on your glasses. You punish yourself for having no Put glasses. Your glasses. Punish yourself for having Put no glasses. glasses. Punish yourself. Put on your glasses. They're on. Put on your glasses. Punish yourself for having no glasses. Yeah. Put on your glasses. Put on your glasses. Put on your glasses. Put on your glasses. Punish yourself. Put on your glasses. They're on. I'm gonna drop you. Punish yourself. Punish yourself. The theft challenge is next. Shinji, Taylor, and TJ must agree on which of them will lose $4,000 to be distributed to the other two. Their initial logic is to steal from whoever has the most prize money. Shinji admits he doesn't feel confident that he will win, so compared to the full prize money, $2,000 means more to him. How high did the spray paint fumes make everyone? Oh, it sucked. It's, Shinji it was asked to go downstairs. Evidently, he is so opposed to taking Taylor's money at this point that he would prefer to go home. In the bunk, Shinji says he has been giving up on challenges because he can't focus and is tired. The judge says they weeded out early contestants who were not interesting to watch and that the social barrier that Shinji faced at the start will be replaced with challenges he will be competent at. Shinji feels himself falling behind the other two fish. The judge tells him Tay will unwind because she is getting ahead of herself and becoming cringe and TJ is not as consistent and falls behind. TJ tells him that even though it's not strategic of him to say, Shinji should stick it out until he is eliminated or wins. He says he would prefer if Shinji won over Taylor and doesn't want Shinji to give up with only six days left. They agree to steal Taylor's money in the theft challenge. Shinji decides to stay, and at the end of the pep talk, he checks the time on Jimmy's watch. <laughs> Uh, wait, what? Doesn't feed her like contestants sleep, huh? Why are they so low energy? We have five days. It's crazy they're gonna have to hide so much in the edit to make you look like the bad guy. Oliver, Trish, TJ, and Shinji agree to dogpile on Taylor, uniting against her apparent lead and her all-out tactics. Jet introduces the original soundtrack to The Fish, composed by Green Sahara, and they vibe out while Taylor showers. Oliver warns Shinji to use Frank's ultimate weapon, the worms, if necessary. I Just found the worms, bed, though. TJ tells Tay that they agreed to take the 4,000 from her. She argues that Shinji has too many endorsements and is the actual strongest fish, not her. He says he did it mostly because she crippled him during the last elimination. Shinji listens to the TTS from the hallway and says he will wait to throw worms on Tay since she may become even more on edge. In confessional, TJ says Tay can go fuck herself because she's betrayed his offers of friendship too many times. Tay can go fuck herself. <laughs> she accused me of being a pervert. She's betrayed me. I tried to be her, I tried to be her friend so much during this entire show. He says he is prioritizing life and love, and Tay is prioritizing death and destruction. He says she is prioritizing strategy over people, like when she hassled Chris. He also says she didn't go to Shinji when he was quitting. In actual fact, she tried to check before TJ, but Vance told her to leave. But I didn't, I'm, I will say right now, I had no idea about the love and life and death and destruct. I had no idea. Had no idea. Absolutely none. I had no idea. Um, but, I wasn't trying to be the villain. It just turned into that. Like, I really didn't want to be. That was, you know, I really did not want it to turn into that. I did not want to have to be like that. I hate being like that. And it, it, it had to be like that, you know? It turned out the way it did. The hate you got felt forced. Last season it was BPD, which now it's Pick Me Dyke. Same tactic of spamming hate to make the real winner look evil. Production went along with it again to help the complacent fish. Guess advancing culture is appeasing the mob. 
Why did I ruin Shinji's pick? Because we were doing a, like, queen-king challenge, and Trish told me to destroy it, and I had to. I was about to not, and, like, throw a fucking coup d'etat, but I couldn't. Oh, sorry, I missed the last super chat. I'm so sorry. Hold on, let me... Oh, fuck, I can't. Well, I can't. I can't find it for some reason. Fuck. What? Typical butthurt Taylor fan? Huh? Um. You didn't seem like a villain. You just seemed. You just seemed like you were trying to pull out all the stops to win. Well, I guess it. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, uh, what the fuck? Bullshit, Tay, one day when you were so pissed you went rampage and wouldn't listen when I said make friends. You said F that. You went villain on purpose. I'm- Do you think I remember that one day you sent a fucking TTS, dude? Come on. Really? I- I- I do- I don't remember. Because I- It's true. I was not there to, like, be buddy-buddy with people. I was there to fucking win. But I'm gonna be nice to people. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Come on. But- That's alright. Over her 2 a.m. dinner, Taylee makes light conversation with Shinji. They agree that they can't be competitive all the time and need to turn it off once in a while. They talk themselves to exhaustion about life outside the tank. That was a nice one. What? <laughs> yeah, you t yeah, you have like the date and time. Did you you realize I don't know what day it was when I left? <laughs> oh no, I don't. I remember the poo poo pee pee. Ah, I remember that one. Don't worry, that one was funny. Yeah, that's true. The tank does change people. Greg is a real one for that. You're out of the tank now, Tay. Anyone with sense can separate the competitor Tay and the real Tay. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate that. Do you realize I wasn't like... I, I mean, come on. You think I remember things that happened on the last day? Like, I, I mean, I remember, like, the competition of the last day. I don't remember all the extras. Like, the TTS and stuff, that was not what I was thinking about when I was competing. I was thinking about the competition that I was doing there. I, I wasn't- I didn't care about the TTS. Not in like a mean way, but that- it was just like, I couldn't focus on that. But, that's alright. No, in reference to saying I don't even remember the day I left. I probably don't. Oh. Hmm. I made the decision to go rogue before I even got on the show. I was already ready to kind of be a lone wolf on that one. I don't trust people. I don't trust- I trust no one. I don't trust you motherfuckers. You want friend tank? Valid. Tay, the goal needs to be at like a thousand at least. Real talk. I, that seems like a bit much, man. I don't want to be like that. But for real, I don't trust motherfuckers. So like, you know... I'm friend, you know, I'm friendly with everybody outside of that, you know. But I was in a situation where I, my, I was on the prize as soon as I stepped in there. I knew I wasn't gonna, you know. 
I knew I was going to have to go against people at some point, so I wasn't there to make friends. Don't forget they dogpiled. Yeah, but... I started isolating because I knew none of them liked me, you know? Like, I wasn't going to go and, like, force myself around them. I tried at times, like, that moment where I walked in and TJ and Shinji were sitting there. Uh, this, hold on, I'll literally pull it up right here. Where the fuck is it? Oh, this part. Like, they're in here talking, and then I walked in and sat here with them. And it was because I was trying to, like, not be, you know, I wasn't trying to, like, separate myself and be all isolation. And, you know, I was trying to be chill. But, you know, they didn't want me in there. Even though I was trying to just be civil with them. So... That's alright, though. You know, it's whatever. It is what it is. Can't change it. Can't change it now. You know? We're here. We're digesting it. We're chilling with each other. We're fucking pirates now. It is what it is, you know? Things went the way they did. So, it's no big deal. Tay was straight about her goals since day one. It's true. I'm... I mean, I knew before I even went in there, I, I was there to win. I wasn't there to, you know, fuck around. Captain No Beard Day. <laughs> we was pirates and shit. Yeah, yeah, we was pirates and shit. I play to win the game. You got a point. Yep. But hell yeah. Yeah, taste Slavic pirate. Uh, Spasiba. Spasiba. Are we ready? Are we ready to digest? Number 37. After this one, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have Jimmy in. We're gonna call Jimmy in and have him, have him, uh, give his thoughts on some of these things happening here. I'm the captain now. Arg! In the morning, Jet takes TJ out of the house to see a doctor. And in case I don't come back, I'd like to, uh, thank everyone that, uh, watched and supported me on the show it was truly it is truly a blessing to be here and i i feel like i got a lot out of it and i i have a lot i have a lot to thank from you guys for helping support me through my journey and growth and if i don't come back i like to say uh, uh i'm glad you guys were here with me thank you my ethnicity is white. He warns everyone that the morning will be slow due to continued plumbing issues. In confessional, Tay wonders at how her actions were read by the other fish yesterday and whether she is leaning too evil. She decides that even though mogging is her natural personality, she needs to balance it better. Wait, what? She apologizes to Shinji for being greedy and arguing during the... Ma... Wait, I... What? I don't think... You guys think I'm mog? My personality's mogging? Well, bullshit. Maybe in there it was. If it was... Thanks. But, 
Um, I didn't know. I didn't know y'all thought that. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> Theft challenge. She says she approves of them taking her four thousand dollars and didn't mean to make the situation oppositional and negative. Shinji accepts the apology and says he will pay her back in some other way after the show and compares the situation to when he had to steal Nifty's chips when he didn't want to. The freeloaders are asked to workshop ideas for season three. They talk about currency ideas, wagering. Wait, what? You did mog everyone in the house in terms of personality? Really? You have a backbone, which combined with wanting to win, translates to mogging. Huh. When Tay gets mad, it's mogly? Really? Is it- okay, I, I do have to ask. Is it unhealthy to black out when you get angry? Now, I'm not gonna lie, this was the worst day of the show, I think. Really? Oh, wait. Because this might have been when and Chris Oliver was tells Chris and Greg off for having dumb ideas like movie nights and malnourishing the fish. TJ returns to the tank with pizza and says the x-ray showed his rib isn't fractured, just badly bruised, and probably got worse because he wasn't resting it. He says it was nice being out in the world with normal people and no retards. The freeloaders are promoted to producer interns and run the activities in the tank. Oliver leads the fish in drinking games like Wheel of Misfortune. There is some doubt about which activities TJ can participate in, but Oliver decides not to coddle him. Greg's it's a sign of dissociating. I am guilty of dissociating a lot. What? Tay, hey, you're lit cool AF. Ob, we're just memeing yo. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Tay had the biggest balls in the house by far, whether they're real or not. <laughs> That's autism. <laughs> when did you black out? No, I don't think I blacked out out of anger here. Because it wasn't like real, genuine anger. Like, I had no like full emotion behind this other than like the anger of like, oh, they're going to fucking prevent me from winning? Like that kind of anger. But I mean like anger like I'm fighting with someone I love, you know, like that kind of anger, like, I've been that angry before. I don't think I black, I don't remember ever blacking out in the house from anger. Other than, obviously, probably when I, you know, when I fought TJ, I probably blacked out out of anger, because I was boxing, <laughs> but. Slaps the hell out of Shinji. Oh my god, Greg! Oh. oh, holy fuck! Oh my you god! Are you okay? You got it, buddy! Are you okay? Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, you might have just angered. Yeah! And then asks Jet what producers are allowed to do. Meanwhile, Jet and Ben move a production station into the pink room because the basement is full of sewage and complain that they bought the house without getting it inspected. They say they have to run the show from upstairs because a pipe is leaking shit into the basement. <laughs> Greg they slaps. Bring Greg in, <laughs> and Greg tells them he's worried about the vibes downstairs. The producers order fast. I was food eating and dry ramen. Understand how audio feedback works when they try to listen to the bedroom two audio inside bedroom two. Yeah, Dad this was pretty he funny. He doesn't know how to work the two buttons that accept and reject TTS messages. Ben pitches stupid challenges like guessing Oliver's shoe size and slow motion. Chris Chase challenge. When she has a moment, Tay apologizes to TJ and Shinji for how the theft challenge went, and they do a weird bald hug. Ben gives TJ We're exchanging the Ethereum. On the door of the new command center. Well, what the fuck are you knocking on our door and telling us for? Oh shit. When Ben did this, I thought this was so fucking hilarious. Yeah, do that. Just keep, just go, just go okay. Yeah, Jet sleeping with the drywall getting destroyed. I think I did see that clip. Because I wanted to see what they were doing in that room, so I looked up clips of that. Well, I hear you talking about us. Like, we're not upstairs listening to what you're saying. Well, no, stop for a sec. And you're saying that 
we went into B1 and we we're trying to harass you for coming into B2 and, and uh, if you want to talk shit then just say it to my face, I'm right here. I was trying to go into B1, then you guys thought I was knocking on the door for B2. Well, is it our fault that all, all of you were standing in a, in a line in an upstairs hallway? Just like, it looked like you guys were playing or something. So forgive me for thinking that you walk in, and you know what? I did hear knocks. So if it wasn't you on B2 door, then, you know, I was mistaken. But the fact that you're down here at the bar and you're rehashing the whole incident over again tells me that you want to talk shit about me. Yeah, Ben back. went crazy this season, for you know real. Understand? It was so okay. funny. So try running a show with shit water coming at you. And then you tell me <laughs> if that's more annoying than walking past the door and someone asking if you knocked on it. Okay? Okay. Until then, don't talk shit on me. I'm right upstairs, and I don't appreciate <laughs> you talking shit. Okay? Okay. So I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not asking you to apologize. I'm just asking you to not do it again. Yeah, like gaslighting has been like specialty. It's so funny. Bailey is playing volleyball with a brick while the rest are sleeping. Ben says it's not his problem if the fish aren't doing anything interesting. He puts them into corners so he can talk to his <laughs> girlfriend on the phone. Vance shoots down challenge ideas with Greg until Max makes a grand entrance. Yeah, his voice is always in varying states of annoyance. Yeah. Hello. Oh my god, yeah! Oh. <laughs> Jed getting covered in it! Oh. Hey, Jed. Boss, baby. <laughs> Waking you guys up in the middle of the night to talk about Twitter, yeah. Yeah. Yo, your name Johnny? Yes. <laughs> Why did they do this? Dude, we fucking destroyed everything else in the house. Oh. Fuck the video quality went down. <laughs> Sorry, trying to make it a little better. Isn't there a live wire in there? There probably was. Taylor says that the apology she made didn't seem to fix the vibes between her and the other fish. She said... Did you see the split-screen video of Vance and Oliver sending you TTS from B2 while you were in the confessional? No, I bet, but I bet that was really funny. Because I heard them be like, do you like Oliver? As she could switch up and mess with TJ, but the other fish seemed to have completely checked out. The fish gathered to play Baby Dungeons and Dragons, with Greg running the battle system and Chris leading roleplay. Despite the sleepiness of the day, the fish get excited for the game. Yeah, I want to see what the house looks like after it's redone, too. Vance called me a bitch. Uh, Tay, the A and B of your health aesthetic now and then is astonishing. Why? Because I look more healthy now? Or what? Yeah, hopefully Friday we're gonna do D&D. &D. Hopefully. Roll to avoid soy tax. <laughs> I got the beef jerky, guys. Don't worry. How do I look healthier on a Red Bull and cigarette diet? That was what I was on to begin with. I think it's just because I... I mean, I was drinking that protein powder in the house, and I did notice I felt like I was gaining weight. And I was working out, guys, mind you. I was working out, so... And you rip off his head as well. He's bleeding out, and you recover the gold for the king! <laughs> Greg has a camera strapped to him while everyone plays beer pong. Yes! <laughs> you had a cam! It's fucking my <laughs> time! Double time! Show them why the Wayne State Warriors run Detroit negative. Uh, yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 that was so funny. That was like that was like on like Project X level. With them being like, like as soon as he drinks it, we're like, oh. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta replay that. Now, this was legit some like Project X 
type shit. Are the Wayne State Warriors run Detroit negative? Yeah. 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 There we are. In confessional, TJ says he wants to believe Tay's apology is sincere, but thinks Tay may only be apologizing because she senses his alliance with Shinji. Oh. He's when, okay, I don't know if AB pl put this in there. I hid Shinji's clothes when he was saying he was going to leave. I, uh, I hid his clothes right here behind TJ's head where he was sleeping. But a TTS came through and said that I did it. And then Jet pulled me aside to the doghouse area and was like, hey, one accidentally got through. I don't know if he was gaslighting me or what, but I hid Shinji's clothes so Shinji could think it was either me or TJ. So, um, it comes through while we're sitting here talking. Um, and I pretty much had to, like, hide my fucking tracks. And I just was like, when it came through, I was kind of like, fuck. But, uh, it, it came through, and TJ heard it, and knew it was me, and it was a TTS that said something like, you know, don't trust her, look behind you, you'll see your buddy's clothes, or something like that, and, um, you know, I was like, fuck, when that happened, I got called out on it, pretty much. I was trying not to be noticed, but... Yeah, I um I did hide a lot of his clothes back here though, especially like the boobs shirt that he loved so much. It was back here behind these um his pants, his shirts. But he says that accepting her I do wonder if it comes through and you can hear it. Professional TJ says he wants to believe Tay's apology is sincere but thinks Tay may only be apologizing because she senses his alliance with Shinji. He says that accepting her apology might save him from hostility. They catch up in bedroom three and talk casually about the day and TJ's time outside the tank. Shinji and Oliver reminisce and say yeah, I guess people have been involved in the show, including production. I guess, uh, I guess it didn't get heard, but... Shinji tells Oliver he had a diary but lost it. I didn't, I didn't know it was a diary. They stopped a lot of TTS to I, you, I but that was strat oh, ideas, but let yeah. TTS guide TJ to a W? So I don't know. Maybe someone like made it fish time explain video. <laughs> I'm gonna watch that. <laughs> Daily recap. Daily recap, yeah. Shout out to you for making those videos and shit. Yeah. For real. Working around the clock. Shout out to the those people for real. Get it done. It's almost done. Who would watch a daily recap of Fish Tank? Well, you are right now. So. You are watching a recap of Fish Tank right now. It's great. Alright, um, I think I'm gonna get Jimmy in for these ones. Um, is he watching these, or... Oh, not a voicemail. Not a voicemail. More AI music. Okay, let me check it out. Let me check it out. Is Jimmy streaming my stream right now? Is he doing that thing where he, like, streams my stream in his stream? He never answered me back when I said that I would call him after I... After I watched a few, but... I don't know. Uh, what's his... What's it like that? Something like that? Wait, he is! Oh, he is why- oh! Wait, what the fuck? Why he wasn't in it? Look, I'm only wanting to bring in a second person to have on me right now, like, with this, because, uh... You know... I just don't want to have to sit through all these stressful moments that I suffered alone during. Mind you, I was I nobody was on my side at these points. So to have someone on the phone to like 
respond to my input out loud? I don't know. Bring Greg in? I could bring in Greg, that's true. But I just, um, you know, I don't want to watch a bunch of people bully me again alone. Because <laughs> I was alone the first time. So, not that they're bullying me, but, you know, I, everybody was against me. So, you know. Is Jimmy drunk? Hey, plus I can confront him about what he was sh saying about my heart. To be fair. Greg's willing to Greg it up. I know I have like 300 people here with me, but I mean like... Voice-wise, too, at this point. It's like that stressful. <laughs> I mean, fuck. Heart taken? Not. Heart is not taken. Oh. Jimmy didn't see your message earlier, apparently, because he was messaging you on Discord. Is he still... Okay, well, that's whatever. Let's see. Let's see if we can get... Oh, yeah, let me pull up the AI song, by the way. Talk to Nibby. I don't know where Nibby is, to be honest. I think she's in one of these boxes. Greg was there, Jimmy was not. Well, you know what? We can have Jimmy and Greg on the call. How's that? We can have a happy medium here. Plus, wouldn't we want to know what Jimmy's input is on this situation? Because he wasn't there to see it. What do you mean, no one? We were on your side, Tay. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, like, in person. There, you know? Wait a minute. I think that was Vlad from Romania. I definitely know you were on my side, Vlad, from Romania. It's just that I, you know, in the house, I'll, physically, I had no companion, and I get it. It was because I was a lone wolf the whole time, but... You know what I mean. At least I think you do. But let's, uh, let's play this, uh... Let's play this AI rap song that could be about God knows what. God knows what this could be about. Honestly. God knows. Here we go. Oh boy. Chick with you, gang on the bank. Let Tay lay at the show. She got that glow. Smells nice, said high bank. Got me feeling like whoa. Two shot to make a move. Oh, she knows I'm the mixed guy. Think she cute. That's how it goes. Cool. She bubbly. Nice as can be. Tay Lee. My dad's got a barbecue spot to see. Near the venue, it's a treat. Come down with me. Or at least get that apple bottom out for me. seen that video where it's like hold on I gotta pull it up hold up I'm not a driller this one oh this people have been calling me a driller recently and I ain't a driller he's not a driller mate really yeah so you mate fuck off mate oh, fuck off you think I'm a fucking driller you fuck off shut the fuck up I'm not a fucking driller! I'm not a <laughs> The 
genuine anger, the genuine British anger. It's too real. I'm not a fucking driller! <laughs> I'm not a fucking driller! <laughs> you think he's a driller? <laughs> this is a Harry Potter scene? It probably is, honestly. Okay, now let's see. We're gonna try to get Greg and Jimmy in here. Why are you gay? I am ready. Oh, Jimmy got a new computer? I guess Jimmy got a new computer. That's cool. Oh, there's no reason to have a video on. Okay, Greg, I'm trying to- oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, Greg, I'm trying to add you to the call. We got Greg in here. We got Grimmy it up. Jeez. Whoa, shit, we got Greg. Yeah. We got Greg in the we got Greg in the call. Where's yeah, here. Where's Jimmy? Isn't he like watching my stream? Can he hear me right now? Jimmy, answer the call. Answer the phone, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, you answered the phone. <laughs> Jimmy, did you answer the phone? Huh? Jimmy, I think your microphone's fucked. I can feel his presence in the room. Yeah, but it's like he's not a, he's not able to talk, I guess. That's weird. Womp. Let, let, get Airsoft on the phone? Is this the episode where I fucking argue with him? It could be. Yes, it is. Oh um, my god, it is. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is that when you guys brought that up, I was like, I walked into the room, I'm like, ah, oh, this shit is cringe. Like, I, like, not in your side. I thought Chris was being epic cringe. Well, oh, when he was arguing with me? Yeah, yeah, making it all about autism as if as if he wasn't the one bullying everybody. Right. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> that was insane. I could not. I couldn't believe he just like blew up on me like that. Cause I was like, dude, I've I've chilled out. Like I'm not trying to fuck with you anymore. Yeah, well, you know, like I said, uh, Chris just uh, Chris said that a lot of the reasons he left was like a bit or whatever. I don't believe that for a goddamn second. I don't. Either. I think he's just coping. I think so, dude. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Cause he, if he's if he was uh, doing that as a bit, he's a very good actor, and I don't think that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, is this the snow fight? Yeah, this is the snow fight. Um, and yes, I understand. I'm the joke too, bud. But you know, I was saying that to him. Lf Lmfao, the Chris slander by Greg is hilarious. Just. I'm just calling it how it is. I was like, he told me that it was a bit. I was like, mm. I was like, I agree. I I went along with it, but I didn't. I didn't believe it for a second. <laughs> you were kind of the joke, but were you the one walking around naked, painted green? <laughs> I don't think that. I don't think that's the best example. I think the best example is when he pissed himself, and he thought it was like a flex. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like okay. Well, shit, I guess we're going to hop right into it. Jimmy is here in the call, but I guess he's having output issues, so... I guess he's just going to hear us. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, TJ's eye was hurting last night. Ben orders TJ to make himself an eye patch. When you were he going into the tank, what were some of the sure things the you hoped to get out of the experience most? Also, which fish during S1 were you rooting for? Greg, it up. You're, wait, are, you, are they t asking me? Oh, uh, they were asking me about season one. Um, oh, okay. And but they did say Greg, it up. To be fair. Yeah, that's why, that's why I was uh, confused. I was <laughs> like, are they asking me or you? Um, let's see. Also, if you can offer the bandwidth, uh, share screen so I can keep up with it since there's a delay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me try to thank, get Thank you, thank you. 
Alright, share screen. Day three. Okay. Alright. Nice. Uh, I was pulling up my... Oh, uh, uh, yeah? I was pulling up my this TTS real quick. Uh, when you were going into the tank, what were some of the things you hoped to get out of the experience? Um... Oh, out of the experience most. Also, which fish during season one were you rooting for? Um, honestly, I really wanted to, uh, I wanted to promote my crochet business a lot, you know, like when I first started, uh, when, when fish tank, when season one started, I had just started my crochet business. And so I was like, Hmm, this would be kind of a cool thing for publicity, you know? And, oh, yeah. um, uh, I think I was rooting for Damiel, and then, um, I'm trying to think who else. <laughs> there I'm wasn't sorry. like... I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. go ahead. I was just uh, responding to him, like, I'm sorry, David, I'm not trying to be bossy. <laughs> oh? <laughs> I don't know if they're just, uh... Uh, being weird about it, or if I actually am. No, I didn't think I didn't think you were. No, um, I did have the idea that Damiel was the plant, obviously, because I had kept up before Fish Tank, and I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Um, but I just uh, I don't know if I really rooted exactly for one specific fish. I just know like they I thought they were all pretty funny, honestly. Um, Damiel was really funny though, and uh, Vance was pretty funny too. And yeah, I got a I got to watch the season one thing, but the main people I was thinking uh, was Josie and Vance. I like Vance a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been watching this prank call stuff. That's really fucking funny. Oh man, <laughs> I bet that is funny. I think I saw the one where he called the Chinese restaurant or something. That was really funny. I should have saw the one where he called the Rat Man. That shit was that bro was shaking on the other side of the. Phone. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, mainly I was just wanting, uh, publicity for my crochet business, though, and... Okay, to... about fucking time, this oh, stupid shit. Uh, shit website. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, I just <laughs> had to close out Discord and, uh, rejoin. Oh, shit. Yeah, huh. I be like that sometimes. It was a load of baloney. Let's see, so this, and then... But yeah, um, that was mainly what I wanted out of it, and you know, to really get my business going more than anything, and to have some form of a, you know, structural beginning. But oh, yeah, yeah. Can you drop a D on how much money you've got? You're keeping that top secret. NDA. Hey, there you go. I'm talking about like the crochet, but yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even know. I haven't, I haven't fully hey, kept up with it yet. But we're going to get going on day 38. Sit or lay down. Fatty, who said yesterday minute, he was I'm doing fucking... away with his home. There we go. Wait, what? Okay, so this is when uh, TJ Sorry, I'm also just seeing the volume for my audience. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Horn dog arc this season declares the fish may not use the bathroom without him. TJ, who wasn't present when Fatty declared the rule, pees and is eliminated. After another round of Dungeons and Dragons, Shinji squats while Trish is squatting and is also eliminated. Jet comes upstairs and says obviously no one is eliminated. TJ is actually at the doctor again for his eye, and that next they'll be doing interviews for the finalists. In Taylor's interview, she says she isn't afraid of the other two contestants and is only worried about physical challenges. She says she would feel like a fucking idiot losing to TJ because she's put in more effort than him. <laughs> Jet says it's clear she and TJ are not friends now, and she says that began when TJ started working with Trish and Brittany. Jet says polls won't be a part of the finals. She said she expected Jimmy in the finals instead of TJ, and Jet said they tried their best to keep him in the house and actually expected him in the final. In Shinji's interview, Jet Jesus. asked Shinji about how he's been holding on to Jimmy's watch. Shinji says now everyone asks him what time it is. 
<laughs> ben says it's cool that he has a memento. That's true. Jet says in a normal situation, Jimmy would be a fun guy, but it's a crazy situation, so he can't blame him too much for blowing up. Shinji says his alliance with TJ is situational, but thinks it will be better to take TJ to the final because he can beat him. He says it's been weird to not speak Japanese for over a month. Oh, Shinji man. says he has experience using video editing software and will be ready as soon as he gets home to start producing content. TJ is diagnosed with double pink eye. He returns wearing a protective suit. Um, are, <laughs> yeah, this was so funny. Are you ever going to stream with TJ, Brian, Bruce Trisha, Taylor? Fuck up. Do what? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, you're good. Um, are you ever going to stream I, with TJ, yeah. Brian, Trisha, Taylor? They've been chilling. Uh, I haven't heard anything from them, so... Have you heard anything yeah, yeah, from them either? Yeah, you just gotta pop in their chat and be. A... Yeah, you just gotta just gotta nudge them sometimes. They get so caught up in their stuff uh, that they forget. Yeah, that's kind of how I've been too, honestly. Like they didn't really uh, think about me either until I was in their chat and I'm like, I'm down to play, and then we played. Oh shit. <laughs> huh. We're in the group chat. I mean, I'm I made a group chat with some of us. Is there like a bigger group chat? I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny when TJ was in the suit though. Because he is oh, yeah. contagious for 24 hours. The fish argue over who will be his pink eye assistant. Production says Trish can't because she's going to be the ring girl in the finale. Tay gets the job. Ring girl? She says she doesn't wash her hands and will spread it. Tay blames the outbreak on Fatty for wandering the house naked and stained with shit. <laughs> he says she's picking on him for being autistic. Don't even act like you've been chewing this whole fucking time. No, I'm not. You're the one that threw piss on me. Piss, I haven't. You're the one that threw piss on me. You're the one that put piss on me, you bitch. I didn't put fucking piss on you. I told you it was zip. And you might have given TJ a piss on me, bitch. And it was only now it has to face consequences. How do you have not have piss on me? What? How do you not have piss on me? Your bare ass has been all over it. You would see. You just what I thought you'd see. You can, because you are giving that shit out to us. When am I going to piss on you? I wasn't going to piss. When is soap on you? I told you it was not piss. I actually did not know that it was piss, by the way. I actually had genuinely no idea that it was piss. It was not piss. Yes, it's still only about piss. What? Well, in the digest last week, uh, AB mentioned that Shinji pissed in that bucket. Yeah, but he also left out a whole bunch of other things, so uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, that's maybe, fair. Uh, we're just gonna say yes. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm lying to you, dude. How do you know they were? Yes, like, dude, they are not. How the fuck do you thing. know they were? They are. How do you not know that you're the fucking joke here? Yeah. I'm sorry, but I, someone said, I love how the Texan comes out when you're pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you were fucking throwing fireballs. Like I, like, I was rooting for you, but I had to get out of there because I'm like, oh, this shit's so fucking annoying. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, don't, I do not blame you. You're the kind of joke! <laughs> And they're using you as the joke. You're the butt end of the joke. They're thinking about that shit for a day. They want us to fuck with you. Shut up about your bigot dad. He's a higgler. They want us to fuck with you, Chris, because of your reaction. You can't fucking take it. Don't forget. I wasn't blacked out during this. I was fully competent. Like when Frank was fucking with you. You're acting like a little bitch about it. And you got upset, and you went upstairs and secluded yourself. Tate treats her dad like and shit. And that was funny as fuck. People thought like it was shit. funny. Tate treats her dad like shit. Tate treats her dad like flashbacks shit. flashbacks funny? You talk about how inappropriate was, how it made you feel fucking weird, and everything else. Lying. I said it was inappropriate, yeah. Was piss before so you don't fucking it. sit there and fucking lie to us. Lie about what, though? I did not say it was sexual assault. I just said it was inappropriate. I love how you threw I didn't. Because you guys are a competition. And you guys are in a competition. A competition where we show our fucking personality and show that we can fuck with people when they fuck with us. And that's what I did right back to you, and you can't take it. Chris you can't take it, Chris. Chris is going to have a Jimmy moment. Why don't you go call your fucking friend and have him come pick your ass up? You can't take it. That's why I called him after I pulled all that shit on you. Chris, ring the you bell. You can't take it. She's a cry bully. 
Chris tells Tay his cousin locked him in a box and set it on fire once, and says locking him in confessional was triggering. She apologizes and said she didn't know. He says he's been deliberately sitting his naked ass on her pillows and clothes and says if it was his fault TJ got pink eye, she should also have it. She says she has held back on him and that he can't take what he dishes out. She tells him he's the butt of the joke and that's why Vance is present filming the argument with a camera. He insists that what she poured on him the other day was piss. And she says it wasn't, but she has been holding back because she saw he was upset. Thanks, I got like the snow. I've never seen the snow, actually. You guys are doing all kinds of stuff. Cool. I've never seen the snow. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Honestly, Tay, that was a massive W. Keep it up, Baldy. Keep it up, Baldy. Hey, Tay. The first day you were here. Yeah. Did your. Did you have like a sore throat or something after that? Because I remember, because like, whenever I get like into a really bad screaming thing, I get a little bit of a sore throat. You got anything like that? I honestly, I probably did. I don't even know. I know I was smoking a lot too, so my voice was definitely hoarse <laughs> like all the time. I'll replay oh, sure. the headshot for you guys. Don't worry. Yeah, when he brought the snow up and was throwing it at me, I actually was, I wasn't pissed when he was throwing it at me. I was genuinely like, oh yeah, throw it at me. Like, I've never seen the snow, so go ahead. Like, I yeah, live in fucking sure, Texas, sure. dude. Like, you're gonna bring me a bucket of snow? Yippee! It's like fucking Christmas know, in real. here. <laughs> like, I was excited when I saw the outside world. I was like, it's snowing out this bitch? Yeah, for real. But, yeah, and I was like, go ahead, Chris, I've never seen the snow. <laughs> the first day you were here, you said you wanted us to fuck with you. You said you wanted us to go crazy. You wanted us to do shit. Now that I'm doing shit, you can't take it. You're taking it first. Everybody you saw she gave a headshot, right? You threw it. You just threw it in my ear. Like, you just threw it in my face. Okay. Oh, body shots. See? <laughs> oh, sorry. Again, <laughs> we're telling you not to go for headshots. <laughs> and then he, like, chucks the bucket. I didn't even notice. Okay, back that again. Fucking headshots, drop it! I'm sorry, I didn't This is, this is so sad, bro. <laughs> this is snow, it's fun. Come on, Chris. It's fun. Come on, Chris. I did go full postal this mode. I do follow the rules, you fucking trick. Do yourself a favor. What's the favor, Chris? Or he's gonna give a fuck about the bikini pod. Height. Okay. A dead ass. Or he doesn't give a fuck. I'm not scared of him. Really now, yeah, when Ben put his hand in between us, I was like, Ben, I'm not scared of him. Put your fucking hand. Like, I was like, I don't give a fuck. I did not care. Yeah, he, I was ready to big, fight him. But after, uh, after that Frank thing, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was so fucking, I was like, dude, he's about, he's, I don't care if he's going to try to come at me. I don't care. Ben was scared yep. of you, bro. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do yourself a favor, giant, gigantic obese breath. <laughs> He really wanted to hit you in the face with something gross, wet, and frigid. He should have thrown Nifty's pussy instead. I would trash all day. Why? Okay, no. Why would you have pissed in that? Because I wouldn't. I'm not saying she pissed. I'm saying. Uh, can you grab two points? <laughs> this was so funny. Why did she get the fucking lead in the situation? Max yes. interrupts to what a polygraph test on Taylor. Cowboy yeah, came up in the test. middle, like, in the complete middle of our argument and was like, hey, can you come up with me upstairs with some chairs? <laughs> like, in the middle of our Max, argument. And I was like, yeah, I will. Max was always, always so fucking hilarious just because he had, like, the, the kindest demeanor for no reason. Yeah, he did. Like, every time he walked in the room, it was just, like, a sense of sunshine. Like, it was like, it was oh, like, man. Uh, a nice person. Like a school counselor. Yeah, they, well, like even better than a school counselor because the school counselors suck. At least the ones I went to. <laughs> but that was so funny. I knew this was going to be a load of fucking shit. This uh, lie detector test. Because Vance had told oh, yeah. me, I, I asked Vance about it after the fact. 
or someone mentioned it after uh, after the fact. We were all hanging out, and he said that he tried this lie detector test downstairs in the basement, and they asked him if he enjoys working with them, and it said no. <laughs> well, I already knew this shit was uh, rigged, uh, just because you know lie detector tests they're very uh, they're very very sensitive to sweating, heartbeat. You know, it doesn't really matter what you think, as if you're nervous, it's gonna mess you up. Oh, and also, yeah. When I went up there, it was hot as hell. I don't know if it was hot as hell. But for you. I think I had the snow on me still, so, like, it was just right for me. Yeah, I was sweating. Um, I know, um, uh, when he pulled me up there, too, obviously, I was in the middle of an argument, so, uh, my, uh, you know, I, I, I <laughs> my, my blood pressure was soaring, my heartbeat was racing, like, I, I was going crazy. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Personally, I can't read the test results, so I have to be fairly literal. Taylor says the other fish do not deserve to win. She says she is not scared of Jimmy. She was not mad oh. when TJ returned. And I... <laughs> Wait, what? I'm gonna go have myself a cigarette. I'm about to fucking fuck a hole through this damn computer. What the fuck? Oh, is it being fucked up? Oh, oh, it's not one thing, it's another. Sorry again, but like, you know, obviously... Grandma's in hospice on my yards, but, uh... Just imagine coming home, right? And the fucking TV you use, you literally just use before you go to your grandmother's. For some reason, it's broken. It won't turn on. And when it does turn on, the screen's fucking cracked, right? Uh-huh. Well, who the fuck cracked my screen? I live alone. What I don't drink. What the fuck? I don't smoke. I don't have the money to get, like, blackout fucked up. <laughs> I literally that's... just came the fuck home to, like, that shit being fucked. That's weird. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Did not mean to, uh, forgot to meet myself. I was about to go for it, so. <laughs> huh. Yeah, the dolls cracked your screen, Jimmy. Brian did it. Yeah, it's just explain to the audience, uh, I can't get my audio to work at all for them. Uh, and I don't know why, I was just explaining to them, I'm gonna go step out for a smoke. I came home to my fucking TV, uh, the screen was cracked, and it's like, how did this even happen? I just use this, and I live home alone. I'm kind of spooked, honestly. Did someone break into my apartment just to break my TV? <laughs> yeah, they didn't steal nothing. Uh, I'm sorry, friend, guys. Jesus. Well, I knew I knew this was going to be a crock of shit, though. And Taylor, personally, I can't read the test results, so I have to be fairly literal. Taylor says the other fish do not deserve to win. She says she is not scared of Jimmy. She was not mad when TJ returned and is not a lesbian. She says she does not have impure thoughts about Nifty or Trish, although the polygraph shows the question stresses her out. Trish says she is sort of scared of Jimmy. But when pushed to give a yes or no, she gives a verified no. She says her experience has been the hardest of all the fish. She says Tay is a lesbian. She says Brian was good in the bathroom. What the and the fuck? graph shows a lie. She says the judge is the most attractive member of production. Talking to Scott oh. downstairs, Chris says Tay has made him want to swing on her several times. And he isn't afraid to hit women. He says he's done getting nude on the show. <laughs> Damn! It's nude just a little later. Imagine in being a flex like that. He says yeah. he's the smartest in the house. Just as he laughs that he isn't scared of Jimmy, Fatty rings the beef bell. The judge asks Fatty if he wants to box, and he says no because he doesn't want to hurt Taylor, and then says he wants to go home. Reluctantly, the judge speaks to him, and Fatty asks for a no-contact challenge. He wins the beef by pissing his pants Wait, first. Wait, yeah, he <laughs> said that, and then he wouldn't box me? He said he'd swing on me, and then he wouldn't box me? Bro, Chris tried to uh, tried to box me for no reason other than the fact that it felt like uh, I was the only one in his uh, weight class. I'm like, no the fuck I am not. Yeah, what the hell? I don't understand why. I don't get it. Tay says she would have boxed him. Back at the polygraph, Shinji says TJ is the weakest fish. He apparently lies when he says he's not afraid of the judge. He says he enjoyed when men sucked his dick when he did porn. He says he wouldn't be upset if he found out he was not a genius, but Max says the graph indicates Shinji is crushed by that idea. 
Chris says Tay is not a lesbian. He says Jimmy was not correct about TJ being Lubakooch. He says none of the fish are his friend. The other questions are about his opinion on Star Wars. Oliver has asked for one answer. He says he isn't gay. The lie detector shows a spike. He <laughs> says he doesn't consider anyone in the house his friend. His heart rate spikes when he says he has never made an account on a porn website. He says he has acted inappropriately on the internet before. He says he hasn't showered enough, and the worst thing he's done on Discord is draw rabbit porn. TJ says he's scared of Jimmy. He and says I don't, he and I don't say nothing about that, bro. I made hella money. <laughs> this is a fucking the graph rig. reacts when he says he doesn't hate black people. I don't give the a graph fuck. also reacts when he says he hasn't had sexual thoughts about Tay and wasn't turned on during the baby challenge. He reacts massively to Are You Lube Cooch and clarifies that he is not the Rule 34 Lube Cooch. Fatty hits up the confessional to say he knows his victory over Tay was meaningless and worthless and cries as the TTS he receives are extremely hostile. The double doors visible from the doghouse open so that production can remove large pieces of furniture and broken wood from the oh, house. Oh, this is when they... Before bed, Vance takes a soy tax from Tay. She is charged 50 chips because they found a video of her being cringe from... Oh, yeah, that was so funny. I do want to know how they... Well, actually, I think I know. I know how they found that. Also, um... If you guys thought that, uh, I was actually mad about this, I was not mad. I was just like, I was just like, where did you find that? Like, oh my god. More than that, that more than anything. I wasn't actually mad. That uh, last scream at the end of that sound, though, was so goddamn funny. I was thinking about it so often after I got out of the tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> okay, I thought people thought I was mad. What is that? <laughs> What is the video? I'll find it. I knew it. I know where you found this. Just me. I you the me on my side. you find this? It doesn't matter. It does. I on my side. Shinji and TJ are put into bedroom one to strategize for an elimination challenge tomorrow. I think we should just try to uh, sabotage her. Whatever we can find the chance to do so. Yeah. Like, without her noticing. Jet pipes the audio from their conversation into the doghouse, so Tay can yeah. always hear it, and Chris joins in. <laughs> their strategy is vague. They are afraid of a counterattack, so they think they can act in secret. So, they consider um, using Chris. And when they, uh, when they wired the microphone to me, I was so glad. I, I was so glad. And, uh, they were going to try to hide the coffee from me and the protein powder, but it wasn't, it didn't cripple me at all, honestly. I You were on it. I didn't, you know, I, I, I can survive without that stuff. I, I can survive on two days and no sleep and be coherent. I, you know, I, I and I just didn't want to, like, brag about that there. But I had some tricks up my sleeve that I didn't mention. It's called oh, insomnia. <laughs> I've said this a lot. And the thing I'm like, I expected you to come out on top for sure. But, you know, it just came down to the physical challenges. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they did have this conversation because Jet, like, yeah. Jet made Shinji go in there and talk to him, too. Yeah. What? And TJ describes Prove him it? as I not will. that smart and talks about the ways they can take advantage of him. Oliver reminds him about the worms, and Shinji says he has to be careful in how he uses them. With Chris now sufficiently motivated, he and Taylor shake on a plan saying, no one likes bullies. Because Shinji and TJ had planned to mess with Tay's sleep to tire her out for the challenge, Chris initiates a filibuster counterattack on everyone upstairs as soon as the strategy talk is over. I'll do a stream after not sleeping for two days. I will. <laughs> Have you staring off to the distance? Oh yeah. For a good thirty minutes. 
Oh, that's that boogie woogie bugle boy. It's bad at work, you know? The boogie woogie bugle boy. It can't really be. I do a lot, do a lot of things. He knows it in all the bars. I'm trying to get free and all the best of times. I'll do a 24 hour stream. I will at some point. Don't worry. Hilarious that Tay and Chris teamed up immediately after the argument. I know, right? title oh yeah <laughs> have I been in many fights no I've never been in a fight before like the thing with TJ was like my first like formal fight oh yeah like but it's Shinji different was my first fight too yeah like it's different you know being in like a scrap with somebody like pushing that's different than like yeah. full-on boxing Want to get in one? Yeah, Christopher Robin, post up. Pull up, motherfucker. Pull <laughs> up. No, I'm just joking. Don't. Actually, don't. I'll shoot you. <laughs> Legitimately, though, how did they find a video of you when you were 15? All right. All right. I'll tell you. So I sent my friend a Snapchat video. That being the Snapchat video. And when I was, uh, you know, where I'm, you know, in Stephenville... Twitter is very, uh, kind of secluded. <laughs> like, it's like, you know, I'm sure people understand, like, when you first get Twitter and you follow people you know in person, you're generally on the Twitter that is just, like, your local Twitter. So my friend posted that to her Twitter to share with, like, people around us and had my name in it. And I think people just looked up my name on Twitter and looked at the media. That's how I think they found it. Wanted to re-experience the Depression Olympics, but it's 5 a.m. and Damn. I'm sleepy. Good nighties. Good night, Vlad. Vlad, I think that's you. It's good to hear from you, man. Good night. No sunglasses? Okay. Beaver Street. <laughs> Beaver Street was such a funny-ass meme. Yeah, I don't even... And the funniest thing is, like, I have no idea what that even is. But it was Maria, right? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Maria. It was a different person. Hell yeah. It was a different friend of mine. A friend of mine that I said... The friend that I called Piccolo. I called her Piccolo a few times on stream in Fish Tank. Maybe not that many times, but it was the friend that I said that I had, like, a long Snapchat streak with. That, that's who. But, on to day 39. And I'm gonna eat some cashews while I watch this. I might also need to have a, a smoke break a few times. Considering I know, I think I know what happens here. It's gonna get a little fucked up. Yep. A little, mm, actually a lot of fucked up. It's gonna get pretty bad. Oh yeah, now this really came to uh, the last couple days when it got really crazy. Oh yeah. And like people were saying like that day 38 was like the day that it turned against me, but I have no idea. I don't think anything <laughs> turned as much against you as uh, that one day where they all teamed up and you that I hear about. Oh, yeah, and like Frank, yeah, and I was like taped up to Frank, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, like this sucked, but that one looked like you were really going through the ringer. Yeah, yeah, it really was. But here we go. Oh, wait. Hey, Cat. Greg, if you talk over Taylor again, you are getting kicked. She DM'd me this, but is scared to tell you. What? Stop making everything about yourself. Tay, ask Jimmy WTF he meant by your heart being taken or have you already given him a fake explanation? Yeah, actually, yeah, I forgot about that. Jimmy! Jimmy! <laughs> well, Jimmy's gone, but what? Yeah, if I'm making it about myself, uh, let me know because, you know, I'm just uh, talking from my own experiences. Oh, I didn't think you were. I mean, you were there in the house when it was happening, you know? Well, I don't, I think they're just, uh, I think they're just riling 
uh, running us against, up against each other. But yeah, yeah, I'm just like, let me know if I'm going too far. Oh no, you're okay. I think I think you're good. Don't worry. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Damn it, Jimmy is on is smoking. God damn it. Jimmy's gonna get. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Jimmy about that in a second. All right. Here we go. Day thirty nine. <laughs> Watching AB's Day 39 recap. Welcome to Fish Tank Digest. Buckle up and prepare for Kino. <laughs> Kino incoming. Uh oh, Kino. <laughs> Shout out AB. Uh, best fish tank. What's his at? It's, a, it's <laughs> at Vile Rat. Vile Rat underscore, I think. Vile Rat underscore on Twitter. He's a stud. Production wakes all the fish early as they continue to strip the house bare. During a smoke break, they sit and talk to TTS. Jed and Ben talk about running smaller fish tank spin-offs between seasons bag. to keep the audience's attention, hmm. including poker tournaments or a one-room cell challenge. Jed says the biggest lesson he learned is they can't cast fish tank fans. Ben's biggest regret was that he sometimes came upstairs to intervene in situations and he didn't need to and it killed the momentum. A TTS says Jimmy ruined the show, and Jet says there are no hard feelings with Jimmy, and he and Ben say most of the best bits in the show were Jimmy's. <laughs> Jet says they went too fast with the torture this season and didn't expect so many people to leave in the first week. They say they did better this season at balancing the pressure between contestants, but could have gone harder on Shinji. They didn't expect the fish to say, production told me to, so much, but think it's because the fish <laughs> couldn't think on their feet. They think the romance stuff was worthwhile for Brian and Trish, but people got sick of it. All the fish are made to spray tan themselves into ah. Mexican workers and clean the house of remaining garbage. Shinji and Taylor are also told to write and rehearse victory speeches. Trish also for some reason. Frank Hassel returns and tells Trish he found a DM from her from last summer asking him, How much daddy? That shit was so funny. She says she was just trying to buy a 9-11 shirt from him, but he flirts with her all evening to annoy her. Fatty tries to start a boxing beef with Greg because he's tired of Greg saying he's just Oh my god! Paid. Jet says beefs are gay and they're not doing them anymore. After Fatty tries Bro, to lecture GTS Greg about taking the show seriously, riling him up seriously, so much, it was so goddamn annoying. Oh, I know. Oh shit, I actually skipped through it, but I, was I like, know. Chris, don't li don't listen to them. They're just trying to get you to do something stupid. And now that I know the reason, it's especially annoying because he just wanted to fight with me because he he wanted to. It's like, bro. We could have sparred if you asked. Yeah. <laughs> this was when, um... This was when, uh... They wanted us to work like Mexicans, too. Yeah, they tried to tan me up. I was like, nah, fuck that. I did not want to do it. It was so bad. That was why I only did it on my, like, neck down. I did not put it on my face. Because he's tired of Greg saying he's just waiting to get paid. Jet says beefs are gay, and they're not doing them anymore. After Fatty tries to lecture Greg about taking the show seriously, he responds to a TTS asking him to talk about Pokemon for 40 minutes, and Frank interrupts. The day it's Pokedex Century literally states it is the legendary Pokemon, Arcanine! Tickle the baby! 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 Tickle the baby, 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 An injury, tickle the baby, 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 stop, Frank, stop. Frank, stop! Frank, stop! Tickle the baby! 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 Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> stop, dude, stop! Chris harnessing his chakra. Stop, dude! Baby status stop. tickled. <laughs> dude! <laughs> Tickle the planet! Tickle the planet! I will fucking jump! I will fucking jump! You leave me alone, I'll leave it alone! You leave me alone, I'll leave it alone! Squirtle shut down by Trainer Frank. <laughs> Oh god, those are the drugs. Trainer Frank, that'd be fire. <laughs> yeah, you should, down. Greg, that'd be funny. I might, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, Greg, you're fort. Believe it or not, I love oh, that yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> tickle the baby is the best shit. Tickle the baby is a good one. Yeah. Oh, like shit. To throw elbows. A did smelling Can salts. Crush me. Some sanctimonious fucking speech about. <laughs> Do I remember anything from this day? Uh, I remember, most I remember you smelling salt. <laughs> well, big ups to Walk fucking Frank for calling out. that shit out. That shit was so goddamn annoying. And asks fat. Oh yeah. Tay, were you in? The, were you in the tank for some for some buddy buddy comedy and reputation, or were you there for the money? I mean, I was mostly there for the money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was he was trying to make it seem like such a big deal and uh, like. Gaslighting me into being, uh, into not being mad about <laughs> not getting the money. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do remember this night because of the chickens. Fatty, if he actually wants to box, Fatty is frustrated because Greg is the only person he felt he could have a fair fight with. But eventually, they convince him yeah, to do seriously. a light spar with Frank. Here you go, have a fight. <laughs> The chickens on the news was really funny. Wait, 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 wait. You just take the headgear off, Chris. Just take it off. Please, sir, 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 Knocked him out of his pants for a <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was on fucking point of that was making me a choke. Boy. I'm just, I feel like I have in the butt of enough jokes. And, uh, <laughs> Taylor cameo. That right there yeah. is purely to make a joke out of me, and I know that for a fucking fact. What? To have a box? To have me box fucking Frank. What was light sparring? Would I be a maid on season three? I'd do the opposite of being a maid. That'd be fun. Make messes like while everyone's asleep. And you want to blow some steam off. And we talked, and you told me that you wanted to box today. Yeah, more fun. That would be silly. You'd be like. Jimmy! Jimmy, you're back! Jimmy disappears. Jimmy! What did you mean when you said my heart is taken? Okay, no, so I remember, I can't remember when exactly this season, this would have been like earlier on. I It might have been just you or me, or it could have been you, me, and like a group of uh, fish. I remember, I don't know, we just were like having a talk about like relationships or some shit like that. I specifically remember you say, oh, uh, yeah, there's a guy... There's, I have someone back home to my heart is like, where like, you know, like my heart's taken by some guy back home. I just hope he feels the same way or some shit like that. What the and fuck? No. I, 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 I know that for a fact because that's, that's been like a core note I've kept about you since like first meeting you it was like, oh, okay. Yeah. I so, said you that know. I, I said that I still like, my heart still went out to my ex. 
That's what I was saying. Oh. Yeah, Greg, beatbox over that one. (laughs) That had had some some legacy to it. Find the clip, Jimmy. (laughs) Yeah, no. I, I was saying that I still, like, felt for my ex because, like, I was with him for so long. That was what I meant. So, oh, okay. so for all those out there making those speculations that you're making, there's your answer, Métis. All right. What the fuck is on my gosh darned what you do, Hickey? No, I'm I'm not into the abusive ex. I just obviously, I it's hard to fucking just like disregard him. Okay, I have feelings. I'm a human. I have empathy. Okay. Now, and you're we're moving on. Because you have yeah, it's like fish tank. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I've moved on from my past. Okay. <laughs> I've got I've gotten over my past, and I'm moving on. Okay. Like we are right now. Also, Jimmy, I feel like there was something that happened. Oh, Jimmy, I think you want. I think you want to be here for this. Okay. Jimmy, did did you see this live? Uh, no, I saw I saw the uh, clips of that. Like I said, I was in the wall for this time, baby. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Silly me. And how did you how did you dodge all of those holes? <laughs> uh, the crawl space was in the wall behind Judge, as well as I was underneath the floor. True, true, true. And yeah. Nice. It's too good for him. Break through the needle. Knock out fatty, sir. Please, sir. Good for India. So, uh, what did you think when that happened, Jimmy? I thought that was just hilarious how, like, his pants came off. It was like some shit out of a punch out. (laughs) That gave me, like, Looney Tunes vibes when I saw it happen. Like, I could not believe that happened. It was like some Looney Tunes type shit. Oh, shit. All right. Nice work, Chris. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Not bad. <laughs> you alright? Trish, help look. Come on. No. Wait, no. what? Basilisk, thank you for the two. Are we to believe oh. you didn't tell Jimmy to say that? I didn't. No, punch and bag. Probably pretty good. Good effort, Chris. Knocked him out of his pants. What? What, Jimmy? I said, what kind of fucking silly conspiracy is that? Where it's like, of all fucking things for you to like have me say to like act as a character, it's just like you, you would have me say that. I don't. It's know. like, bro, what? Oh no! I think they're saying that I'm. T- I told you to say that. Uh, I don't even know, actually. Yeah, you're probably right. Any Sorry, either, bro. I'm. I'm. I'm regarded. We smoking meth, boys. Yeah, we really are a crack gang. Everything, every conspiracy. Oh, Judge Don't Budge was the worst shit I ever heard. That's hilarious, honestly, to hear someone say that. <laughs> oh, Greg! You. Oh yeah, Greg. Oh, that's the song we had to come up with. Yeah, we had to come up with a song. Yeah, that was. It was like an <laughs> all day thing. Then... <laughs> oh, like you like all day singing it or all day writing it? Both. Writing, <laughs> singing, producing, practicing, and then performing. Oh boy. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, did I start <laughs> cooking those rocks? By the way, I did actually. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I would have given Chris a can of spinach. That's actually funny. I tried to bring a can of spinach to win me back to a friend. Yeah, but the airport took the can of spinach. What the fuck? You know, I can see that. I guess too many. 
No, yeah, yeah. Chris, I'm going to be honest with you. We talked about in the basement. We could we could tell you were having a bad day and you want to blow some steam off. And we talked, and you told me that you wanted to box today. Yeah, and more fair fight like me and Greg. It doesn't matter, dude. That no. Get a joke. No, no. The intention was not to have to make a joke out of you. It was to let you blow some steam off. Bro really yeah, thinks that I Greg and know. Chris is a know. more dude, fair matchup than Frank and Chris. Lying. Listen, no, no, it's not. I'm talking to you man to man. The, here's the, the truth of the situation: is it wouldn't have if you you fell down, your pants fell down, and I get that was humiliating. But usually, usually, like the, the Chris I know, the Chris that's in a good mood, the fighter, when when something humiliating happens, you laugh, and it makes everyone else laugh. I, act, I, I was gonna say though, I actually wanted to bring a can of spinach yeah. to go Popeye mode. Uh, That's hilarious. I, bet, I don't know if you've seen it, Greg, but uh, I did show like the OG list. Uh, I emailed. I, I was such a fucking uh, spastic autistic nerd. Uh, holy when shit! Emailing back and what forth is liquid the casting day? director? I sent her a whole fucking list of shit I wanted to bring from like quarter man so that I'd buy. <laughs> Obviously, to like fucking destroy, like inevitably. But and you had your whole script spinach. too. Oh, yeah. Alright. You know, if, if you were the oh. guy that brought specifically spinach, that would have been so fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> I settled on mixed CDs and an antique vacuum I never got to use to milk one of the male contestants. Uh, through the nipples. Through the no. nipples, by the way. Not, 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 not downstairs. We could be going upstairs on a male contestant. That's what we'd be using the antique Horderman vacuum for. Uh, and I was gonna play Pyramid Head the Pyramids head theme from uh, Silent Hill 2 and yell out about them taking all of my milk and how I'm going to milk them like the sultry cow they are or some shit. That, that was my plan. Yeah, well, <laughs> Jackie beaches a punch on the milking. Oh no. Oh yeah, she did actually. <laughs> what is even happening? Oh. Uh, uh, you, what, when Jackie put the vacuum on Chris's penis, I think. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's that what was, he's referring to. That was yep. fucking disgusting. I wasn't there to see it. I was just like, okay, I'm out. She <laughs> stole my job. Hey. Were you planning on doing that? She stole my job. It's not funny. Were you planning on doing that? Yeah. Uh, you you can ask uh Chris Lynch or someone. There's like this antique uh 50s Bluetooth vacuum I duct taped up the hose. I found it in Horderman's barn and it didn't explode and it turned on when I plugged it in. So it's like, okay, bet. It, it, it doesn't, it does not suck at all. Like, you, you can't use it to actually be a vacuum. It's literally as much of a prop as a vacuum can be. So it does turn suck, on and make but it the does noise, suck. But... Hey, Jimmy. Yes. I, I don't know if you've heard yes. this before, but they're, they're saying that you're AM radio. I'm AM radio. Yeah, they're they're calling you AM radio. Whoa. I'd be down for that. I saw an AM pirate radio. I just inject myself with pure caffeine and just talk. Ninety nine point seven Jimmy Yap FM. Yeah, all yap all the time. Jimmy, did you hear that? Ninety nine point seven Yap FM. All yap all yeah. the time. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, I think one of the funniest things that would happen in the house was when you would talk a lot, and then you'd, like, stop talking for a little bit. And then they'd send in a TTS being like, Jimmy, quit your fucking yapping! And then you'd start talking again. <laughs> like, that's totally understandable, like but that was so funny. Thank you. No, yeah, it's I okay. just get stuck in my own head and then get quiet I thought I'd be distracted by something and then I'd start talking again which is so it was so funny that it was like they would like draw you back to make you talk again and then complain about it <laughs> uh, um, yeah that um, just... feels very very reminiscent of fish tank audience <laughs> oh yeah uh, by the way um, I gotta go uh, I gotta go talk to liquid Tay real quick so I'll be right back okay. <laughs> I'm coughing on that marijuana pop. Nice. 
the only thing I do is every once in a while I'll, I'll drink uh, I'll drink shots till I get uh, drunk, and that's that's maybe like once or twice a month. I'm personally not a big shots man. Like I'll do them. I don't know if I if I, I if I had to drink hard liquor, it would have to be uh, mixed like heavily, like cocktail wise. Well, I have a, like, I I have know, a I chaser, straight up. but I go straight. Nice. I know that the going straight whiskey for me gives me wicked bad acid fucking reflux. Uh, I, I like imagine puking. Uh, but it's like actual stomach acid, so it burns oh, yeah. the back of your. But like That's really, the... really bad because like, I've puked. You know what? Like, there's nothing there when I'm sick, but this is like pure, pure shit. Like, no, pure I get you. This is why uh, whenever I puke, I try to avoid alcohol for a long time because it has like a traumatic effect on me. And I'm like every time I think about alcohol, it gives me the shakes. Whereas like in that video where we were uh, doing the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the ping pong thing. I just like spit uh -huh. it right out, not because I was puking it, but because the taste of alcohol just like irked me to no end. Oh, I, I, man, I fucking get that. Ugh. All right, I'm back. Oh, thank God. Yo. It's Yo. me, Liquid K. A Sports. It's in the game. It's me. E A Sports. It's in the game. E. EA Sports. Yo, it's, it's me. A ginger with the pirate hat kind of goes fucking hard. It kind of does, honestly, but it makes me look a little more regarded a little bit, but that's all right. All <laughs> right, guys. Time to digest even more. I don't want to assume what Chris was thinking, but yesterday, Taylor told Chris that production brings him on to Fish Tank to make him, as he repeats, the butt of the joke. The judge comes upstairs with this in mind to tell Chris it isn't Wait, true. Wait, what? W. Tay? Oh. Did Taylor tell you uh, that we bring you out just to humiliate I like how Chris face. looks like he's bright red. We love you, Chris. Thank I do you mean that in a good sure. way because, like, he was really mad, so I can imagine Chris going, like, devil mode or some shit. <laughs> That'd be kind of silly. Yeah. He gets mad very easily. Yeah, he really does. It isn't true. Did Taylor tell you uh, that we bring you out just to humiliate you and get views? Uh, no. We love you, Chris. Thank you for being here. Are you sure? Did he you said say no. Some fucked up shit like that, though. I mean, we had a little spat last night. Like, it is what it is, been dealt with. Okay, well, I just want to. I want you to know that's not true. I swear to God. Okay. Give me your hand. I, look at me. Look, fucking look at me, Chris. I swear. To, I swear to God. I swear on my life. That's not true. Okay. I, hope not. I swear to God. That's not true. I swear on my life. All right. Yeah. You're you're our partner. You're our guy. All right. Season three, we're gonna be losing weight. We're gonna be hanging out. We're gonna keep this going. Yep. 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 No wig. No wig. No wig. No wig. No wig. No wig. J J J J J J J J J J J J. I'm bald. Wait, no, the whole thing oh, is yeah. that you have to see my head, so I'll use an eye patch instead. Here. Wait, I'll use my right eye, that way I can look at my other screen. Alright, here we go, guys. Here we go. Alright, All right, buddy. You need anything? No, I'm good. I just want to finish this you up. Do, you do your thing, you do your thing. I want to get to a point where I can full on box break. Yeah, we got to lose weight. Season three. 100%. Season three, we're going to get an exercise bike. I'm going to do the treadmill. I'm going to be working out with you. But we're going to, we're going to lose weight because I, I have to too. All right. All right? Appreciate it. Yeah. The boxing continues. Oliver boxes Frank. What do y'all well, want me to update the dono goal to then? Are y'all saying that? Were y'all saying that that was like the moment it was solidified for me or some shit? Then Vance gets his shit absolutely rocked by Greg. But that shit sucked. Judge showed how <laughs> a swamp man punches. 
The funny thing is about here is I was actually going easy even though I couldn't control my punches. <laughs> I was trying to spar. Damn. Oh, uh... Tay looking like she's mugging people in a London alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is asked to write oh, loser speeches, including Oliver and Trish, because it's funny. As the fish start to nap, and for lack of other conscious targets, Frank lays into Greg for drawing rabbit porn. Greg tries to go to bed, but Frank stirs him up and gets him drinking. <laughs> the fish play Truth or Dare, styled as Greg or Frank. Greg serves a shot to those who choose truth, and dares are chosen by Frank. Beautiful Balti brothers, Jimmy and live on 99.4 AM. Yeah. Jimmy Coast to Chicken Coast, and first out. time caller line is five dollars. Jimmy, we should do a call in one time with you. That'd be funny. That would be the, nice. We're gonna put the hat back on. The 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 one eye thing was kind of fucking with my eyes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh yeah, I don't know if you saw. Saw this, Taylor, but I recently posted a picture on Twitter of me with my chicken, too. You told me how you uh, you had chickens. I had chickens, too. Oh, I might have seen that. Yeah, I had I like how all the chickens are in one, are in one set side of the room, but they have segregated the single one to sit on that lap. <laughs> they just found it. <laughs> These chickens were hanging out in the fireplace. It's like, bro, we don't use that fireplace. Are you trying to become Yeah, KFC? that was funny. They kept doing that. <laughs> um, the cranberry. Oh, yeah. I think I did see that picture of you with your chicken, though, Greg. Oh yeah, that one in particular is named Hannah, but we had a good like Aww. maybe a dozen. Aww. I had um. I, I showed my my old rooster on stream at one point in the past. You still got one, or is this the old one? Oh, no, this is my, one of my old ones. They all died. Well, actually, two of them got killed for sure, and then the other one just, like, disappeared. So he could still... Hey, he could still be alive. <laughs> we had uh, we had two ducks that uh, had babies, I think about, like, six of them, and every single one of them died because of their terrible parenting. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Jesus. I know that when I was a kid, we had chickens and a rooster... Uh, the rooster made the bad decision of attacking my dad, and that was it. Oh, God. No, my chicken was free to begin with. I just had him out in the open. They'd sleep on top of their coop with no fence or anything. They just, you know, coyotes could just come up and get them, which is what yeah, happened. Yeah, no fence? <laughs> no, like, I just let them roam around, and it was fine. Because, I mean, they were, I mean, I got six of them for, like, 20 bucks. And they Did were... you ever see them rip each other apart? No, but they were all fucking Good. roosters. So I was trying to get eggs, and then they turned out to all be roosters. <laughs> well, good thing none of them uh, got hurt then, because those chickens are fucking cannibals. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Like, the time that I figured out that two of them got killed, like, one of them was, like, laying next to the dead one, but I don't think it was eating it. It could have been, but I didn't see it with my own eyes. They're a bunch of nefarious to bastards. Oh, yeah. But, but yeah, we had a we had a special breed of chickens called Easter Eggers that lay uh, yellowish, bluish, and greenish eggs, and they're like oh, completely natural. Yeah, I've heard of those ones. Yeah, it's cool as hell. Mm -hmm. Damn. I miss those chickens. Oliver once came before he was done putting the condom on. Shinji says his body count is close to 300. Greg says his body count is... I like how they're talking about putting condoms on and uh, Frank the Greg cam is free. showing a cock. Details <laughs> yeah. and he gets offended. Yeah. Trish says Octo was the most attractive freeloader and Frank complains because he's trying to take over Fatty's horn dog arc. When everyone pressures Fatty to drink, he abruptly quits, saying he's being set up for failure again. He locks himself he broke in the that chair. I say no, I don't oh, want to yeah. drink, and I'm called a fucking pussy. I don't have my fucking name and everything. No, I got enough fucking respect for myself now, so I'm not fucking letting it happen anymore. I'm done. Straight disrespect. <laughs> and the hat come from fucking Gold Striker himself. So fucking respect. feels even worse. So Cowboy can do construction Yo, on the I ground get... floor. The party Yo, moves and that fucking gives me an idea. How badass would it be if Chris were to just show up with an airsoft army gun in like an old timey gangster uniform? That would but be then so just funny. yell straight fucking disrespect and just light up all the fucking fish. Yeah. <laughs> straight fucking funny. disrespect. 
<laughs> into bedroom three, and Frank oh. kicks the confessional door to wake Fatty oh, up. Man, I miss my shoes. Can you stop kicking my fucking head? What are you doing? Can you stop kicking my fucking head? You all right? No! Damn, nigga. Smash it, 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 That's insane! Okay. What? <laughs> I mean, if if anybody has a chance of filling that goal, it's, it's definitely you, because a lot of the Fitch Tank fans love to watch your streams for sure. I mean, yeah, but... Hey, I pick the fuck anywhere, up, baby! I don't have anywhere for Jimmy to stay. You could, Well, with, with $1,000, yeah, you can simple. get up a hotel. <laughs> So crazy mm. that idea might just work. <laughs> Doghouse. <laughs> Doghouse. Right, listen. I'll, I'll, how cheap are how cheap are cigarettes in your area? Uh. Honestly, I you know this is fucked up, Jimmy. When I buy cigarettes, I don't care how much they are. <laughs> oh. Uh, I mean, I think Ballin. I think Marlboros are like eight dollars. No, I was like that before Fish Tank. Even I was like, I need cigarettes, and I have at least ten dollars. So I, I mean, they're under ten dollars. The cheapest cigarettes that we sell at at the gas station I work out is like uh four dollars. Are those the Mon Monte Montenegros or whatever? Nah, Lucky Strike. Oh. Lucky so cheap. Oh wait, that's right. He's down south. So yeah, so in the southern United States, I don't know where the borders are, but tobacco is dirt cheap. Huh. I didn't know that uh I, I thought they stopped selling Lucky Strikes here, but I don't know. I know the Marlboro lights that I got recently were like eight <clears throat> something. Eight something, maybe. Yo yeah, yo. Yeah. But, and I think the spirits that I have are probably, they may be 10 or 11, I'm not sure. Okay, I think I, I got mean, two yeah, packs for 21, so. See, I'm glad I'm, I, don't, I don't smoke. <laughs> that's a, that's a, like a whole lot of wasted money. Well, I mean, I, Me honestly, that's why I would smoke I'm pipe tobacco, because it's cheap. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, true. I need and to also, put you on to that, honestly, Jimmy. I'm not trying to quit smoking. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm high as a kite because I'm trying to quit smoking. And that's not to toot my own twiddly winks or anything like that. But yeah, I got to save my money. I don't know what I was thinking asking you about them devilish Texan cigarettes. Keep your oh, tobacco yeah. away from me. Definitely jump off at it. Did you see that, Greg? Did you see that, Greg? Kaylee was what? just trying to ruin my quitting smoking mission. Ooh. <laughs> how? You asked me how much cigarettes were, Jimmy. Uh-oh. Um. In this Discord call, we got the devil and the angel on your shoulder. We got a live depiction right now. Oh my god. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I have, like, Somebody Greg on one that. side and Jimmy on the other. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, Jimmy, if you could, you could just smoke pipe tobacco. That's like a, that's like a good step down, at least. Like a step down from uh, cigarettes is to pipe tobacco, and it's cheap. Ooh. It's really cheap. Ooh. Nah, ten dollars isn't too bad for me, because with ten bucks you can get. Like four ounces of pipe tobacco, and that's like a good month's worth of tobacco. But fit is cheaper than cigs. You got a point, my guy. You got a point. You got a point. <laughs> Are they? Uh, 
Is fentanyl cheaper than cigarettes? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not in the fentanyl yeah, exactly. business. I wouldn't know. <laughs> well, me neither, but they just say it on the news all the time because of how fucking much of a psyop it is. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, here we go. We're going to we're gonna digest. That's, easy. that's cheaper than everything. Here we go. You got it. Fuck off! Ow! Fuck off! Ow! Hold on, you alright? I just want you to walk in! I was just trying to open the door, buddy! Oh, no, you're fine! Oh, no, you're fine! Oh, my God. You're all good! You want some weed? No, I want some weed! I want to fucking leave. No, I just had the fucking door. Shut the mic. Greg gets drunker and says Shinji is the most attractive man in a non sexual way. He says saying the N word and in rape are equally bad. So Frank tells him he'll rape Trish if Greg doesn't say the N word. Frank presses Greg too much and he cries and they hug it out. Fatty returns and says yeah, a friend had to talk up, him bro. out of quitting so close to the end of the season. He is convinced finally to drink with everyone. Frank gives up on flirting with Trish and ships himself with Taylor and names the ship Tank. TJ says they will make chuddies together. This escalates as Tay gets drunker. The fish were told that whoever makes Greg or Frank interesting will be given an advantage in the final challenge tomorrow. If making it interesting was Tay's intent, it gets out of hand as she gets drunker. She has Frank kiss the cigarette Bernie made on her hand and says she would win in a dick-sucking contest against Trish. She apologizes to her dad, <laughs> then says she swallows. She kisses Frank on the mouth twice. Whoa! Messages come in from jealous fans, and Frank says she is rapidly losing endorsements. The party is evacuated as renovation moves into bedroom three and returns to the newly swamped bar. She has a code John, and TJ beats John for the worst cigar hit. That side of the fish tank is really After the fish tank. Can I have your shoes? Damn. It's time for the Swamp Olympics. <laughs> um, Johnson 2207, thank you for the five. I have pounds of pipe tobacco. You can have good tobacco. You know, I'm kind of surprised they didn't do for the Swamp Olympics with Broken Silly. What? Oh, shit. Well, you should do a watch do. party for S1 at some point. Maybe a dono goal to cosplay as one of the fish during IT. Um, that sounds kind of odd. <laughs> oh. Greg, I need help making a science volcano. What can I use to make it foam up? Fentanyl. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy, what were you saying? Uh, I was just going to say, uh, it would have been funny if they had you guys do a uh, there will be blood blood fight for y'all while you all had to hit each other with uh, bowling pins while yelling and screaming, I drink your milkshake since Judge is an oil man. Oh said that God. Daniel Plainview was like his buddy or some shit. His baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I thought it was crazy uh, how all this went down. And this was the night that I found uh, the worms, I believe. No, no, no. The night after, like, night 40, I found the worms and uh, I was plotting to steal the chips. Ooh, so bad. But, uh,. Let's see.
<laughs> oh. Why did you let yourself get in that situation and why did Greg slash TJ slash Shinji let it happen? Never forget that Jet and Sam let the entire situation play out. Disgusting. Why sit back down next to Frank? What, the kiss? Yeah. I don't know. I, uh, I just kind of let everything happen because, you know, shit happened all the fucking time. Yeah, and I, I was really trying to do the challenge and plus i was trying to sit where i was sitting because that's my fucking seat and i just i don't know it was fucked up i know i cursed the, i cursed the couch before i left that's why everything bad happened on that couch no what the fuck I slept man? there for all those days yeah, what the hell, yeah Jimmy? i slept there since the beginning did you think i uh wouldn't curse it before i left Bro, am I gonna have to bring? Am I gonna have to carry you up the mountain so that you can drink the water or some shit? No, no, no. So speaking of which, I already drank uh, the faucet water. Put it back up. It's in a new yeah. video of mine. Dude, of course, YouTube won't let me upload it as a regular video. They forced me to upload it as a short, and it's like I hate, I hate that format so much, bro. Yeah. What? Of what? Uh, you know, YouTube shorts, right? So oh, if you make shorts. a video that's yeah. like really, really small, like only a few seconds, they will force that video to be a short. Like you can't just upload a short. What? Fuck. Like this one was like 45 seconds, some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Now you can upload something that's short, but you have to make sure it's in a vertical format instead of a horizontal. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, if it's like, if it built like an actual video, then it would just be a regular video, but... If it's meant to be viewed on phone, then it'll become a short. If it's under 60 seconds. Oh, no. Mike sounds weird. What, what sounds weird about it? Does it sound weird to y'all? Like, to you and uh, Greg and Jimmy, does it sound weird? Uh, I, it sounds fine to me. Oh, weird. They're probably just fucking around. Sounds fine to Oh man. All right. We're on to day 40. I also have this durian fruit and I'm worried about eating it. I'm going to eat it at some point. Guys, don't worry. Don't worry. We got time. Don't worry. Uh, so on the stream, it is it is doubled up for some reason. Oh, uh, Jimmy, do you have do you mm. have uh, do you have your computer turned up really loud by any chance? Yes, but that shouldn't... Like, yeah, I'm going a, through headphones. I don't think it's a Jimmy or a me uh, situation. No. I think this is yeah, an internal uh, problem because Jimmy was muted I got a that time. I got a Samsung Meteor mic, and the only way I can hear the audio when this thing is plugged in is to plug my headphones into the microphone. I wonder if that's better because of... Uh, I, turned my, I turned my stuff down, so that might help. <sighs> All right. We're gonna We're gonna go ahead and watch day forty, guys. Day forty. They don't fix itself like it usually does. Huh? I think I think it'll fix itself just like it usually does. Oh yeah. Taylor enters the confessional first thing and explains to her fans, in case they didn't understand, that she and production knew that flirting with Frank was a bit. She called her fans fat faggot simps last night. She apologizes, but reminds them she's called them that the entire time. Trisha is costumed like as a voodoo they, practitioner, they and the bar is transformed yeah, into her fortune-telling hut. Fatty, after <laughs> saying he isn't going to get naked again several times, get Basilisk, thank you for the two dollars. It was really nice that they gave you your advantage. Seriously, I'll happily pony up a grand for three, four hour midnight to four a.m. Tay and Jimmy Collin shows. Let's make a ten thousand dollars goal for it. Jesus. Ten thousand damn. damn dollars, bro. Might as well have just won. Gets I don't agree so that with TJ that, guys. And Trish I don't think he's the British. The judge holds okay. the opening ceremony of the now. Swamp Olympics. I've seen you. I know you're British. <laughs> Those 
sunglasses, <laughs> fucking bitch. Guys, I know you guys are not fat for your cigarettes, okay? I know you're not. <coughs> Jimmy, someone is saying Aperture will do it if you do content with Jimmy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not sure Evil kept the band together. <laughs> I'm not just saying that to make you feel better, guys. I mean it. Y'all are not British cigarettes. Or fat. I've seen you now. I said that before I'd seen you after 40 something days. <laughs> well done. You three have outlasted the rest of the competition. There's only three left. And today, with the Swamp Olympics, we're going to find out. Which camera is it on right now? So we're gonna find out which one of you is gonna walk away the winner with 50,000 of my green dollars and which two of you are going to be losers for the rest of today and throughout tomorrow we will be performing the Swamp Olympics the greatest game in the history of the planet the greatest collection of mini games Ever devised! <laughs> Along your quest, you will be aided by NPCs. Trish and Fatty will be Voodoo Mama Juju and the Swamp Jin. The fish can choose one NPC to aid them between rounds. Trish will take two points away from opponents for 200 chips, offers free Red Bulls and water, and will answer questions, including the current standings, for 30 chips. Fatty will offer dubious help in exchange for performing random tasks. The first challenge is a ritual swamp dance. <laughs> After playing a game with the chickens and then packaging oh. them up for good, TJ and I Taylor wish I would have seen my my chicken dance. <laughs> dominate consecutive rounds of the most dangerous game. All right, begin. Do what? It's good that we didn't see it. Do what? I said, you could probably look it up and fi uh, find it online. I know I have, and I think it's a good thing that I didn't show it. Because of the chicken? No. <laughs> I mean this in the nicest way possible. It was kind of cringe, like real bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. It, all three of ours was. <laughs> mm. I'm, I'm going to... I'm being, I'm being for real. <laughs> Yours was definitely the worst. I'm damn. It went for a long time. I know. It felt like all. Uh, yeah, it really did. <laughs> damn. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh. God. You all right? Did she die? Yeah, Taylor's dead. Taylor is dead! Who's alive? Shinji and... Shinji and Shinji. Shinji is dead! Shinji gets his first big victory in the sleeping bag game oh, after pulling so a serious nasty. lead and then shouting for the judge to explain where the finish line is because he didn't catch it in the rules. During the mega gumball challenge, the judge tells the fish about how they're going to chew gum like he did in the swamp, oh. then pauses and, as he does in all following challenges, gives a straightforward swamp-free explanation for Shinji in plain English. Taylor, how there bad was the fucking introduced flavor Frank. fatigue after the shit? How bad was the what? The flavor fatigue after this shit. Oh, flavor fatigue was fine. I didn't have it. Oh, so you, you could just keep going. Yeah, I was chewing gum even after that. 
Oh, okay. Because I, I know the taste of those cheap-ass gumballs. And well, then it really starts to stack up after a while. Well, to be fair, this was, like, before they, were, they brought us food, too. Ah, uh, true, true. So I was just, like, chewing some and then spitting it out once it lost the flavor. Oh, yeah, I do that, too. But, you know, you were constantly shoving it in your mouth. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I mean, like, after this challenge, though. I was, like, just having one and spitting it out. Hell, yeah. Because it, I, I was hungry. I needed energy. Oh, I was chewing that shit, too. Oh, yeah. Thanks. It hurt my jaw so bad. It gave me like ulcers in my mouth. And the anonymous psycho killer just who makes Fisher bored at that point. Yeah. Them. The finalists are given MDE trivia. Shinji gets nothing correct, but Taylor gets the most answers correct and loses a point as punishment. The fish take a small <laughs> break to fill pinatas so with fun, tomato sauce for a challenge which never happened. I'm so sorry, but Taylor <laughs> called. Huh? I wasn't expecting that to happen. I wasn't, I, like I said, I, this is the first time watching any of this, so I, I wasn't expecting that to be what happened for you oh, when yeah, I know. like, getting the most correct. That was how I oh. felt, too. I was like, man, fuck. Like, god damn it. Like, I get it, but it's like, fuck. Like, calls Frank aside and pays him 40 <laughs> chips like they knew to I was gonna get TJ. that one or something. He jumps the gun because the piñatas are not a challenge yet, and TJ is forewarned of what she paid for. TJ pays Trish to remove two points from Tay. Frank does eventually hassle TJ out of success in the next challenge. The fish are asked to solicit that their fans shave their heads and send the video to production by midnight. Each shaved head is one vote for a contestant, or minus two votes for a contestant, depending on what the viewer wants. I burned wants. a sock and a uh, Shinji quarter begins to close the Shinji. Shinji. Do what? No offense, say. So, I actually burned, if you go into Twitter, like, I burned a sock. I, like, made this sacrifice of a sock an old cassette play an old cassette tape in the case for uh, Shinji. It wasn't anything against Yute as I explained to every all the fans. It was just like a case of Shinji was like literally since day one, me and him, like he was the only one who was like nice to me and found me funny. So that's why me and Shinji always had a close bond. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. I'm I'm not like why aren't you teaching yeah, I don't give a fuck. I get it. This is yeah, I, I would have shaved my head if I had clippers, honestly, but I was at my grandma's. Damn. Yeah. Um, someone said, uh, did I know Psycho Killer was Brian? Yeah, I knew it was him, like, immediately. He just lurks, like, the way he fucking walks around. I was like, that, that's fucking Brian. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's totally Brian. <laughs> Distance with TJ after riding Frank like a bull and completing an obstacle course the best. The distance with Tay remains the same. Tay pays Trish to find out her standing. In confessional, she says she has many chips and plans to pay Trish to lower both TJ's and Shinji's points by a lot. Shinji uses the TTS speaker as a phone so others can't hear him. Green peace. Hello, <laughs> Hello, donkey man. <laughs> yeah, shout out he says he is happen. waiting until the last possible second shout to strike Shinji. strategically and decisively. <laughs> in TJ's confessional, he says he thinks that if he gets on Taylor's bad side, she will take it out on him or Shinji. He thinks, in the event she cannot win herself, she will make a kingmaker play for Shinji out of spite. TJ wins the fan head shaving challenge and gets six points. Shinji gets five points, and Taylor loses one point. Though she is saved from losing more by her fans. Taylor. Thank you, Frankie. <laughs> oh Taylor, do you remember when I said all your fans were fat faggots? Yeah, I think uh, it's living up to that. Is uh, it living up to that? You should. Okay, right now what you should do is like. I oh, that's not true. Oh, that's not true. No, they're not fat Discord faggots. Um. I said that How as a could joke. You say that? I said that as a joke, and I didn't have any. I don't mean it, guys. It's not true. I've, now, I know I now. I've right seen you. Here. Here's some of your guys. I don't think that, guys. <laughs> oh, I hadn't met you guys yet. Oh, 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 oh yeah. this, this yeah. Guy, I thought this was a TJ fan man. who said fuck you. Yeah. And he shaved I his thought y'all hated me. This is your biggest dude. I thought I had no fans. I got out my biggest hater right here. Jet tells the fish, before the roll fatty okay, joint this challenge, was so that the funny. show is over tomorrow. 
The fish will be released one day early. After midnight, the fish congratulate Oliver on it being his birthday. The psycho is revealed to be Brian. Brian thought he was getting away with it when the chat thought he was Brandon Buckingham, but he laughed when TTS called him a Jew and thinks he gave it away. Trish says Frank warned her. Shinji says he spotted Brian's zip tie scars, which all the fish received during the challenge on Christmas. Tay says when the psycho gave her an American spirit, she knew it was Brian. He tells the fish how he's been streaming and talked to Cole recently. He says he doesn't work at Texas Roadhouse anymore. He no longer has to. Brian says he was going to go to a photo shoot that Jimmy is at right now, but got the offer to come to the fish tank instead. His favorite moment while watching from home was watching Ben and Greg fight. He tells Shinji he saw his porn. Shinji sure. later describes this as gay. He says that when he got out of the tank, he had 90 texts from CK and called her without reading them to tell her they were never getting back together. Yikes. Um, someone said, uh, Brian doesn't need the soup anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fatty hits them with a new cover of Simple Man. My goldfish told me when I was young. Come swim beside me. Mom, wake up and listen closely to what I've done. <laughs> and it'll help you on some bright sunny day. And he sent me a simple. I gotta have coffee, guys. I have a whole fucking cup of coffee at the Cause it's the oh, fish no. tank, and you know it's still it's there. Right. After like three hours, oh, that's really and crazy. she sent me a simple kind of fish. Cause it's the tank, and it'll rock just you wait. I drink too much caffeine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At least I'm not drinking meth. <laughs> TJ talks to Brian in private and thanks him for giving him his chips back on New Year's and thanks him for the advice Brian gave him about the game and how he presents himself. <laughs> Over dinner, Oliver warns Shinji to go all out and to use the ultimate weapon, the worms given to him by Frank. However, late at night, while Shinji is podcasting with Oliver, Taylor searches the house, probably intending to find chips and finds the worms instead. Shinji had said if someone threw these on him, he would quit. He was saving them under the, honestly, incorrect assumption that other contestants all feel the same. Tay offers them to Chris, and he tells her to hang on to them until the morning. Hashtag save Shinji for real. My leg falls like the other. Yeah, I was on a, a Twitter space with Lance the other day. And uh, we got to talk to Crash. Yeah, yeah, Lance. Huh. And uh, they talked to Crash and stuff, you know, Shinji's best friend. Mm -hmm. And he said he's just, hey, uh, he's just kind of like disconnected from the internet for a while. He's doing fine. He's just trying to figure out his situation uh, here in America. Uh, take a break from the internet. You know, a lot of people were uh, hitting him up with death threats, and you know, it's constantly being shit, shitty. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get from disconnecting from it, but I definitely need. I mean, I feel like we all needed it. We all, all of all, all of us that left needed to be disconnected from the internet for a minute. But I didn't want to miss out on this opportunity um, before it, you know, kind of passed on. If that makes sense. I mean, I don't know what that has to do with Shinji, but yeah. I mean, like, I mean, like, I, like, I would have not, I would have done the same thing as Shinji had I not. Ah, uh, okay, like, okay. If I didn't want to do the streaming and stuff, I probably would have done the same, the same thing as him. But yeah, once I figured out about Kiwi Farms, Reddit, and all of those places talking about me, I had a similar thing, but I made a 
sticky note to not worry about it. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. But that's all right, though. Yeah, it's rough. Hopefully he'll, hopefully he'll, uh, hopefully he'll be getting better soon. Oh shit, we're about to be on the finale. Yep, we're on the finale now. Damn. Shrek, are you in old... Huh? All right. Here we go. Tay has worms, oh, yes. Lord. Oh, shit. The 50-minute episode. I got about this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Jimmy, uh, did you watch this live? Did Jimmy died again? <laughs> Did he really? Yeah, he's muted. What? What the fuck? Oh, he must have gone and smoked. What the hell, oh, Jimmy? I had to pee. Oh, oh, okay. No, 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 I had to pee. Jimmy, did you see this live? Uh, I think bits and pieces of it. Hmm. Okay. He got crazy. Damn. Here we go. Yeah, get your drinks. Get your popcorn. We're about to be here for a minute. Let's go, guys. 50 fucking minutes. 50 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> Nebby is here watching with us as well, guys. She's right here in my lap. She's right here. On the final day, Ben wakes the finalists in the bunk by summoning TJ out of bed for confessional. Shinji heads to the bathroom giving Taylee her window to strike. TJ took his jumpsuit off to sleep and left it in his bed, and it's there that Taylee finds the brown sock where TJ keeps his chips. Mm. Sneaky Taylee. You may kiss Nebby, guys. Mm. And I was trying to pretend like I was just getting out of bed. When the bathroom is open, she runs inside and completely... It's not because of Sneaky Taylor. <laughs> I only took some and then hit it, and then I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just take all of them. Like, what the fuck does it matter now? I was actually trying to be generous about it at first. I, p I only took, like... Just like DJ the black ones and the and green ones. And it's well into beginning his morning when he notices something is missing. You sure you're not an Anunnaki like Brian? Yeah, I'm fucking sure. that TJ stood up to you there, there at the end. Well, like, that was a baller move by Taylee. Oh, yeah. Kino moment incoming, guys. Confront her. 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 Pussy. Yeah, no snitching TTS, by the way. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, 
TJ, this is the end game. You stole my chips. <coughs> WWJD, what would Jimmy do? TJ, come on up. He did. And what if I did? You stole them. Okay. Why'd you do it? I don't know. You do. It's the name of the game. Why'd you do it? I don't know. This is Damn, what Tay, you mogging the fuck out of Did you do it when I went downstairs? No. Did you do it while I was asleep? When? Stole my chips. And? <laughs> Vaping and shit, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do. Why'd I do it? Because of what I just said. I had to do what I had to do. Had to do what you had to do. Then tries looking for now, I wasn't about chips. to cry at all. He considers rushing Tay in chilling. the shower to take it from her clothes. That shit was Jed fire, and Ben bro. tell him it would be dicey legally. <laughs> He also asked Jet if he and Shinji could retrieve the chips by force. A TTS suggests to Shinji that he show TJ the worms, which are now in Tay's pocket. He realizes those are also stolen. Fatty tells Tay that Shinji and TJ are burning her handmade crochet bag in the fireplace, and she simply says she can make another. She heads upstairs and defaces TJ's attic painting with tomato sauce. Fatty performs another meaningless double cross, giving the worms to TJ. TJ fills a metal bottle oh. with tomato sauce and adds the worms to it. TTS mocks him for being a TTS robot and being helpless as he asks Oliver to give him chips, asks Brian to go after Taylor as a suggestion, and asks Trish to give him opportunities to rob Tay. While the fish wait for the Olympics, Fatty brags about scaring Jimmy with a flashbang and pouring soy sauce in his eggnog on Christmas and calls him a faggot. Jimmy, you here? Sure. Last season, Fatty was seconds away from hitting a girl with yeah. a wiffle ball bat and spit on her. Did you hear that shit? You were the same as Jack. What? What's the fucking yeah. pit? What happened? Just <laughs> the Chris bragging thing. What was he even bragging about? Yeah. Uh, it was oh. just him be. It was just him doing like show shit. Oh. This would be over dramatic and whatnot. Opportunities. To like I said, me and Chris been talking about the fish wait ways before the show. Huh. For the Olympics, Fatty brags about scaring Jimmy with a flashbang and pouring soy sauce in his eggnog on Christmas and calls him a faggot. <laughs> Last season, Fatty was seconds away from hitting a girl with a wiffle ball bat and spit on her. You were the same as Jimmy. That was the fucking bitch, my friend. TJ is in first, Shinji second, and Tay third as Taylor wins the first game of the day, drunk dodgeball. The fish go through several rounds of Battle Royale before Shinji gets frustrated at how boring camping must be for the audience and decides to have a climactic final round. I gotta show you most exciting moment. Prepare. Prepare for certain death. Three, Surgeon Death. Two, one, Give me a sec. <laughs> Yo, who else in here be using soy sauce ah! as lube? Yeah, but both, huh? Before the make Ben feel better challenge, Tay asks Brian if he'd attack TJ, and he agrees to. After Brian eliminates TJ, he delivers the worm sauce. Oh, hell. He did, he boxed me in the head with that. Like, I had a mark on my head after that. No, nope. no hitting, no hitting. You do everything short throat upset. <laughs> Seconds. Talk to Ben. He's like grabbing me. Yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 Hey. Talk to Ben. Talk to Ben. Oh. 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 Oh.
Four. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Three. No, 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 no. You should suck Two. dick to make him feel better. One. Stop. Hands off. Hands off. Because you can still enjoy a BJ from a man. That's sick. That's all fucking sick. That just sucked. <laughs> what goes around comes around. Oh wait, wait, snatch. guys, wait! I have to remove my. I have to remove myself from this for a second. Hold on. Sorry. Hold on. One second. This was a moment that people liked to see that I noticed. Um. Here, here you go, guys. This was a moment that I remembered uh, people talked about that I think y'all might want to see. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Th this confused me. What goes around comes around. Snatch them, <laughs> snatch, snatch, snatch them, snatch them. Sorry, I was covering it. That was a moment that I noticed people talked about a lot. I was like, oh, that's funny. Snatch them, snatch them, snatch them. Throw something. Throw like a. Trying to make a girl flinch. After TJ summarizes for the camera why the attack happened, Tay says it took him long enough to actually do something for himself and pays for a curse to remove two points from him. The fish sell mystery boxes. TJ wins. Jed explains that they will not be using audience polls because everyone hates Tayley now, and Shinji is not as popular as he used to be. Although Jet says TJ's fans think he is a massive pussy today. The judge enters and is informed that Taylor can wipe out 10 points with the stolen chips. How many chips did you steal from him? How much was it? Over a thousand. Over a thousand? Ha ha. Yeah, almost. Ha ha. Two points for 200. That was the. Oh, man. Yeah. You're fucked. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <coughs> Damn! How you doing, Chris? They play baby oil cannonball. And <laughs> oh catch God, that sucks! I have Tavis bruises. Pays for a curse to take two points from yeah, him. this Nobody this thing literally made me cringe so goddamn God God hard. I was so scared for you guys. Yeah. Track of points. TJ agrees to Frank's offer of twenty chips to take a shot. Judge describes TJ's decision as asinine. They play again, but in one room of the house. Taylee overpowers Shinji, and he gets pissed off, gets into a forceful duel that breaks her racket, then throws his racket and takes a drink. TJ I didn't mean to make him that Tay mad. Tay TJ again, although a fortune tells her she is still behind Shinji. The rules are adjusted and clarified here. I'll spare you the fiddly details, but the point is multiple curses cannot be purchased in one round, and Trish cannot sell a fortune and a curse in the same round. Trish forgets this repeatedly throughout the finale because she works at a deli and is used to having a laminated sheet of paper in her workplace <laughs> with illustrated instructions on how Trish to do her job. Her. To the judge's disbelief, Shinji curses Taylor even though she is well in last place because he says she did it to him. He asks for a fortune, and the judge tells Trish to warn Shinji that cursing Taylor is pointless. She reminds him as he leaves that Tay is playing dirty, though, because, forgive me, as my patience with the fish wears thin through the finale, she forgets that there's no goddamn second-place prize for Shinji to win. River rafting is next. Tay tests the challenge and wipes out when she is told to hold the oar instead of using both hands. TJ learns from this, breaks his ass, but survives. Shinji breaks his ass and wipes out instantly. During the NPC round, Shinji curses TJ and Taylee curses Shinji negating Shinji cursing Taylor entirely. The judge mentions he would do a comedy duo with Shinji if he's staying in America. Hassel Frank is next. Shinji scratches his eye almost immediately. TJ goes for a physical berserker strategy, but backs off a lot. And Taylor uses sand, dirt, and various goops rather than trying to overpower him. Okay. So when I said sorry, I said sorry to TJ in this because he had the paint over here off camera and you can't see him. And I thought he was facing me with it and was about to spray me for no reason. And then he sprayed Frank, and then like I threw sand before he sprayed the paint. And so I saw he was spraying Frank with the paint, and then I said sorry, and then I got bopped.
If anybody was wondering yeah, yeah. why I said sorry, it was because I thought he was going to spray me and he didn't. And then I was like, oh shit, I didn't mean to throw sand at you because you didn't do it. <laughs> like, I thought he was going to throw shit on me. Oh, sorry, oh. Oh. Oh, shit. God damn. Frank awards her the win. Taylee curses Shinji. Shinji says he thinks the fortune telling him not to curse Taylee was to confuse his mind and waste another curse on Tay, doing nothing to shorten the large gap between himself and TJ. TJ deals with the gin and agrees to pay $3,200 of the prize money to Chris, if he wins, in exchange for 500 chips. The egg throwing challenge is next. Taylee wins. Taylee curses Shinji, and Shinji betrays TJ and curses him, playing in his own interest at last, even Those though the end result is break. both Shinji yeah. and Tay are now tied and way behind TJ. It was so TJ hard to know what the points were because of right the for no Oliver fortune. To give him chips. Jet so says he's fighting the dog pile and does not allow him to do it. The fish are tasked with cutting the checks down to size. They aren't all being awarded the money, but they're told production doesn't have time to get them all ready in the event of a winner. TJ asks what shape he should cut the check into. Separately, the judge and Jet talk about coming up with a way to rig the finale against all the contestants. The judge tells Jet that the real golden scarab is hidden in the out-of-bounds space behind the curtain in the attic that the fish haven't been in yet, and is worth five points. The fish are told that the scarab can be found for this purpose a couple challenges later. The judge says the fish aren't getting the money anyway and breaks the checks before announcing paintball battle royale. Shinji gets shot in the top of the head and asks to quit. Tay starts with a camping strategy, but TJ forces her to chase him and the fight picks up. During a technical difficulties break, Jet discovers Greg has been shot where he was hiding with the other freeloaders behind the bar because TJ lingered Tay! in front of him. <laughs> Greg! I was like, no! Greg, dead at the beginning <laughs> Taylor of his shot me in the shoulder! <laughs> the judge joins just for shits before Tay is awarded the win. TJ takes the points earned over an entire hour of paintball away with a curse and tells the judge the decision is an emotional response to get back at the stealing of chips and for cursing Shinji. Shinji tells the judge he wants to curse Taylee also because he thinks this was a fairly big victory and thinks she is in the lead. Taylee curses Shinji because she thinks he is above her and assumes he might be in first. For clarity, at this point, Shinji and Taylee each have seven points and TJ has 16. Hiding the point values for each challenge from the contestants seems to have made them completely confused. An eating challenge is next. In order the fish eat, Ugh. pizza rolls, frog oh, legs, the the fuck eat, out octopus, of this crickets, challenge. chicken feet, and snails. TJ eats like a fucking animal, at times not even looking at what is in the bowl before putting it in his For mouth. For real. Despite Jesus. Tay's comment earlier on about being willing to eat almost anything to win, she and Shinji eat too slowly. <laughs> The finalists are told the next challenge is to make Greg. Cry. I thought I was doing good. Everyone fails. Oh god, Greg. Oh no. Obvious, and he uses his friggin' force field. <laughs> friggin' and force curse field. TJ, who gets a force yeah. to learn. The funny part about this is I think give me like three or four shots and they literally had no effect. <laughs> TJ wins one point for each hunt and Shinji and Tay only win one each. This was so harsh. Had <laughs> to be like, oh, I took him down. <laughs> Wait, grab a bee. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, <laughs> motherfucking baby. Get the baby. Tay curses TJ. Shinji considers getting a fortune, which would have been a smart thing to do. But instead, he and TJ both curse Tay. The judge tells Frank that the contestants are just cursing Tay over and over, even though she is in last place. TJ agrees to give Fatty more of his future prize money for more chips. Shinji is out of chips, so he and TJ ask production if they are allowed to share. They are told yes. The fish are polled, which position they think they are in. Shinji thinks he is not in first. Tay, with four points, thinks she is in second place. She questions if it's fair if both TJ and Shinji are sharing chips and solely hitting her with curses, and production notes she has not been solely targeted. Everyone fails the piss your pants challenge. Tay curses TJ. 
TJ loans Shinji chips to curse Tay with, but Shinji apologizes to the camera and curses TJ. The point totals finish at TJ 11, Shinji 8, and Taylor 2. Production brainstorms for the final challenge. Jet wants all three contestants to brawl to emphasize the dogpiling theme of the season and expects Shinji to potentially turn on TJ. But they struggle to I didn't an pee my pants. I knew I wasn't I wasn't even satisfied. trying to pee my pants. The whole game would close with basically TJ's face being betrayed by Shinji. Or Probably not. the best. Yeah. And that that's the actual that would be the end. Yeah, for real. Oh, that's crazy. That's big like, Oh. That's scary to think about. Our desi our desire to force a story is fucking with their idea of fairness. So what we what we need is we just we probably just need one more challenge before the wrestling. Yeah. Let's just we'll just do it fair game show style. Go on Twitter. If you want to just see him wrestle and not have any drama, that's we could do that too. <laughs> we could just do we could just do that. For zero points. We could just beat on them and torture them oh, for yeah, the two part. hours. <laughs> just have it be. It's like, like, TJ, yeah, that's the that's what's making us laugh and smile. I think that's it. TJ wins right now, but we just go like physically torture them for two hours. Can we do thirty minutes? That shit. Yeah. <laughs> You just make tea that makes Shinji eat body shots or all of them. Because <laughs> I remembered I checked for a fortune and I got told I was a b uh, below Shinji, shots. and so I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so then I had to, like, I was cursing Shinji too much. Walk in, be like, Oliver, come over here. All right, we're gonna throw body shots at Oliver until you guys all quit. Whoever quits last wins. We, yeah, we we throw throw body shots at Oliver until the contestants quit. <laughs> Or he's gonna die. <laughs> he's gonna die. It's gonna be your fault. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Upstairs in the bunk, Shinji admits that he betrayed the Brotherhood repeatedly and cursed TJ only slightly less than he cursed Tay. TJ has nothing to say. After a long, long talk in the basement, the finalists are gathered in the lounge. We've gathered you fine gentlemen and lady here today to bid one of you farewell. It is farewell. It's just beginning. It's just beginning, in a way. But in another way, it's someone leaving the show, the competition. And we thank this person greatly for their immense contribution, their heart, their determination, their charisma and wit, and their love. And TJ. Not you. Okay. Taylor, come on over here. Taylor, you did great. You're an amazing young woman. And I love you. And you're a great young lady. Great get out of my face. Get out of here. You're good. The end was good only kid, the beginning, Taylor. that's right. He did really good. Hey. Okay. Like I said, you definitely came out of the really tank good. with the most you did real stream good. fame, so good for you. Well thanks, Greg. I appreciate that feelings during this Hell and yeah. i was i feel like if I, i'm i'm being quiet because if i start talking i'm gonna start crying <laughs> like fuck i don't want to sit and look at myself lose but i mean you know who would want to see I mean, it, like why would you want to go watch yourself lose no, I guess exactly. you. Like I said, you're at the top of my list. You, you were definitely the one that was most cut out to win. But you know, when it comes down to it, whether it's rigged or not, uh, they made their decision. And like I said, you came out the most successful after the fact. So you can give yourself a pat on the back for that. Yeah, Shout out to sure. everybody who follows Taylor. Yeah. Uh, but it just came down to it. So uh, be happy that you're in there. Be happy you tried your hardest. And you know, take it for what it for what it's worth. Yeah, I mean, and it just, uh, it was tough. It was really tough when it happened, obviously. Um, but, mm -hmm. you know, I, it's happened. I can't turn, you know, I can't change it. It happened. It ha I'm glad it happened the way it did. Um, and, uh, I'm thankful for everything that's happened after that. I mean... I feel like I've definitely, my my life has improved a lot since being in there, even though it was very hellish to see, but. Best thing you can do is come out with the best, uh, best version of what you dealt with. You got, got 
the thing I always said is like, uh, even in prison you can have good times, so. Yeah, yeah, and like I definitely learned a lot about myself just being in there, you know, I'm glad that I, I went through that because it helped me gain a lot of confidence that I didn't have before I, I went in there, you know. And you can't buy that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> at all, definitely not. But, it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. It happened. <clears throat> uh, thank you for, thank you for making it this far. Yeah, I like the stream, guys. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Thank, thank you, you Junkfish. You're the best. Yeah. Tay. Tay Lee is eliminated. Jet says she fell victim to the dog pile. But if it were a one versus one, she would have given the others a hard time. He says the main reason she will be going home was because of the threat the others saw in her. Can't hear it. Everybody, a handshake here. Come here. Your face. Do the kid into it. Ah, you're very strong, lady. Give these people a hug here. Thank you. Give Greg a hug. Hug Greg too. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't even hear him say that. <laughs> I was so out of it. Nah, nah, I didn't expect it. I was like, they were so weird about trying to force that stuff. You did great. Thank you. Oh, Chris. Chris. Pick her up, Chris. Chris, pick her up. One more try, Chris. Let's pick her up. No, you don't have to pick her up, Chris. <laughs> nice. oh, yeah. <laughs> She's, that's the first thing she said to Oliver. <laughs> I said, <laughs> yeah, okay. When I, I, I shook Oliver's hand and I was like, it was nice meeting you. Because I, I didn't really talk to him. <laughs> like, I wasn't that close with him. He was like buddied up with TJ and Shinji, so like I knew he didn't fuck with me. <laughs> Man, I, I really want to be there. I want to act so fucking autistic and fucking just have Thomas the Tank Engine fan fiction LARP sessions with Oliver. <laughs> oh man! Oh my so, god! I, don't like, I, don't like, I, I was just gonna go balls to the wall with fucking Thomas the Tank Engine references. Jesus. Because, uh, I, like I said, I play like those VHS tapes all the time, so I know that like the character Oliver from that series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I, I said that I was like, it was nice meeting you, Oliver. That's the first thing she said to Oliver. When the D and D stream comes around. Wait, what? I said, you'll have plenty of time to talk with Oliver again when the D&D &D stream comes around. Oh, yeah. That'll be so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. One more try, Chris. Let's pick her up. No, you don't have to pick her up, Chris. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the first thing she said to Oliver. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vince. <laughs> TJ and Shinji are brought together for one last boxing match. So I was showering yeah, when this first started. What? I was downstairs showering and changing really quick. Bro, about Shinji halfway was like a marionette. Huh? Shinji was like a marionette at a certain point. He was he was like f three or four rounds in, and he could barely keep his body up. The only reason he kept getting up was because they kept telling him to get up. Fuck. He was He was spent. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I was a... Uh... I was uh, taking a shower like the first half of this, and then uh, I saw like the last half. It was really sad. Yeah, uh, yeah. Legend. Eat some jerky. Eat some jerky. Yeah. 
50K is a lot, but it will be gone fast. Brotherhood lasts forever. I love you both. Hell of a season. War mode out. Circumflex, circumflex, circumflex. Both of you remember to breathe. Killer instinct change you, no mercy. Make noise when you punch. Read out. I think I did cry in the shower, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think I actually did cry in the shower downstairs. Smash like him, a quick smash minute. him, smash oh, him, smash him, smash him, smash him. JJ Circumflex. Outcome independence is the goal. Twist his dick. The OL dick twist. <laughs> Grab his dick and twist it! Shinji, you have to go all out. This is it. And a pump. For Mills. Hands up, TJ. 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 Hands I didn't even know what the fucking circumflex was until I got out. Somebody get water for uh, Shinji. You've been training for the entire six weeks. Just don't quit. You got this. Tay, Tay Whip, Vance watch. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's been an honor. You're the best man we have. Love you both. No wonder the basement kept flooding everyone crying down there. Yeah, for real. TJ, engage animal brain now. It's your time. Do it now. No honor animal brain fit. Speaking of Chris Lynch, guys, hold up. Speaking of Chris Lynch, guys, in Sam's uh, advertisement for his comedy show, when he throws the weight ball at Chris Lynch, he's wearing my beanie that I made him. He's repping. Let's go. He's repping butt and eye crochet, guys. It's in the advertisement. Go watch it, guys. He's repping. He's repping butt and eye crochet, guys. He'll probably never wear that again, though. No. <laughs> Shinji, win or lose, Captain Clan loves you. You've got this. Base. So Subliminal product placement. No starts, no yes. Love touch, I think if he was wearing it, it was, probably go. wasn't thinking right. about yeah, it. Yeah, he thought, I'm, I know, yeah. Says, no, I, he definitely was just wearing it and not thinking about it. I was just joking, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. Uh, no, uh, yeah, no I mean, he's just, like, wearing it. Like, a, you know, it doesn't seem like it's on purpose. It's a joke. But, oh, cool. like, subliminal uh, product placement much? <laughs> subliminal up. Hell yeah. That's when you go, all right? Godspeed to these two warriors like it's a Hajime no hippo Beanies are fight. being made, go, guys. Fight. Don't worry. Let's fucking go, boys. Let's fucking go. Give it your all TJ and your Ashburn burn burn burn. Shinji, this is IT. Summon everything you want. Hit his body. Rib injury, rib injury, rib injury. Hit him in the body. Shinji, win it for the milk. He recognizes the best quality the line, Shinji. You need to keep pushing, fucking kill them, Shinji. We all want to win. High quality all the time, baby. Frank, can you tuck back a little bit against the wall? Yeah, sorry. Thank you. TJ, nice reach. Hold those hands up. Endurance is key. No quitting, TJ. All you have to do is never give up. Now is your time. Should you finish the fight, kill this white honky gooner circumflex. TJ, fish milk here, you're doing good, but you need to get angry. Don't hold back 50k on the line, nigga. Kill him, brother. I think this is about where I started seeing it live. Shinji, hit him full force like you want to fucking kill him. Fight, fucker, fight. Run in Shinji. No masters, no gods. Remember Hiroshima, you know? 
don't lose to this white silly billy guy. Let's go, TJ. You've been training for this the whole time. Maybe you make us proud the Australians are behind. Ten seconds! Yeah, Greg did get some good shots in this fight. He really did. TJ, you need oh, to yeah. get angry. Stop, stop, stop! Remember Pearl Harbor and all those poor souls. Also, I got 3,000 clams riding on you. Oliver Gay. <laughs> Oliver Gay. This season has been awesome thanks E B E R Y Y O N E for the content can't My, wait for season two. Let's go Shin G win 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 W. My advice to both of yeah, you like is this goes on, don't take water right away. Get your breathing under control first. Shin G go for his body. He has sore ribs, remember? You understand Thank what you I was saying? I, I didn't understand either. Just a little bit. A fight to the death. Wait a little while, then. The, the, challenge. the only way to win is to knock each other out at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> this the end, my only friend. This is the end. <laughs> Ten seconds. No apologies, no mercy. There will be time for that later. Now is the time to kill. Did the ESL guy make it to the finals? The guy who didn't mind having AIDS or not. TJ, hey, fuck him up for AFC. Fuck him up for AFC. Shinji's up there, clear it. Let's go, boys. Knock each other the fuck out. Oh seven, you did well till the end. Baby, you tried. Much respect for real. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Judge, this is great. It is season three. Remember Pearl Harbor, TJ. Remember the war. You are both such an inspiration. Thanks for the laughs and good times. Oh, sorry, sorry, back. That's alright, that was on him. Go. Go. I'll let you know if it was I'm wrong. Ask you're too old to go back to that. Loving the fighting spirit. Fight, fight, fight. Shinji punching power comes from shoulder snap. Let's go, fish gang. May the best men win. Goodbye, y'all. This boy's out. Love Fight, your soft tone. Shin Dang TJ take small breaks. Fight. Shinji, if you win, I get two bucks from the bat. If you lose, I get a lusty free jump. Ten seconds! Fight. Beat his ass. 50k, don't hold back. 50k, nigga. Holy shit. <laughs> Come on, guys. Stop, stop, stop! Breathing. Tora, 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 throw uppercut at white man's jaw. TJ punch like you're punching through the back of his head. And don't forget to I feel like them not playing music during this makes it play. that much more intense. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah sure. Shinji hit him with the Dempsey roll. Lose from fatigue, the money goes to Greg. Go, go, win, win. No mercy, <laughs> what were you thinking in that moment, Greg? This is Bro, like if I got the $50,000, I probably would have called you guys separately just to give you the money anyways. I can't take a lot. <laughs> Work out your salvation That's valid. Your That's valid. Probably would have been That's better sweet. if I won, then everybody would get 10000 TJ, hands up, TJ, hands up, TJ, harness your card strength. Ten seconds. During the fight, too, Greg. You got me? For the bitches, TJ. For the bitches. Yeah, I know. Fight! Smash, 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 smash. Did I get to see the fight for yourself on the PC screen in the basement? Yes, I did. It was crazy. Fucking insane. So complex autistic fight. I had to borrow shoes because mine were soaked, like they were soaked and covered in mud and stumps. This is just so bad. 
I didn't want to put them on right after getting a nice clean shower and being in my clothes after six weeks. Power of the chaos, for real. You got this chaos control so and you're clean changing. Right. I see your tongue out again. I'll call that a knockout. Blue strike. What? Blue blood. Ah. It's fake. Blue lungs. Ah. Ah. In your mouth. Yeah, I was croc maxing in the goodbye. They were like shoes that were way too fucking big for me. Oh, I love this croc. That's the way that's it. <laughs> it was so weird seeing you in your emo clothes after weeks of 70s high fashion. I know, right? One man will stand victorious. Dick in hand and 50,000 richer. Fight for your life. TJ channeled the Viking Aryan in you. But Shinji, you will win. America is cheering for you. The whole world is cheering for you. Shinji, you will win, win, win. But oh, no. round of applause for Judge and Production for keeping us retards occupied. Thank you. Shinji, you lose. Good day, sir. Animal brain TJ. Ten seconds! Is Stop, stop, stop! Breathing in the water. Breathing first. Breathe. TJ, don't let this jet beat you. Remember Hiroshima? Hiroshima? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Since he was working completely on muscle memory at that point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what I, when you like can't got down on the ground like that. Greg, like that, I saw yeah, that from the TJ, basement, and I was like, the God, body shots, body shots, Yeah, yeah, bro is only getting up to do a killing or two. Bro is willing to give up, uh, like, a round or two ago. Mm -hmm. TJ, you can ignore that last piece of advice. Yeah, yeah. Shinji is like autistic Taylor. I'm the ref, I gotta be, you know, unbiased, but I will say anything they tell you guys, both of you know this. Hoshi, oh, Panchi, Ni, Kei, Sirani, Buwaku. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Close up on Shinji, please. Good job. Alright, fight! Get up, guys, and... Oh, Shinji, Shinji, get up, and... Fight! This yellow nigga to win. God, it was rough to watch. This is rough to watch. Smashing, 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 AFC, 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 AFC. Oh, damn, nice shot to It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up for the challenge of a rival. JJ, love you guys. Fight. Tell me the round. Grab his dick and twist it. 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 Fight. Obscure boxing advice. I know what I'm talking about. MVE never dies. Keep those fists up with the devil. TJ wins. Mind you, she, she has like horrible allergies and shit. It really is. Fuck oh, yeah, no. They put, they put his heart and soul into that shit, and like I said, he went, they went for a good four round of them. Mm -hmm. Gay guys much fucking but kill now it mess up any blood in the ring. Shot. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rival. Okay, break. Hold up. Hold up. Battery swap with the GoPro. Battery swap with the GoPro. That's true, Eduardo. That is true. Gigi, remember, if you lose, you have to cut off your head and think Any buts? TJ, you got this nigga? Endurance, endurance, endurance. Shinji victory block breathing. Yeah, Shinji. I believe this is it. Yeah. Yeah. Shinji. TJ, you got this TJ, your entire bloodline is walking you right now. You can't lose this boxing match if you do you down. Tenno Hinka Banzai. 
I got 200 on TJ. I got TJ 50. I'm better than shit. I'll throw 100 on TJ. Thank you. 200 on TJ. 200. Thank you. Jimmy Crow, TJ. You had against the people who lost you in middle school. No masters. No guns. This is a borderline body of the tiger. I'll hit the tiger. Shinji go to the car. Now do another. You want to hold more? Trish didn't win any money. Last TTS. Gonna make it count. Just want to say that video in the convenience store with the Goobers and Clark was kek. I don't think Trish won any money. Yeah, I did. I don't think you did. Kill, 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 kill. We good, Rich? Okay. All right. Stand up, please. Get up. Quick, please. Get up, 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 get up. You gotta stand up. You gotta stand up. You gotta stand up right now. Number one. You gotta stand up right now. Destroy this Yankee trucker for your ancestors. Bring on the family bond. We're gonna start this right out here. Wait, it's the, the rest is over. Oh, okay. Is this Autistic Fight Club has become a reality? Right, rep, rep. I love you, you autistic go? fucks. AFC, 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 AFC. Changing. You keep going? You keep going? No? How long? I just imagine All his night? ribs hurt so goddamn much so at this point. You know, like when you breathe oh, so yeah. many yeah. Yeah. So much and your ribs hurt. Like 12 with many more than the end. Well, bad on top, which he's feverish, so all of his joints are probably killing him. Yeah. Right, right, he's got a whole lot of 101 fever in this. He did? I didn't hear yeah. anything about that. Jesus. We got, we all got the flu no, afterwards. No, like right, but... right after, right after uh, it was done, like, one of the first things that Shinji ever posted online was like he had like a hundred and one fever. Fuck. He was sick as fuck during this entire boxing match. Well, that's what I'm yeah. saying. We all had the fever. That's why. That's why I was going on. Uh, Taylor Scott wants to stream with you. Would you want to join him for a stream sometime? Yeah, I'd be down. Damn, dude. Ten seconds to stand your ass up. That's actual fight rule. TJ, don't let this AIDS rip beat you. Four, you do this. I believe three, in you. you ready? president believes in you. And fight! You can do it, Shinji. Yeah, I can't believe he went this way. Yeah. Oh, TJ, for real. Shinji, this is the last challenge. Oh, you need to aim for TJ's rib. TJ's rib is damaged to punch it and win the game. His rib. Shinji might have not print. Fight. <coughs> Shinji, you're making the Yakuza Aye, proud. It is still a fight. This is Aye. Nagasaki and Hiroshima. This is pretty Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Keep tanking TJ, it's getting winded. Ah! I'll pass and burn it all to ash. Damn. Uh, uh. Hands up, hands up. TJ, this is my only TTS. Go all the way, I believe it. Come on, TJ! It's a fury. It's a fury. It's a fury. Give up! Do not give up! Hands up, hands up! Yeah, when I saw this line, the chat was insane. TJ fucking punch you, man. No breaks. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Angie, just make it to the end of the round. No, no, no. Oh, you got this. One. He's going to give up soon. Stay in it. Three. J J T J W. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. You okay? Get your hands on top of your heads to breathe in the brakes. Stand up, put your hands Let's up. Let's go, Shinji. You got this, man. Brotherhood. Can you put your hands up? Dark Shinji. Continue, yes or no? And just defend, you can hold this one. Huh? Continue. 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 All right. All right, you got to Fight! 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 Sushi Toyota Sayonara Mitsubishi Kawan. Mitsubishi Kuwa. Come on, gentlemen! Winner's drink zip. Winner's drink zip. <laughs> no, 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 no! TJ, you can have Aston. <laughs> Last TTS. Thank you all for such a great show. The number Shinji, like a dragon. 50,000. Uh, 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 uh
is gathered together in the living room. Ladies and gentlemen, back when I was crawling around in the swamp, you understand? My I'm down there in the bugs and the weeds and the <laughs> dirt. And we had, to put, well, we had to put on a show. That's all we had to do to relieve the boredom was to act and fight a bunch of Philly fools. They act all silly, you know? And then at the end of the day, we all went home and had a good time after spending hundreds of hours watching people in the house. We all went back home and had a good time. Ben That's woke up like right when the finale ended too. Where's TJ's That's check? Funny. Which one did I crumple up with? <laughs> Which destroyed check is TJ's? This one. 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 This is real. <laughs> wow. This is real. This actually is real, even though it's a prop. You won. <laughs> yeah, they did end it a day early. You, I know, you dominated this competition. Like, yes! <laughs> you dominated the competition, man. I did. And you were, throughout this whole season, you were the most present, the most active. And I had um, to borrow shoes. You won. Eduardo. Yeah, Eduardo. It's cool. You won with the boxing match at the end. Wasn't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. I did it. That was for zero points because like you won boots. at 10 p.m., but I didn't think you were going to win that one. I thought we were going to keep picking you up off the floor and keep giving you chances and then finally peel you off and drag you in here and tell you you won. But you won that shit. Thank you. See, it's talk to the camera. No, those weren't um, fatties crocs. I think they were like jets or something. I like to... Uh, Thank everyone that's been in this house. Uh, from all the fish, uh, Brian giving me the strength to be more vicious. Uh, Bailey making me think on my feet. Those were like $2,000 shoes. Uh, Are you kidding? I'm not just an absolute nice person to talk to. And Shinji being an absolute bro always. I want to thank the production. They're doing amazing work. 
from uh, Bex taking me from pink eye and my ribs. Max driving me here and teaching me how to like lift and stuff. Sensei for somehow training me how to box. Greg for being who he is. You're Everyone, Ben for anointing me the boss nigga. <laughs> it, Chris for being my Michi for my for, for my boy from Michigan. E everyone, everyone is doing amazing, and I'm really thankful for them. Uh, and for keeping the house not flooded. Thank you to all the TJ's Maxers and just watchers who watch me in my journey. Despite, I mean. Despite winning fifty thousand dollars and winning the show, I am more enriched now. I am more confident. Uh, just uh, I don't know. Probably less people think I'm autistic now. I, I don't know. Just uh, everything just got better. So thank you so much. stellar performance. We pushed through, you stayed here, we made it all the way to the very end. And I think everybody watching this respects you. And I think you've <coughs> earned your fan base. And you've also earned this, the Golden Scarab, which was real, but nobody looked for it. <laughs> Shinji, say some stuff. cut short fairly quickly because it seems possible Shinji has some sort of concussion but they tweet from the basement that he's doing fine with that fish tank season two is over I hope these episodes were useful to you in keeping up with the show it was a challenging experience keeping such a tight schedule but I was always happy to see how many people were using the videos to stay updated every day I wanted to make these into the sort of resource I wanted to have last season a short no bullshit play-by-play -play of events that gets you right back. I'm sorry. Yeah, them cutting the stream was like getting dumped by a text. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Day one Taylor fit is a vibe. Well, I'm glad they gave me these pants, because, dude, they were about to give me this fucking skirt. That sucked. I gave them, I gave them bigger sizes than I thought. <laughs> and the skirt that they gave me was like... Uh, huge and you had to like tie it on it was insane I'm so glad back Ooh. into the live stream as fast as possible I'm grateful for all your support I'll dedicate this last one to the memory of Christine Chubbuck the intro to every video was a reference to her death in 1974 her ghost guided you through the blood and guts television of fish tank into a redemptive uplifting ending <laughs> day one so Taylor standing there like an alpha <laughs> everyone after you was just an imitator I'm not, uh, DJ. Thank you. Hey, DJ. Who yeah. are those haired uh, individuals? Uh, Michigan. DJ from Michigan. My name is Summer from Kansas. Nice. Um, Trish from California. Cool. Napoleon Dynamite outfit. Yeah, for real. Oh, and that's how I felt. Texas. 
Yeah, no shit. Oh god. I have a bone to pick. I think people. Jesus. Well, that was really funny, or fun rather. Thank you guys so much. Thank you again for ha for letting me uh do this. Yeah, of course. Uh, with you for all this time. It's also, been a hell do of forgive a ride. me for being so crazy. It really has. It's one oh four a.m. here. I'm very sorry to cut things short, but I really got to get going, Taylor. <laughs> I'm just dead tired. You say it's almost uh, 4 a.m.? No, it's 1.04 a.m. Oh. Same. Shit. And I, ha and I guts me an interview tomorrow. I'm going to be a boiler man and then boil my face off. Let's go. And then I'm really going to look scary. Nice. He's going to finally complete his Joker arc. Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are y'all calling me... Y'all are calling me David Koresh? Anyway, God bless and good night, fellas. Good night. Good night, Jimmy. Night, night. Sweet dreams. No. <laughs> okay. And unless you have anything else to say to me, I think I'm gonna bop off it as well. All right, Greg. Thanks for thanks for coming on. No problem. You made it through the digest. Good night and good day. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good night and good day. Nice. How we doing, guys? Saying I look like Dave Koresh. The hell? Branch Talian? No! <laughs> no! No, Branch Tavidian. There you go. Wide Awake Tay Dano? Who the fuck is that? I look like a pirate? I don't know why. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Still got that echo going on? How? I fucking closed... I closed Discord. Did that feel like closure for you? Well, obviously. It's hard to ask me that question, considering I was there. But... In a way, it felt like closure to me. Um, I felt like... You know, let's get serious here. Tay, you were the hardest fish ever. You strength you have is bloody remarkable. Fucking smashed it. Much respect. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, it's hard to, it's hard to really say, you know, um, but the way it ended to me, it felt like closure. Um, I felt like the way it ended was understandable. Um, as, as, uh, funny as it may sound, I mean, I knew, I felt like, uh, I felt like even before I went on Fish Tank that they wanted a guy to win this season. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. They wanted a guy to win. And, um, not that I'm being like, oh, they're being sexist, oh my god, and misogynist. No. Not that at all. Not that at all. Don't ever think that I'm saying that because I that's a load of shit. That's a crock of shit. I don't think it's any kind of sexist thing. I just think that they wanted a guy to win. Just like season one, elimination challenges always take out the next least popular fish while the most popular are carried to the end. You were tricked into thinking it was a competition, but it's whoever the unhinged fan base wanted to win. understandable but no I genuinely do think that they wanted some kind of like they wanted a different way of it ending that's how I'm, I'm just being honest yeah see like it's balance it's balance it's a balance type of thing and I get it yeah exactly they didn't want another Josie or Letty they said it multiple times yeah exactly and I have no issue with that that you know um exact yeah and i didn't i didn't want to be the villain but you know it, it had to end up like that and i didn't like that 
Tay was cool. Now I'm going to make fun of her on my podcasts afterwards and brag about making a bulimic girl relapse. I made her try to pee herself after I knew she was losing, was cool. I'm an artist guy by the way memorize this. Make pure art not evil okay. Okay. Tay, don't you agree you won now? It was set up for fear of TJ lawsuits. I don't think the lawsuit thing is a load of shit. I just, uh, you know, I... It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. It ended the way it did, and I'm, you know, I, I'm not mad about that. I move on with my life, progress, grow my business, hang out with you guys, hang out with you guys and Nebby. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that. So I, I, I'm not going to sit and think back on it negatively because in a way, it really did, not in a way, it did, it genuinely did, you know, it, it completely helped my life. <laughs> you should be resentful for it for the rest of your life. Okay, I will. Thanks. Yeah, a lot of a, po a lot of positives came out of it. Why be ungrateful? Exactly. Where's Grayman? He's he's in the living room. Uh, Johnson twenty two oh seven. Thank you for the two dollars. Taylor, heart of a lion, embodiment of life force. Uh, thanks. We're just glad we got to meet Nebby. I bet I bet you are, guys. Game Roulette Thursday? You know what? Oh. This stream has got me all reminiscent and sheet. Like the tank is ending all over again. Brutality through and through, but it's been awesome to see how far you've come since the end of the show. Love the streams. Love the vibes. Great times. Cheers. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what's up. Thank you. Um, kiss, kiss Nebby again now. Okay. But, you know, I'm not mad at it, and we're here now, so, but yeah, Game Roulette Thursday, funny enough, guys, I've been downloading the fuck out of some games, so, hopefully, Game Roulette Thursday, that's what I'm hoping to do. Can I kiss the camera like I did in the tank? Um, not right now. What happened to the TTS? I don't know. What did happen to the TTS? Have I ever thought of expanding my audience? I mean, yes, I definitely have. Um, I'm just trying to look at approaches that I can take. Um, but I got Clock Tower finally. I got Clock Tower 3. The only real winner is Taylor's boy future boyfriend, to be on it. It's hate watchers projecting their resentment onto you. You have a great attitude about this, and you'll continue to be successful. Well, well, thank you. Um, Grayman is the real winner. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. AB, thank you for making this, man. I mean, it's insane to think that someone spent 40 fucking days clipping videos with me in it. it it's weird. You show more professionalism and perspective at 22 than a lot of people ever will. Next time you do a Smell the Leather Conspiracy stream look at a game called Uplink to play alongside it or maybe just for game roulette. Cool hacking game with good music. Thanks, yeah, I'll look into that. Thank you, I appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, of course, AB, thank you for making this. It's insane that, you know, I like that you did the 70s type theme to it, too. I, I can really appreciate that. That's That's really cool. And, um, do I have any artistic endeavors in mind that don't involve streaming? Well, I will say, I do, and I know Bad Ideas is the one that said it, but I had this in mind before he did. Uh, I do want to make, like, bleach shirts, maybe, um, print shirts that I draw art of, uh, I like the new intro break screen, did I make it? Yes, I did, I made it last night, um... I took that DL phenylalanine and I, or phenylalanine or some shit. Yeah, phenylalanine. 
Took some of that, went crazy, made the fucking screens. It's nice. Bring back the line art shirts. I still have some. Now take his internet setup advice. I'll research it, but... Let me get a Doctor Strange Love shirt. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not taking orders right now, but I would like to do that kind of stuff. You take drugs? Dude. Dude. They're fucking nootropics, okay? They're nootropics. It says nootropics right there. Same with the Finaboo. Finish that Marconan book you recommended today. Cheers for the recommendation. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, just like in Zip. But, uh... Yeah, I definitely want to do some stuff like that. Um, I want to get into the punch needling, hence the kit. Um, embroidery. I've done embroidery before. I'm not the best at it, but I like it. Um, okay, do y'all say, and, and spell it out phonetically in chat, do y'all say finaboo or finabut? Because I say finaboo. GTA San Andreas win? Well, I do have it on my computer. It? Well, you won though. Whatever. We love you. Well, thanks. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, you know, y'all say fin a bit. Fin a, fin a bit. Fin e butt. Finaboo. No, I'm not on Finaboo now. What? Lego with the two, thank you. I tried to talk to you at the show and was snubbed. I talked to like two people that knew who I was. But I, uh... Someone did say, would you rather retain a small audience or grow and have a consistent audience? Obviously, I'd like to grow and have a consistent audience. Um, and, you know, starting this new schedule is definitely a, a nice feeling. Um, it's helped me feel way more, you know, sh squared away. I, I feel more... I feel less, like, fucking scatterbrained because I'm not like, oh, shit, I'm streaming right now. Oh, shit, now I gotta do, like, 15 me Oh, shit, like... It's, it's a... I like it, um, taking that, taking that day off, you know? But, uh... I mean... You say you'd be uncomfortable at 800 viewers, but I was literally taking a shit... When... Like, I, guys, come on. Like, I... At this point, I'm sitting at my desk in my chair in a comfortable space. I'm okay with 800 viewers here. I've... I've... I had to shit and piss and vomit on camera for fucking six weeks. I'm, I, I think I'm okay with sitting at my desk, you know, doing this. This feels a lot more comfortable... So, it's definitely, yeah, I've still got the toilet paper behind me, yeah. Oh, you, you just mean the idea of having to satisfy all 800 viewers? Well, I mean, it's, you know, if, if they enjoy my content, then they enjoy my content, you know, and they stick around. That's their thing, you know, like, it's kind of like how I'm pleasing the two, almost 300 of you right now. I'm, you know, just kind of chilling with everybody and doing my own thing. Uh, Plaque, thank you for the five. I tried to talk to you on the show, and Melinda tackled me. What was that about, Taylor? Uh, you know, she, she's my bodyguard, you know. I don't know what to say. Show Nebby and you're satisfied? Well, here she is. She's laying on the album. <laughs> Am 
imagine wanting Tay to stay at 200 to 300. I want her to get a million viewers. Oh, well, thanks. Is streaming the long-term ambition for Taylor? I mean, yeah, I would like to do that. Oh, yeah, y'all want that durian, huh? But, uh, you know, it's cool. I like, I like this, you know? Um, gotta be weird to have a fan base like Fish Tank of all communities to know your mom by name. Yeah, I did not want Alex to pull her on the show that day. I did not want that to happen. Will I ever try to make YouTube comments, videos over topics I enjoy? Yeah, that'd be cool. Taylor for president? Hell yeah, I'll run for president. Do it smell like dur durian, Taylor? I bet it do. I don't know what durian smells like. Okay. At least the office jokes are funny. LMAO. <laughs> Would 8K viewers be something you're up for? I mean, yeah, it was like that on Fish Tank, was it not? I mean, what? You should hit up Turkey Tom. He wants an e-girl to voice over scripts for him. First of all, for you to call me an e-girl? Uh, hey, wait, give, uh, get that bingo card ready. Get that bingo card ready right now. Get it ready. Did you just call me an e-girl? Don't ever call me that again, okay? I'm 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 actually serious. I will ban you. I will ban you from this channel if you call me that. Those aren't real emo people, okay? I know. Because any girl that is an e-girl is the same type of girl that would have bullied me in high school for being emo. So... E-girls don't look at you with that much disgust. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just being honest. 60 people not hitting that like button? What the fuck? I have the perfect nose. Have you considered being a, a nose model? I Really? You think I have a nice nose? I've always hated my nose. Yeah, bro, like the stream, damn. <laughs> Tickle Nebby's ear. No, I don't want to bother her. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. I'm gonna let her sleep. Oh. Zero hook. It's perfect. LOL. Really? I have a symmetrical nose, you think so? You got bullied by taste type of emos for being a 90s emo kid? Really? I mean... Taste good looking enough to model? What? My left arm is slightly longer than my right because right now I'm pet, I'm letting Nebby lick me. Give us the nose and profile one more time. Okay. I have no idea. I really don't. Who's my age? I don't have an agent. Have you not seen your own side profile? No. Just don't get your buckle face suck it. No, fuck no. I would never, ever get any kind of facial work, anything like that, ever. Can we get a nostril check for symmetry? It's hard. I don't want. I don't want you to look at my nose. Hold on. Okay. 
Is that blue steel? Wait, hold on. Let me hit you with the blue steel. <laughs> it says gullible on the ceiling. Oh, it does. Oh, you took my low. Yeah, is that the ASDF? Well, no, that's just a joke. Sorry, that was an autistic moment. Do you not realize how hilarious you are? No. I don't. Cyber eyes? What? <laughs> ben has a look all the time. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you know what's funny is I've actually had an orange mocha frappuccino. Nebby! Nebby! Don't do that on camera! I've had an orange mocha frappuccino before, though. Taylander. Hold on. All right, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm actually in love with you and I'm not joking. I want to boop your nose. I want to smell her morning breath. If we were in HS together, we would be the cute couple kissing between class. Want to lick her teeth and taste her spit. You got a nice butt BTW baby. Kisses. Thanks. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying, hold on. <laughs> I can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> Indecent TOS violation, to be honest. <laughs> Absolutely flabbergasted. You need to at least do some open mic nights to try it out, Tay, seriously. I... I feel like I'm funny when I'm not trying, you know? Sorry, Tay, you only have one look. Your modeling career is finished. <laughs> what? Looking like a Victoria's Secret model? The fuck? Tay, seriously, though, before you go. If you have a cable connection in your room, just get your own internet entirely. You gun need it cause you're too pretty. Oh. Uh, thanks? <laughs> I'm not going to say no, no, no. Uh, did I read the stand-up green text? Yeah, I did. That was pretty funny. Uh, for real, dude, play, play the vocaloo as your outro song? Yeah, for real. That'd be a good one. That'd be really funny. They they want to write material for me. They thought I'd I'm a natural on stage. That's a good one. Yeah, just hit up Vice magazine. I'll end up doing gangbusters covering some civil war in Malaysia. Hell yeah. Your funniest bits on Fish Tank were your reactions to things. Really? Like when? Just curious. I'm I'm actually just curious. Am I getting memberships? Soon. Very soon. You could get a bigger audience with a Patreon music reaction type channel. People pay for song requests. People YouTube can go fuck itself with super chats and copyright. Told Jimmy to do this too. Huh. Interesting. Do your best John Goodman impression. I I can do this actually. I 
can do this. Hold on. I can do this. <clears throat> OVER THE LINE! Wait. SHUT THE FUCK UP, DONNIE! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Was that a- Was that a good John Goodman impression? Did I do good? Did I do a good John Goodman impression? <clears throat> yeah, market zero! <laughs> Melinda's status awoken. <laughs> Double chin gum, I'm sorry, it's so cringe. <laughs> Not the worst. <laughs> this is like Van Margera was waking his parents up as a prank. Oh my god. See what I'm saying? Not true. <laughs> What happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did wake up Nemi. <laughs> I scared Nemi. <laughs> She's okay. Oh. What was it? Uh, fucking. They're nihilists, dude. <laughs> They're fucking nihilists. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> guttural. I need to be more guttural. That's hard. I'm a girl. <laughs> it's hard. Uh. Uh, music reaction seems to be pretty big. Just saying you're all regarded. Huh. Oh. Lego, I don't know anything about that, bro. So I'm not gonna lie, I might do, like, uh, I might do, like, a members only Sunday stream, possibly, and it'd be a crochet TTS only stream. Uh, I'm down for that. I don't know about you guys. Can you do a Bobby Hill impression? Dad! I don't know, Dad! <laughs> What's that one, like, fucked up sound that he makes that one? Hold on, I'm just gonna pull it up. It's like a funny ass scene. Um. And there are no. This one. Yeah, this one. This is so funny. This fucking one, like, weird sound. Like, what the fuck is this sound that he's about to make? Cars. I wonder where the magician parked. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it again. Maybe members only restream? Yeah, maybe on Sun. If I do a Sunday stream, possibly I could do it members only. I'd be down for that. Um, but I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure about that. But I'm. I am thinking of those things. But uh, yeah. I do have memberships now on YouTube, I just haven't used them yet. I'm not exactly sure how to implement it yet entirely. That's why I'm thinking of maybe doing the Sunday stream and having that as a members only type stream. You can do members only chat some days, maybe, yeah. Members of the Branch Tavidians, that's right, that's right. You know, my dad told me one time he used to live in Waco. He said he accidentally picked up a chick that was, like, leaving the Branch Davidian. Like, like he hitchhiked, it, like there was a girl hitchhiking and he picked her up. And she was leaving the Branch Davidian. Appa allegedly. That's what my dad told me. 
But he told me that, and I was like, what the fuck? And he was living in Waco in the 90s when it was popping there. Like, he was he was there at a very logical time frame for that to have happened. Like, he didn't know she was a Branch Davidian until after he picked her up. And she was like, oh yeah, I just, like, left Branch Davidian. But yeah. Where's Diddy? He's probably at fucking Epstein's Island, bro. This stream is positively crushing. <laughs> Church streams with TTS on? Good lord. Good lord. Did he also sell them guns? No, not that time. Thank you for the 15. Thank you. Little St. Thames, don't ever say that. I do not approve of Epstein. Oh, speaking of Epstein, you know, I did find, um, fuck, I found it somewhere and I don't know where I put it. It's, I think in my dresser somewhere. But, uh, I found the Epstein list that I made. The Epstein list that Brian, Trish, TJ, and I all made. I found that. I have the Epstein list. Yeah, that's why I said speaking of Epstein. Pizzagate rabbit hole thread win? You know what? I might do a conspiracy stream and show you guys this documentary that is more than likely not copyrighted because it's fucking shitting on Hollywood. And it may have been taken off of YouTube. I might have to pull it up on Archive or some shit. Um... Good God, yeah, it's definitely not on YouTube anymore. But it's called Out of the Shadows. Um, it's not the full thing. That sucks. They fucking took it off of YouTube, which I'm not surprised. But I might watch that on stream sometime. That'd be cool. Uh, maybe watch Chariots of the Gods on stream sometime because it's free on YouTube. Okay. Like someone else, separate from the people that made Chariots of the Gods, posted it on YouTube. And it's not taken down. Their channel is still up. So I'm gonna fucking stream Chariots of the Gods, Gods at some point. Silver Globe on stream. Uh, on the Silver Globe, you know what I think I might do right now? Is just show you guys the original shit of On the Silver Globe. Because it's actually really cool. Can we get a new Blood Fingies with the Goodman glasses and model face, please? New Blood... Um... Okay. Yeah, that movie was in fucking insane. That movie was absolutely insane. And the guy that directed the movie is the guy who wrote it's, like, great nephew? Something of that nature. And par part, like, parts of this movie were removed by the Soviet Union. Um, because it was made in, I believe, uh, yeah, in the late 80s in, the so in Poland, in the Soviet Union. On the Silver Globe is on YouTube. If it's on YouTube, I didn't know that. I watched it on a free movies website. But have I ever seen Possession? No, I have not. That'd be cool. That's cool. I might look at that. You know what's crazy is like what really like drew my attention to this movie though, because you know on the free movies website sometimes I just like browse around and look at like crazy shit and see, like, what kind of cool poster I see and just kind of judge it by... Literally judging a movie by its cover, judging a book by its cover. Um, I'd find, like, Bollywood movies. I'd find all kinds of... You know, I found the, the cremator like that. I found this movie by doing that. And this is what really captured my attention and made me want to watch it. It was just the way the cover looked. I mean, look at it. It's fucking insane. It looks so trippy. But, yeah. I liked it. I really like the cover for this. Possession may hit too close to home for her, to be honest. What's up with Possession? Is there something crazy about it? 
Do you want to collab? I saw Death Grips live in 20... I've never listened to the Death, Death Grips. Yeah, um... The Cremator is something else, man. Beck Sinkski? No. Have I ever seen The Holy Mountain? No, I have not. But I kept thinking, I know like people kept saying that I should watch it. You su you're surprised I've seen the, the Cremator? That was a really good movie. Oh, there's one. Wait, some of the Tarkovsky films. He's the one that made Stalker, right? Because I think I did know that. That he made Stalker. Yeah, yeah, I've seen, I think I've seen Stalker, but, uh, there's one called, like, The Ear, and that one's really cool, too. I think that's also a Czech movie, but it's, like, from the 60s, um, I think it's a Czechoslovakian movie. Yeah, this was cool. He keeps, like, thinking there are fucking ears in his wall because he works for the government. So he keeps thinking that the government is listening to him. And, like, his wife starts believing it, too. It's kind of crazy. But why am I still alive? Because I can. Okay? Because I can. And now you're here, so... I don't know why I'm still echoing, honestly. But... Hell yeah. But this is a really good movie. You guys should definitely check it out because it's extremely trippy. Called The Ear, and it's a Czech movie. Um, yeah, I definitely want to check out Tarkovsky's films, though. The audio insists that Jimmy is still listening. There's literally no way Jimmy would still be on the phone. I have Discord closed. I really don't know why it would be doing that. Unless, like, okay, I have a microphone on my OBS under my sources, and I don't know if it automatically detects a microphone at the same time. So it depends. Could be that. Let's see. I wonder if it could be deactivate. Oh, wait, that was my camera. Silly me. Silly me. Sorry about that. Now I wonder if I remove it, if it will stop. Oh! Did it stop, guys? Did the echo stop? Can you guys tell me if the echo stopped? It fixed it? Oh my god, that's what it was literally this whole time. I was so scared to mess with it. I feel so stupid now. I thought you had to, like, input the fucking audio. Oh, you meant the gang I meant gang sign? sign blood, but fair play, good night, sweet lady. Yeah, I thought you meant, like, the finger blood that I was bleeding earlier. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm now a level one user, for real. Hell yeah. I can't believe it's been almost six hours, guys. That's crazy. What a good stream, you know? Good, good stream that we did. Rainbow Douche, was that seriously you, bro? Well, don't worry if you missed a lot of the stream. You can watch it back. Don't worry. You can pause it and watch it back whenever you feel like it. Single game long streams with members only chat so you don't have to read as much? That is a good idea. I'm gonna take a picture of that comment. That's a good com- that's a good one. That's a really good one. That was a really good one. Thank you for that. Cause I like that idea. I wanna do- I wanna do games more. But that's alright. Who's gonna tell her? Who's gonna tell me what? Am I muted? Oh my god, am I muted? Am 
Am I muted? I think y'all are lying. You reacted after I said that. You said, nope, nope, nope. I don't believe you. How do I stay warm being recently bald? Um. Uh. Buy a, buy a, buy a beanie. Does she not know? Do I not know what? What? What do I not know, guys? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Members only is e-girl behavior. Look, I'm trying to not- I'm trying to be as, like, generous with it as I can be, okay? Tay doesn't know chat. Um... It said don't do private members chat isn't ego behavior. Yeah, the members chat or I'm so fucking confused, guys. Guys, I'm sick of being gaslit, okay? You have to be completely honest with me right now, okay? You have to be honest with me. What am I missing? You guys have witnessed be ga- wit Oh god. More well, ways. footage from inside the boat that hit the bridge. I'm actually going to look at this because that was fucking crazy. But I am so sick of being gaslit, guys. I need you guys to be fucking completely honest with me here, okay? <laughs> Sending me office memes. Good streams, Tay. Looking forward to your gaming streams in the future. Hell yeah. Thank you, Fun Young. And I do know that you are a crack gang member. Crack nation. Crack the planet. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll ease up on members only stuff, okay? Don't worry. Yeah, there you go. Dr. Drool, thank you for your upfront answer. I'm sure there are other people in here giving upfront answers too, but I'm not seeing them. It's hard to get them, but thank you. A conspiracy stream with chat stories would be sick. I have a wild story about my dad's time in the Navy and a UFO story from when I was in boot camp. Damn, hell yeah, I'd love to hear that kind of stuff. That'd be really cool. That'd be really, really cool. Nebby's not chewing the fucking record. Nebby doesn't chew on stuff. She grew out of that, guys. I know my cat. I trust my cat. See? She's a sweet cat. But yeah, I would love to have some kind of like inter like viewer interactive type. Sign up for McKamey Matter? Fuck no. Okay? Fuck no. That's a lot worse than Fish Tank. Because they are like attacking you with like chainsaws and shit. I think I'd pass. Like you're literally doing some deliverance type shit with that and I think I'm... I think I'm okay. Crochet streams members only, please. Maybe I'll do... I just need to think about it more, guys. I just wanted to at least spew the idea out with you guys because, I, you know, y'all are y'all are the viewers, you know? I, I want to do what you guys want to see. I don't want to... You know, obviously I'm going to have my own twist to it, but I, I, I definitely want to have this be like a reciprocating type thing here as much as possible. A Tatriot Minecraft server? That would be really cool. With that, you know, as y'all are spewing out ideas, I might write them down. Honestly. You can have memberships turned on without doing membership streams. That's true, but I just... Yeah, I guess you got a point. I just don't want to... <sighs> I want to deliver on it, you know? I, I want to at least deliver. I don't want to just, like, make a fucking members-only thing and then never stream to it, you know? That feels, like, that feels scuzzy to me. 
At least that's how I feel. But... Yeah, then there's less incentive to be a member if there aren't streams for them. Exactly. Members only emotes? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay. Um... Let's see. Membership only access to Minecraft servers. That's a good idea. Okay. All right. That's cool. Taylor doesn't have enough dedicated wham to the server. <laughs> Yeah. I would like to do emotes. That'd be really cool. Um, yeah, member Minecraft would be cool. Um, oh. Huh. Start creating emote names. Yeah, I'll be I'll be sure to do that. That's for sure. ASMR for members. Oh lord. Um. What the poor FVG cries out as he strikes you. What? Uh, members only stream where you watch and react slash listen to DMCA music slash movies. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Um, Tay, would you be engineering science or command? If this is for Star Trek, you're forgetting about the sick bay. But I think I would be. I like the I like the uh, command, like being on the on the bridge. That'd be cool. Members only in-depth Green Day album reviews? I don't think of that. That'd be actually kind of cool. Or just album reviews in general. I am not shaving my fucking cat. Okay. Do members crochet streams with $1 TTS? Karaoke request streams? Oh my. Shave my dog and said no. She just went to the groomers today. Members call in sessions. Two hundred membership gold to shave head again. I'm not shaving my head again. I'm not doing that again. No chat. One dollar TTS crochet. I like that idea. And have that as a members only or not because. You know, I could make those be the members only after they're done. What do you think? Hmm. Okay. But, uh... Cooking stream? Yeah, that'd be funny. 
I want to add some more easy bake uh, recipes to my Amazon as well. That'd be cool. A free TTS. Can you give members a free TTS per stream or some shit? Yeah, that'd be cool. I wonder if I could do that. It'd be hard though, because I don't know. I don't feel comfortable excluding the pores from chat, because I was the pores in chat. <laughs> I know how it feels, man. I'm like, fuck! Members only P.O. box? No. How the fuck do you, you think I'm just going to let you have my P.O. box and you just don't? You're just not going to give it out? Come on. Yeah, I do want to do more easy bake stuff. Live pipe tobacco stream? Yeah, that'd be cool. Instagram live pipe tobacco stream? Yeah. Yeah, geo guesses are too good though. That's why. I, uh, pipe tobacco reviews? I mean, membership tiers are all up to the content creator, but at the same time, you know, like, the audience is... It's for the audience. I want to I wanna be able to give you guys what y'all want. And especially having been in Fish Tank for six weeks and then coming straight out and going right into this, it's really hard to, like... Like, in Fish Tank, I didn't have time to, like, sit and think about what I'm gonna do content wise you know like I, I, I yeah I wanted to crochet on stream but that was really you know before I could realize that I can't read and crochet at the same time <laughs> but you know I, I, I want to give you guys what you want that's my main thing how about a hello well hello 10,000 membership tier date no Members only JRE podcast reviews. <laughs> I know I'm annoying, but I meant new blood gang sign Fingy's not hangnail Fingy's young lady person. There you go. I learned how to do this when I was in fifth grade. Some girl taught me how to do it and didn't say that it was a gang sign. So I showed my dad and he was like, what the fuck? I would not do a fucking member date stream. That's absolutely not okay. I like the idea of the BF application stream. Members only. That would be funny. Don't mind me. That one's funny. That was a joke? Well, it'd still be funny. It'd be funny to read. Oh no. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna be, like, FaceTiming them or anything. I'll just have them fill out a form. Breaking things with a hammer stream? That would be funny. <laughs> review your music taste well I think I still even on YouTube I can't do like copyrighted shit on members only take a picture of yourself every day while your hair grows back so in a year you have content for a fish tank flashback video I could do that How about members only access to Nebcam? I don't have a Nebcam, but that'd be fun. A gun range stream is incoming at some point. Don't worry. I should read us a Goosebump book. I actually have a Goosebumps book, I think. Not a GoPro on Nebby's head. I could have you guys send me your rooms and I'll review your rooms. That'd be funny.
One of those goosebumps, choose your own path books and chat gets to vote. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Ma members only Mad Libs stream. That'd be cool. Members only email reading stream. You got me thinking. I'm not reading Berserk yet, actually. I, it, it's on my wish list. I like the idea of reading emails, though. That one seems funny. Go fly a kite stream? Yeah, that'd be good. But then y'all would figure out where the fuck I am because of the outdoors. <laughs> so I think I'd pass on that one. India and Brazil are here to tell you not to put that shit behind members think behind think. What? Oh my god. Damn, I'm tired. Huh? Hey, we, we hit six hours, guys. I just realized that. India and Brazil are here together to tell you not to put shit behind members think of the pores. Thank you, India and Brazil. You'll get sent dick pics, I know. That's why I'm like, ugh. Confessions reading stream. <laughs> we'll map the kin the chemtrails. Yeah, for real. Yeah, think about the favela bros, for real. Think about the favela uh, beats. The ones that say, uh, Pussy, 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 jump, uh, land your pussy on my face. I want to eat the pussy. And uh, graphic sexual shit in favela music, for some reason. That's literally what it translates to, and it makes no sense. And it has that fucking that fucking cumbia beat, but they're like, you know, it's not like fucking Bella, come on, Bella, come on, that type of shit. Yeah, it sounds like Gigi Allen shit in English, but in Brazil, in fucking Portuguese, it doesn't sound as bad because you don't know what it's saying. But, yeah, it's called Cumbia because it's coom- they're coomers. <laughs> that's- that's how that shit sounds. Do a stream in Haiti? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be sure to- I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go tell them to stop. I'm gonna tell them to stop. Haitian barbecue reviews? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> um, actually, it's called funk. <laughs> Plaque, you're not a coomer. I know you're not. Don't worry. <laughs> you're a part of bricks. Don't forget. vlog punk shows and review after I you know um I don't have it's hard to it's hard to go to punk shows when your friends don't aren't able to and I don't want to go by myself so uh mystery science theater 3000 stream well yeah but then I'd get copyrighted wouldn't I Bob will go with me oh yeah I'm sure Oh yeah, I need to look at that fucking... Damn, I'm tired, guys. I'm sorry. I need to pull up that Twitter post of the bridge. Now, let's see. What's happening on that fucking bridge that we know was totally deliberate? Like, for real. They just straight up... They just straight up went... FULL SPEED AHEAD! YAR! They they dead ass went that way. They 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 went that they went that route. 
Yar! There she goes! Into the bridge! I have a few real life friends, but not many. <laughs> Yar, dead ass into the bridge. <laughs> Sing us a shanty. Um. Uh, oh my. That's so funny. Oh my god, were they actually fucking? Damn. Harding hitting news from local journalist in Stephenville, Texas. What? <laughs> what? Are the friends in the room with you right now? Yeah, actually. Um, right here. <laughs> Eat. Hell yeah. Yar, dead eye. For real, for real, for real, no cop. Yar. Can I shiver my timbers? Are you. Are ye asking me if I can shiver me timbers? Of course. Ooh, do I like the band Wire? I do. I've I've actually heard a few songs by them. I like them. The ship was carrying a hundred million Google Play cards and and a bunch of fucking Fortnite cards. Nebby has not stopped staring at Mick Jones. Nebby, are you staring at Mick Jones? I guess she is. Yar, we gotta salvage the Fortnite cards, lads! Yar! Find you. Hell yeah. Nebby's just the best cat ever. You know that, Nebby. Nebby, you're just the best cat ever. I love this cat, guys. I love this cat. She's so precious. Well, you know what? She likes lasagna like Garfield, too. Graham's not seething. He just likes laying on the blanket in the living room. I do not hate Graham, guys. If Graham wanted in my room, I'd let him in. I'm not going to force him to stay in here. I don't feed my cat lasagna. If she wants it sometimes, I may be like, yeah, I'll give you a bite. And then I give her a bite. Just a bite. Okay. Where's the lying dog? You know, she's had enough of your bullshit. So she actually has become camera shy. Grayman does, I mean, not Grayman. Nebby does love being on camera, though. She loves, she's just, I mean, but at the same time, she just does this even without it being on. She's always in my face. No, Nebby does not eat lasagna every day. And she will not pretend she's deaf. I know she's, I know she won't. I do not hate Grayman. What the hell, guys? I do not hate Grayman. Don't ever say that. Aw. Thank you, Nebby. She is well behaved. She's just the best cat ever. She just loves laying here. That dog knew it was found out? Dude, what the fuck? Um, 
All right, I'm officially wasted. Thanks for these fish tank digest videos. It's methadone for this parasocial BS show. Night, y'all. Good night, man. Thank you for tuning in. Hell yeah. Does she do the stretch? Like the cat stretch or what? Are you going to get up here? Oh. You going to get right back in my lap? Can you sit? Can you show him that you can sit? You sit. Yay! Thank you! Uh -huh. You're glad the digest is over? Can't believe you abandoned these beautiful critters just to chase e-fame on some reality show. What's next? A year away in Hollywood chasing your dreams while they live on the streets? No. Absolutely not. Am I going to watch the full episodes when they drop? Of course. Yeah, I'd love to see that edited. That would be crazy. Why is the first parts of this pod gone? What happened? I don't know. Icky pukers in HD. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be crazy. I'll show him to Nebby. That way she'll know where I was for six weeks. Right, Neb. Okay, okay. Thank you. Um, I'm thinking uh, Thursday's stream is going to be roulette. Um. Oh, God. Furry son or Twitter stan daughter? That's like asking the gay son or slut daughter question. Come on. Can we have a peek at, a, at the wheel or is it a surprise? It's a surprise, I think. But definitely, um, I'm going to be, uh, I think I'm going to be wrapping this one up tonight, guys. It's been fucking insane. Will I wear a hat? I might. It depends on the game. Answer the question. What the fuck? Furry son or Twitter stand daughter? Depends on the thing that they're standing on, I guess. It's pretty vague. Uh, I guess... T well... Fuck! Both of them are pretty degenerate, though. Come on. I can't answer that. I mean, furry son... Yeah, but it's different because I'm a woman. So then there's like that aspect into it too. Like, y y come on. I don't know. It's hard to say. And yes, I will play the Hey Cat song again because that was funny. That was very funny. I definitely want to implement that one again. That, that seemed to be liked. Uh, Let me see if I can find the link again. Where the fuck is it? Fuck, where is it? Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find it. Sorry about that. Uh. Oh. No. It's not that one. Oh. Okay, so there's that first one. Where's the second one? Okay. This might be the one y'all were talking about. I don't know, though. I love you, too, no homo. Hey, cat will become Tay's power line. Yeah, and it's not copyrighted, either. Chick with cute Is this the one? Let Tay let the show. She got that glow. Is this Smells the one? Smells nice and high bank. Got me feeling like, whoa, two shot. Is that the one? Or is it the other one? Let me know, guys. Is it that one or is it the other one? I just want to know. Oh, that was a different one. Uh. Fuck. Where the fuck?
fuck is it? Ugh, and my contact's going dry too, so I'm like dying. Let's see. There's that one. There's... Where the fuck is it? Oh, here it is. I found it, guys. Don't worry. Mix them both together with drill sounds. That would be funny. <laughs> that would be really funny. That would be really funny. <laughs> Oh man, pranking Melinda streams, but escalate it to Bam and Phil levels? Bro, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not gonna do that to my mom. Alright guys, are we ready? Are we ready for the fucking music? I had to hate it, just met Taylor at the show, she smells nice, she said hi, man, I was too shy to hit on her, so I hope she does see it, hey, I'm a nigga, Thursday. So, uh, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for the support, everybody. Well, oh, wait! Oh, shit! Don't leave yet, guys! I gotta eat the durian. Come back! Everybody, come back! Wait! Come back! I made a mistake! I gotta eat the durian. I forgot. I'm not eating this whole bag. A second false departure. That's right. Third time is a charm. We're going to eat this durian real quick. Clippers, if you're here, clip this so people didn't miss it. All right. We're about to he eat some fucking durian. And I really hope this doesn't smell. But here we go. Nebby is watching too, guys. Alright. It's open. Now, we're gonna open this little pe this little thing here. Oh man. Alright. It's open. Let's smell it. Oh my god. It still smells. It's not like permeating, but it smells. God, it smells like fucking onion. Or like... Uh, yeah, it smells like an onion. You want, you want me to let Nebby smell it? I'll let Nebby smell it. Yeah, like armpit. Yeah. Like... But like a, like a onion ring. Like, like it's got that grease type of smell to it, too. Nebby, you wanna take a sniff? What do you think of that? 
That's weird, huh? Like a Whataburger onion ring. Alright, I'm gonna eat a piece of this. Alright, I hope it's good. that taste like that's got a weird taste um it's like a I, I yeah I can't imagine that shit fresh no, this is durian. This is the one that stinks. It tastes like a... Yeah, I guess like the socks under your bed. <laughs> no, it tastes like those like, on like the fried onion like salad toppers. It tastes like that. Mixed with, like, fucking weird Chex Mix or something. That's weird. We'll do a Vegemite. We'll do Vegemite next time, okay? We'll keep that one for Thursday. That way I can prepare some toast and spread it thinly like it needs to be. That's a fucking weird fruit. Who eats this? It says it comes from Vietnam. That's so weird. Give a piece to Nebby? I feel like if she wanted it that bad, she would have tried to grab it out of the bag. But, uh, yeah. Third time's the charm now. Yeah. So I ate the I ate the durian, guys. We're gonna do Vegemite next stream, okay? Hopefully have the green screen set up tomorrow. Uh I'll set it I'll set it up tomorrow, but Don't you dare go sleep without eating you scrawl me scum. I'll eat, don't worry, don't worry. But uh yeah. Good night everybody. We love you all. Nebby, do we love them? Do we love them, Nebby? Would you say we love them? Would you say we love them? All right. <laughs> but, uh, good night, everybody. Thank you all for digesting with me. We're moving on. Moving up. Doing big things. Thank you all for the support. I appreciate everything that you guys have provided. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Um, but, uh, seriously, thank you all so much. I appreciate it a lot. And, uh, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Game Roulette. Peace out. Patriots rise up forever. Patriots forever staying strong. Hell yeah.